Mwah. Mwah. Continental. Yeah. Mwah. 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 How often do we sit together? It's Not amazing. very often. Do you know something? And I've mentioned this to Elle both before we came live. Don't quote me on this because I know some of you eagle eye viewers out there will probably argue this. But I think today is the first day in JM history that you and I have done the Wall of Fame draw. I think so. We've done the Wall of Fame, obviously. Yeah, but I've, I can't remember sitting next to you with a tombola in your hand. Oh. Today. Today. Are we going to be lucky? I think so. Do you know, the? Yeah. Uh, I think it was last, last Wednesday, the last Wednesday mm. show I did... Um, I've got a habit of pulling out the people that we enter, uh, like that we read out. So I've done oh, that a few okay. times, right. and I pulled out Alan, Alan Hopkins. I pulled Alan out, and then I, then I said, Let's "See if I can pull your wife." <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, I didn't. No, unfortunately, I didn't. What? But um, all Mark yeah. today, we're very excited. Well, I had to start my Facebook post yesterday by saying, "I really don't know how we're going to fit it all in. It's just..." Amazing. We've had so that problem a lot recently, have, a have. lot, as in so spoiled, much product. Um, I know what you're going to say, but what are you most excited about? Well, everything today, I think. Oh, OK. So that... about, it must be about six months ago now, I brought Heishi beads to air, yeah. vinyl Heishis, and um, amazingly popular, really went really well. And today I've been given a brand new box, which is just phenomenal. So... Look at all of I've those. I've made all of this jewellery here to, to Eleanor's right, and I've still got all of these left. Oh, it's my goodness. Amazing. I've still got all of these left. Look so at the colours as they're well. They're just amazing. Oh, and, and none of these colours have ever been seen before. And not only do you get the box, you also get a reel of Hobnob as well. Uh, yes. You get a reel of Not hobnob. your chocolatey biscuit. No, no, no. Um, we have your favourite. Yeah, yeah the, the wildfire. wildfire. So that comes with the bundle, and the prize <laughs> is ridiculous well let me just i'm going to move those out of the way so you can actually see mark's beautiful oh, beautiful right. jewelry um yeah you actually said to me mark oh does does ross know that there's wildfire in this kit i don't think he does did you know that ross he did oh, he, he says did. and you're still doing what you said you're going to do he's right. still gonna okay. do it wow. still gonna do it ross is back with us everybody He's at his birthday. He's another year older. Uh, are you wiser, though, Ross? No, no. <laughs> a, a year less. I can't hear you very well, Ross. Um, I can That's hear you now. Guy. There we go. Um, it was funny because, like, obviously, I follow Ross on Instagram, and every single uh, little story that I saw, he looked even more and more and more inebriated. <laughs> Let's just Relax. put that. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. He's got Ross has got the most adorable little drunk smile. Oh. It's very cute. Have you have you Ross? You've got a very cute uh, uh, you are adorable, absolutely, but when you're drunk, you're even more adorable, I think. He has this little childlike grin um, when he's had a few. Um, oh, goodness me. It, your deal of the day today is oh, no, perfect it's, for it's, today's it's show. Heaven. Oh, we've got masses of them as well. So, yes. So the price is going to be extraordinary. Big, can we, big can I just go and grab one of them? Please. Oh, oh you, you are Dan's on it. I think it's the pink one. The pink one. I think it's the pink one. Because you took the it time. May, it may be the blue one, but I'm pretty sure it's the pink one. Okay. So Which you took the time to actually uh, fill, Why wouldn't I? It's fill just, the storage. It's amazing. Here Lift, we give go. Give me the lid first, Dan, just so I don't make, sh make sure it's the wrong one. Oh, it is. Oh, it's the right one. I can one. see, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Check this out. It's coming up at 10 o'clock today. So, on our last show, do you remember me telling you and the viewers about my Super Duo visit yes. to the Czech Republic? So all of these tubes down here are all super duos, none of which we're going to be stocking. These oh. are exclusive to European countries, not us anymore. So none of these we'll ever be able to see on the channel. So these are my super duos from the Czech Republic. Uh -huh. And then these are my, some of my super duos from home. So we've got all sorts of colours in here. And this is just one part of the deal of the day. We've got five amazing storage solutions. And, and I was sent samples and said, do you want to have a play with these? I mean, why would we? <coughs> Absolutely. So we've got, a, we've got a pink in this design. We've got a blue version, which just has the little tic-tac boxes in. And then we've got um, some other, uh, 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 sort of an upsell pack of yep. um, extras. And yep. then we've got this cute little slidey drawer thing that yep. I've not seen Oh, before. I love it. So if you like your, if you see bead storage, 
This is just amazing. It, We've got these coming up at 10 o'clock. Yeah, big quantities Massive. of those as well, yeah, which yeah. I think we definitely need because as jewellery makers, and you need your storage. I know this is a, this is a really nerdy thing to say. I, I, I like being nerdy. Do you know what I'm going to say? Look at that handle. It, um, look at that. Ooh, for, that a, for a seed quality. bit. Quality. No, I'll do it again. Yes. And it's, see the little handle slots underneath? The yes. Well? This is so, so and beautiful. It, it, look you can at stand that. on that. Can you? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Stand on that. It's look amazing. at that. Wipe clean. Coming up at Brilliant. 10 o'clock today. Yeah. Big quantity. Uh, uh, quantity. <laughs> quantity. <laughs> quantity of those coming up today. We've got amazing pearls. Oh. We've got beautiful clasps. Got We've got kits chakra kits. Oh, my goodness. Yep. These colours are incredible. Even if you don't get behind the chakra thing, and I get it, it's entirely mm. up to you, whichever, whichever way you sort of... You know, you you go in in terms of beliefs and whatnot. You can't deny that the chakra colours together look amazing. Well, can I just say, one of the chakra kits is chips and nuggets, which I've got in my bag. Can you just, sorry, Dan, can you just focus on this little section here? Now, this is a chip and nugget chakra kit. This is, without doubt, the finest strand of Tanzanite chips I have. Ever, <coughs> That's have part ever of it. used. You get seven double strands, but for me, buy the kit just for that tanzanite strand. Gosh, I've never seen such a blue tanzanite in a chip strand before. I love that necklace. It's just beautiful. I said that in preparation, pre preparation the, to the show. I was like, I love that, Mark. It's, it's absolutely so cool. gorgeous. They're just, they're just lovely. And then also, a few weeks <laughs> ago, um, I bought to air some little kits featuring bicones and sea beads, and we've managed to get together a few more of which. The, we've got that. some pieces of the jewellery, so oh. little piss crustaceans and all sorts of things. So we've got those coming up in this hour, the nine, well, sorry, the nine o'clock hour. I love along, those. Along, along with the Hishi kits. Lots so of kits today. Massive. Lots kits. and lots Real. of kits. So we're going to have a fantastic Wednesday morning. Come and say hello to Mark and I. Yes. We would love to hear from you. You can text us live in the studio. Make sure you start your message with JM Studio. Text to 780 seven zero um of course you can message us on the web as well should we get cracking i think we should everything is locked and loaded is it viewers choice it is uh -huh. viewers choice so let us know what you want to see but also make sure you check out nice and early um nice and early to secure your strand gemstone um opportunity let's start oh, with something please. bonkers how often how often do we see pyrite, firstly, now, and how often do we see it in a carving? Um, a while ago, I think it was you and I that was on air together, and I actually said, I was completely transparent and said, listen, we're not buying it anymore. We're not buying pyrite anymore because Wayne, who's our gemstone buyer and sales manager, said, look, it, it, it just doesn't sell. It doesn't sell. Mm -hmm. um, and you might think, oh, okay. So I'm sharing that with you. For some reason, I love pyrite. I it's love a really pyrite. cool, metallic-looking yeah. gemstone. Um, but it's not one of our greatest sellers, so we're not buying it. If you are a fan of pyrite like myself and Mark, mm. then make the most of this opportunity because we're going to take it to the lowest ever price. Brand new. Never been anywhere near what you're about to see. Beautiful carved pyrite. They look like a, uh, some kind of They're metal, amazing. don't they? But when it's you, when you said stone. carved roses, I, I thought they were little flat roses, but actually have them carved in round. Into a bead. Oh, amazing macrame bracelets. Lovely. The They'd work with your kids. They would. They'd be amazing. Oh, and it's really amazing. heavy. It's a lovely, heavy gemstone. £3.45, never oh, been. Look. That's a gemstone. Never been anywhere near what's, your, yeah. uh, what's on your screens right now. I... It's, it's closed at 11 99 12 99 13 £3.45 for you today. Um, so, yeah, being completely transparent, it's not one of our best-selling gemstones. So, therefore, Wayne's like, well, I'm not buying it then. These because are beautiful markers in your Marla necklace. Oh, nice. Roses and yeah, roses like, like nice little gurus. Yeah, nice mean, little topples. gurus. Tops of tassels. Topples. I did it again. Topples. <laughs> I had to stop myself saying it again. Topple topples. Topple mm. topples, don't worry. I've, I had a massive on air <laughs> blunder the other day. I meant to say rectangles oh, and I said something very oh, different. No. Oh, um, hello, Kathy. Oh. This is uh, Fate, my favourite presenter and designer. Together on the f uh, for the first time, I can just feel the waff win coming. Yes. Fingers crossed, Kathy. Keep it's fate. Crossed. Imagine if we pulled out Kathy's name. 
that would be make sure you go home and do the lottery numbers. Yeah, I'll, I will do my very best for you, Cathy. In fact, you could draw it this today, couldn't you? I'll do the runner-up. You can do the winner. Okay, all yeah, right, we'll, then. We'll no pressure. We'll Stay where you are. Check well out done. your baskets on that Amazing. one. Should we do some yeah. Rutile Courts? One of my faves. Nuggets, this nuggets, nuggets. This is another gemstone nuggets. you don't have very often. No. I'd love to do a Rutile Hour. Oh, yeah, showcase. Just bring in all the Rutiles that we've got. Yeah, we could do that. Mm, yeah. What's that now? What? It's gone. Sold out. Ross, you're back with a vengeance. <laughs> Should we do some labyrinth? Oh, my word. La labdra Why can't I say it today? Labyrinth. L labradorite. Labradorite. Well, oh, as Alex says, yeah, yeah. labradorite. I had yeah. this discussion with him and he was like, no, it's labradorite. I was like, it's not, is it, though? No, it's labradorite. Labradorite. Nice. Does Sherilyn call it that? Mm. I mean, I, who am I to say? Um, who am I to say? Pronounce it as you wish. Uh, beau oh, it's oh, that soft cashmere it's grey. Soft, it? Beautiful. We don't see labradorite very often, actually, in your ra uh, in your rounds, do we? Don't we don't see very much. So I think I think Carol had a strand on yesterday, some little uh, little pips. Lovely, that, Carol. But we hardly ever have it on the show, do we? Labradorite in the moment. No, this was, I, I want to again say alongside your lovely kits. Would they work. They'd work with a pyrite, wouldn't they? Yeah. I think because it's sort of got a metallic look. I always think labradorite doesn't. Yeah. It? I think that together just love. What That's a lovely that? kit, actually, isn't it? That's lovely. What about that as yeah. a lovely combination? Or, or, let's take the pyrite out for a second. Oh, uh, yes. How about some amazing pearls? Yeah, yeah. They're big pearls too. I'd like, like it with the red jasper. Jasper. Because well. I, I really like Labradorite and Garnet as a combination. Yeah. I really like that. I think this, oh, that's lovely. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah. They're coming up as well within this hour. Uh, we're not stopping oh. at nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Let's take it even lower. Magical, mystical, labyrinthine, in that beautiful soft cashmere grey. I love, I love, I love all colours of labyrinth, of course. And what I'm talking about is like different <laughs> variations of darknesses, but particularly the soft grey. I mm. love six pounds and ninety-nine. Yeah, I really like pence. the dark olive green. You know, when it's yeah, really the greeny colour. I love that. Yeah. yeah, that's ridiculous. And this has got a greenish tone to it. Yeah. Six ninety-nine. Wow. 10 mil rounds, again, perfect, perfect alongside yeah. all of Mark's kits. Look at that magic. Look at that magic that's hidden within. Um, our colleague, lovely Lindsay, who's on Gems mm. at the moment, oh. we get to see that little ray of sunshine yeah. every morning. Love Lindsay. Um, anyway, she's, she went over to Iceland recently and she was did? lucky enough yes. to see the uh, Aurora Borealis. She, yeah, she said they pleased. chased it. They chased <laughs> the Aurora Borealis. And the only way they could actually see it was through a photograph. So you couldn't visually see it, but only in the photograph. Mm. It's that in a gemstone. It's that amazing, amazing phenomena captured within a gemstone almost. Um, at six ninety nine, it's a true early bird price tag for you all. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Because how many have I got, Ross? Thirty. Mm, it's not that many. It's not, definitely not that many. Make sure you check out those baskets then. Yeah, it's very scarce actually. Our labradorite. That might well be down to I don't know. Probably, probably uh, deliveries and things like that, mm. landing shipments. Um, there has been issues there. What do you want to start? Leopard oh, skin. I love this. Just so you know. Ooh, look at those They're amazing, markings. Aren't they? They're beautiful. I also have this, which I think would work perfectly together. That's the size down. Oh, look. We'll do this straight afterwards, but look, perfectly complementary. It, it's, for me, this is almost sci fi. Mm. Mm. Yes, it is, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, under magnification, really you get to see this gemstone's true formation. They're incredible, aren't they? are works of art, Mark, aren't they? Absolutely. <laughs> I can see flowers in those. Lower. Um, oh, no. We're going lower, <laughs> even though they're 12 mil. I love Jasper. There. I think I've kicked the bucket. <laughs> well, the bin, anyway. <laughs> it's a dark place to put a bin, isn't it, really? <laughs> Just where we can both kick it. Kick the bucket. There we are. Wow. Uh, Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Uh, again, it's like poppy reds. There are only thirty of these yeah. available. Again, we've got the smaller size coming your way in a few moments too. Alison, good morning. Hello, Tyne and Ware. Hello to new customers. We only had thirty at five ninety nine. They're going to fly out. Um, yeah. We, I mean, we did a little showcase of Jasper the other we day did. with Neary No, didn't mm -hmm. we? And it was a, almost an entire sellout. It was. We were discussing it yesterday in our little meeting. Felt very important when I was invited <laughs> to a meeting. Doesn't happen that often. 
Um, Adam skyped in from his garden. He looked, uh, it looked like he I was like literally in Costa thing. del Sol. <laughs> um, yeah, here he was. It was blue skies, he said, but it was absolutely freezing. You could hear the birds in the background, though, Adam. It was lovely. Yeah, it was lovely. Check out those baskets, everyone, and come and say hello. We'd love to see you. Love to hear from you as well. Hello, Alison. Hi, Al. Hi, Mark. I'm on leave today. Woohoo! Off to meet my bestie later, but thought I'd see what gems you have first, just to set me up Aww. for the day. Ah. You have a lovely day with your best friend. Isn't that nice? Mm. Um, hello, Nikki. Hi, L, Mark, and Fab JM team. Sat at golf club. Oh. Love, love that. <laughs> Beading. <laughs> Looking forward to the storage boxes. See you on Friday, Yes, yeah, see you on Friday. I've got my coffee and chat. My I Zoom really workshop must. on Friday. I must sign myself up yeah. to one of your coffee Sarah, and chat. Sarah will give you the, the code. and Will she? Yeah. Oh, I'd like that. Yeah. I'd like that. I'm gonna yeah. maybe see you on Friday, everyone. Yes. Yeah. Um, should we do the size down for those? Yeah. They're Love all looking that. after me, my um, my ladies. Ah, oh, does yeah. everybody mother you? Mm. Oh, that's well nice. at the moment, and it's you know, and everything that's happening, it's yeah. they're, they're absolutely, they're just yeah. Our customers are lovely, amazing. aren't they? Uh, they amazing. are lovely. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Good for you. Yes. I would look after him too. It's like molten lava, isn't it? It's so oh. beautiful. I I, I I don't even know how to describe the patterning on these. Now, can you imagine actually trying to replicate mm. that, say, in a work of art? Um, it's just that wonderful, chaotic mixture of colours. We're going to take it down to a brand new low price, says Russ. So your malas, it'll complement so many different uh, colours mm. of cords. 10 millimetres, so they are sizable, natural. Love the delicate, very, uh, it's like a, uh, like a banana-like yellow uh, running through this. £4.99 pence only. That's three litres of petrol. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. I, had to, I, I remortgaged um, <laughs> at the beginning of the month just so I could uh, fill my car up. I was absolutely devastated a couple of months ago when I went over £80 to fill up my tank. I know. When it's 90 now. Is it? I filled mine at £75 to fill my car up. £75, but that's a lot. So to cheer myself up. I bought, I spent 90 pounds, no, I spent 91 pound 99 pence and I had to cheer myself up with a bag of star mix. Yes, <laughs> find a way. <laughs> You're literally <laughs> handing over your card like, oh, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I filled up at the beginning of the week, drove down to see my mum yesterday, oh took my, her out. Oh half a, yeah. nearly half a moment, yeah. half gone. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. Four ninety nine. well done everybody. Wow. Um, I call my mum Diddy one because she's only about five foot one, bless her. She's only tiny. Oh, is she? Yeah, she's only tiny. I took her out for lunch. Oh. So uh, we were in a lovely little afternoon, bless her. Um, bless her up, fed her up. <laughs> God, she, like, she loves her food. She loves her food. So, yeah, we had a lovely little afternoon oh. and then dashed back for a meeting uh, here at Jewelry Maker. Um, so, I got to see Carol. Oh. Yeah, nice. busy day yeah. yesterday. Um, we're getting quite limited on these, though. Make sure you do check out. Oh, yeah. I also have a thank you to make. I hope you're watching right now. Um, so, uh, in fact, no, I'll do it in the next hour. Do it in the next hour, just in case somebody's, somebody's sent oh, me a really right. beautiful, beautiful letter. Um, should we do... Oh, this is really popular. Our viewers love this one. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. It looks like hawk's eye. Mm, it's gorgeous. Should we take this under £5? Pounds? <laughs> is that this the way he's rolling funny. today? That's how, that's how Ross is rolling. rolling right. Um... With his, with his lovely cheeky grin. Look at those patterns. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a Botswana, isn't it? But a sort of a, a monochrome oh, Botswana, if you like. They're I have that dark edging. Do you know, you, we were just eyeing up some of the hobby maker products, mm. weren't we? You know, some amazing... Talking uh, about having to remortgage, the amount of stuff I'm going to buy from the show this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fab, isn't it? And you've got Sarah Davis Skyping in. Look at those lovely patterns. Beautiful. Amazing and completely mm. natural. I love this. Imagine that with a pop of red or yellow or... Oh, red. You, I would always marlow this with red Eslon. Yes. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? I love these patterns. Mm. It looks like almost like a, an animal print that has occurred naturally within a gemstone. How many do I have, Ross? 38 oh, no. of these so if, if everybody is going to do a mala you know that kind of or, or a long line necklace mm, yeah. which um loads of us are rocking at the moment aren't we they're very easy to wear i think long line necklaces that's why it's so popular um but you will need to multi-buy on that so say 15 pounds to get three 
they're going to fly out. They're not going to be hanging around. So this may well be an on-screen sellout. Lincolnshire, Beverly. Hello to you, Hampshire, Nancy. Hello to you, County Down, Doreen, Joe. Uh, new customer, new customer, Sandra, Nancy in Bristol. It's busy this morning, Mark. This with your, with this with your he she's. It's amazing. It would be lovely. Because we've got a neutral, neutral section. You can even do a mala with the he she's. Look. Yeah. Uh, as you have done. Look at this one. I love that. Can you see that? There you go. Marla with the he vinyl he -shies. You see the one to the just coming into shot now. Just from, do you remember refreshers? Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, I called it the refresher necklace. I love it. Willow yeah. loves those. Oh, I love them. Do you still get them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, retro mix. Those. Yeah. Oh, yes. Of course. Oh, my word. The four leaf clover. Oh. Some might also look at this and think, there's a very big designer that does that shape mm -hmm. and they do there are six of these it was yeah. launched I believe correct me if I'm wrong Ross was this part of the Tucson yes part of the Tucson event um, I mean, it's not just Van Cleef and Arpels. Lots of designers have sort of taken inspiration from them. Um, but they've, even our sister channel. Mm. Um, they are astronomically expensive if you were to source turquoise from, uh, from Van Cleef and Arpels. But it is this beautiful, very, it's quite Baroque, the shape. It's lovely. Um, genuine turquoise. There are four of these available. That's an unbelievable oh. viewer's choice saving. Look at the quality of the turquoise that you're getting. Look at the quality of the carving. Beautiful. Add macrame with this. Lovely. That'd be amazing. I'd Beautiful. Go black, I think, as yeah. Well. Really make and they'd be framed because you've yeah. got a nice sort of kind of smooth girdle, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, to the gemstones drilled through. So if you didn't, uh, if you want to use a drill hole, fantastic. If you don't, of course, it's no paint gemstone, so you're not going to see it. Twenty nine ninety nine. I'm going to give these a quick count for you because they're solitaires. Imagine that on a. You yeah. know, we do that infinity chain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine these on a long line chain. Ah. Oh. With a tassel. Oh, yeah. that would be beautiful. Here we go. Mm. We could actually show you the Van Cleef symbol. Oh, here we go. they turquoise, slightly different oh, colour. What? Two th honestly, so expensive. Oh, my word. So way. expensive. Look at this one. That's our gate. It's not even turquoise. 3,000. Oh, I mean, it's gold. It's not a huge amount of gold. Just to show it's the design more than anything. Agate again, five and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Some people have got too much money, haven't they? I recently saw Adele being interviewed. <coughs> Excuse the, um, me. She had, a, <coughs> she had a lariat necklace that she'd wrapped around her wrist. And had oh, it as a bracelet they. and it was full of those little... Um, it I was, mean, Adele's got a very big bank balance, hasn't well, yes, she? Well, yes, yeah. A very big <laughs> bank balance. Um, okay. Right. If... That maybe is, at this present moment in time, maybe a little bit out of budget. Don't worry, we got you back. Because oh, there please. is, you saw, you saw Van Cleef use Agate as an alternative. I think a better alternative, mm. personally, in this, in this, in your turquoise colour, would be yeah. your Magnesite. I love this strand. I've never seen this strand before. I want to buy this strand and I am going to literally rosary link it oh, yeah. or yeah. Uh, literally have, uh, have it by, you know, like you call it diamonds by the yard. Mm, yeah. Have them sectioned all the way around with sterling silver. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence only to get hold of it. Look at that colour. I love magnesite. It is so distinctly similar to that of turquoise that it's very, uh, very difficult to decipher between the two gemstones. Be mindful of that, though, of course, because there are some um, less. Uh, honest, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Um, honest traders out there that will sell it as turquoise. It's still a beautiful, genuine gemstone, and it has very similar markings and patterns, and of course can be treated to have the same beautiful colour. I love this. I, I want to buy this strand. And it would be literally maybe magnesite, then a couple of inches of sterling silver, magnesite, yeah, couple beautiful. of inches of sterling silver. Gorgeous. And even I can do that. It's flying. Yeah. Right Absolutely out flying out the door. Yeah. I've never seen this strand before. Where's it been hiding, Ross? Oh, was it? It was under, under the dreaded <laughs> word. <laughs> Hang on, let's, let's, let's make Ross shudder. Ready? Ross, are you ready? Embargo. Oh. He hates that. <laughs> <laughs> Every producer hates that word because it means they can't have the product. That's what it is, isn't it? Mm. Embargo. 
Uh, <laughs> in the kit, in the kit world, it's known as top noting. Top noting, yes, we have that yeah, too. We have that as well, do you? You know, you know, you know when, um, you know when I was making kits, helping them out because yeah, they were a little bit short stuff, um, and they were like, make sure you have a little look at the top notes. I've totally forgot about the top notes, and quite often <laughs> I, I'm adding product that I shouldn't have had, and I was like, sorry, I'd forgot about the top notes. Bit of top notes. Top notes. Yeah, there we go. All these rules that. Uh, that, that you might well not know about. You do now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shall we do an early bird? London. Oh, I gave it away there. No, go on, carry on. London. Blue. I've not seen London Blue for months. Have you ever noticed back to back auctions? Wow. Have you ever noticed, and I've said this before, but just in case there's people, different people watching right now, London Blue Topaz is available and then it's gone. Mm. Gone for like months, if not years. Available, gone. Available, gone. And that's not just here at Jewelry Maker. That is, in fact, let me explain in a few moments' time. That goes for pretty much most jewellery establishments out there. They'll have it in a collection and then it sells out. Yeah. Back to back, I'll explain why it's after our this. Piece of music. <laughs> Just the little birds flying past, aren't they? Cute? We just had a little sway, didn't we? Ooh. Sway. Jack I Johnson. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, yeah, sets the mood, especially in spring. So I, I actually had a conversation I had years ago. It was with our then founder, of course, uh, Steve Bennett, and I was presenting on our sister channel at the time. And I kind of said, Steve, where's all our London blue topaz? Where's all our Swiss blue topaz? And he was like, it's too expensive to buy at the moment. So we've got, they had none. They had none in their vault. And I was like, okay, why all of a sudden has it gone through the roof in terms of price? And he said, it is down to the treatment process. Now, London blue in particular, and the deeper the color of blue, the longer the process actually is. London blue topaz, in some cases, can actually take up to a decade to transform a pure, colourless, gem-quality topaz to that wonderful, uh, sort of a deep indigo blue. It goes through, I think it's CPD, the process, and it's talking about atoms bombarding the gemstones. Far too technical for me. But it can take sometimes up to a decade to achieve that colour. So when you see London blue, it's because it's, we've had that period of time. Um, it goes, it hits the market and then it sells out because it is so beautifully popular. So it is one of those gemstones that in terms of availability does this, not just here at Jewelry Maker, on our sister channel, most certainly, um, and generally speaking across the board. Of all the gemstone treatments out there, this is, pro this is the lengthiest that I know. I don't know of a single other treatment that takes that time. You are getting a beautiful pair. These are rose cut. Very limited though, I've only got 65, perfectly colour matched. A rose cut is quite, quite a, so a, an ancient, well not ancient, an older cut, where the carat weight is actually on the, uh, on the top of the gemstone as opposed to an, on oh, the bottom. Cool. Yeah. You know if you look at, yeah. what, at a round brilliant cut, you can imagine my engagement ring for example. Um, it is, when you think about it, the round brilliant cut is quite wasteful mm. because most of the carat weight is underneath. It's underneath and you can't see. Whereas yeah, with a rose cool. cut, it's on top. Um, we only have a limited quantity. There's over half a carat in each of your stones. Seven by five millimeters, exquisite faceting. I would turn these into a pair of earrings straight away. Um, and wow, maybe, it's yeah. just beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Please understand that to achieve a sky blue, a Swiss blue, and a London blue, you have to have, firstly, gem quality, ice white, top grade of your topaz and then it goes through the process of transforming it into this delectable blue at 39.99 that's unbelievable from my experience of this gemstone every single i can't say every single because it has been done in silver but the majority of the london blue pieces finished pieces of jewelry that i've brought to air have been in gold let's do what On the next crash, but not even your closing early bird, we're going to cut that price in half. Oh, 
Imagine those in the ear. Incredible. Seven by five, we do the mounts. Yeah, we do. Probably easier to set because of the, the, the actual calibration of the stone. We're not even stopping here. The clock is ticking away. In fact, I need to remind... Oh, my goodness me. Really? I do prep for the show, I promise you, but my brain only retains so much information. Um, I just saw London Blue. Exactly. That's exactly what I saw. I saw London Blue Topaz. Got excited about that. And I trust, I trust Ross implicitly to, to, to offer our customers the best possible deal. You know we've just cut that last price in half. Yeah, you know, that's just saying. Just saying. We're at £19.99. Hmm. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm giving you a cue here, everybody. A little bit of a hint. 1.2 carats. So how, many, so how many packs of two could you buy with that original 39.99? Let me just double check. Can I say this, Ross? Can I say how many we can buy for the original price tag? Okay, I was just double checking. You not check four. Oh my word! I, as I said, I had a meeting yesterday with uh, our managing director, with with Carol and um, Wayne uh, and uh, and Ross and. Tom Neary and uh, Adam, you were there as well, weren't we? <laughs> that sounded so bad. <laughs> Adam was there. No. We were talking about your shows. And I actually said, <laughs> I actually said, sorry, Adam, that didn't, I didn't mean it to come across like that. I was actually saying, Wayne, your cut stones in the eight o'clock hour have been amazing. Look at them. Look How at on earth are we doing London Blue Topaz at five pounds each? you bring recently to air with Jake, it was a, an empty tennis bracelet with 17 or 18 I think we did. mounts. I'm yes, sure I know. I know five, he's. I know he's it? done one. I'm sure that was seven by five. I think so. Can you imagine? Can you imagine, Adam? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to sound the way it did. <laughs> Adam was there. Uh, <laughs> Gary, oh. Yvonne, Devon. There is a catch. Only available for nine ninety nine until the top of the hour. Someone's bought five. Though. Yeah. That's how quickly they're going to go. And three, two, 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 two. Oh my word. Well, how amazing. often do we see London Blue Topaz? I can't you and the I. Last time I saw it. No. We couldn't do. Uh, uh, well, let's oppose the question to the man who definitely knows, has the, has the um, if you like, quantities at his fingertips. Ross, could we do? Could we do a showcase of London Blue Topaz? No. Mm. Absolutely not. Not a chance, he says. Oh, these are literally the only two London Blue Topazes that we actually have in the business, in the entire. And there's a lot of money's worth in our vault. <laughs> um, and yeah, not, not London Blue. We don't see strands. Um, yeah, this is literally one yeah. of two London Blue Topazes that we have as part of the JM vault. Anne-Marie, Kerry, Yvonne, Devon, Morag, Maria, Jennifer, Catherine, Beverly, Hampshire. Uh, who was that? Who was that? Oxfordshire. I can't keep up with you now. Caroline, Karen, sorry. Joe, hello to Glamorgan. Sorry. Anne-Marie, Tessa, Tracy. Make sure you check out your baskets. Do you know what? I've got literally, we're going to bring you the second color, uh, the second <laughs> London Blue Topaz opportunity. And it's perfect with this. Hello, Sharon in Caffilly. I got two. Yay! Love Sharon. Love that. Oh, you're going to love the next one to, then, Sharon. Are we going to do this? I think London's my favourite colour of all the topaz. Me, mine too. I really love it. There's, there's not another colour like it, is there? And you do see, if you ever you go to Bond Street, you see London Blue Topaz there. Wow. You see, you see it. Now. Wow. Can I, can, you've got the most amazing collection launching on Saturday. <laughs> Yes, I shall be tuning in. Oh. I shall be grabbing some of those, particularly the tulip. I'm loving the tulip. I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous. It's going to be, don't be nervous. Mm. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have some samples in to show the viewers by the end of the show today. Imagine oh. creating a flower mm -hmm. with, oh, oh, one of them's flipped flowers. over, but you can see here, with four absolutely beautiful London blue topaz, maybe to go alongside the larger stones. I would create a little petaled flower. We have had flower mounts, haven't yes. we, with the petals yeah. and the petal stones? Right? Yeah, I remember those. Um, look at how beautiful. Mm -hmm. Five by three millimetres. 
You spoke about tennis bracelets. This would be the most gorgeous tennis bracelet size. You know where we just went on the last auction, <laughs> says Ross? Yes. You're going to go lower, but there's more. I know they're smaller, but there is more. So technically more time has gone into... It's going lower than 9.99. Okay, but quantities I have 77. Oh, okay. London blue topaz. This could be the most beautiful eternity ring. Mm. This could be set in your milliput. What was that ring you were wearing this morning when I came into the oh, office? Oh, uh, it's in my purse. I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, that's the one I actually bought. Um, I actually bought for myself when Willow was beautiful. born. Thank you. Yeah. I've actually spoken about it on air before. I didn't beautiful. buy it from our sister channel. I remember Jake actually seen it. We'd gone. We'd all gone mm. out, and he was like, "Oh, that's nice." It was Mark. They're Marquise uh, rubies. Um, and he was like, what did you pay for it? So I told him. And he was like, oh, took an intake of breath. I was like, yeah, but you know when you love something? And he thought, I, knew, I know I paid over the odds. I know I did, but I loved it so much. And he was like, they're definitely treated rubies, but it is a pretty ring. Mm. Um, I was like, I don't care. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. Oh, well, you clocked it. Clocked you did it clock it. I forgot yeah. to take it off, that's all, this morning. Um, hello, Terry. Good morning. Great price. There is also the cost yes. of the container Absolutely. the gems are in, which makes the gems and shit. That's true. That's true. It's a very good point. Yeah. So we shouldn't be going in the 9.99, of course. But Ross is like, meh. I'm going to do it anyway. What? Two pounds. Have you just said some of the stones are up to ten years? It takes up to 10 years. Oh. It's the longest treatment process of all the blue topaz out there. And I, I don't know, have a little look on... I haven't done this, but have no. a little look on the Gemporia website. See how much London blue is available. I'm not it's saying there's going to... Chardonnay, gonna... isn't it? Yes. Do you like Chardonnay? Mm. I'm not a Chardonnay fan. That's my favourite. Is it? Yeah. And Hannah, my best mate Hannah, she yeah. loves Chardonnay. I'm, I, I find it too acidic. Mm. Um, I, li I like wine, and if it was the only thing going, I would drink it, of course. <laughs> if that's my only choice. Uh, sound I, like a um, right lush, don't I? If I'm working in the evening, I go onto YouTube, and I go onto the Jewellery Maker YouTube channel, mm. and I just choose a programme and watch it. And last night was from 2018. It was a late show featuring Xena and Fleur. Yeah. And Corolla came up and purchased something from them. It was it was a Pearl Notting DVD, I believe. Ah! And, and Corolla, I just saw Corolla and I thought, ah, Corolla. Ah, lovely, I loyal customers. I never watch my own programmes, but well, I, like, no. I like watching other people's. No, I agree. It's cringe, isn't it? It's cringe yeah. watching. Yeah, I don't but see I see I saw either. Corolla come up on this, on this and that was 2018. I'm not saying you're cringe. I mean, watching yeah. myself, I find, <laughs> I find quite cringe. Because I can remember yeah. when I was new Great to presenting, um, my then managers was, were saying, you, make sure you watch your shows back. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. No, I can't do it, can't do it. Kerry, Elaine, Linda, uh, Carola, hello to you. Devon, Natalie, Dawn, Louise, Caroline, Zara, Tracy, new customers. We have 77 of these and a lot of you getting twos and threes. Um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Exquisitely faceted. Very good point made, made by uh, Terry. Yes, there's the little, little box. Yeah. Um, you could set these into your Brock pearls. Oh, uh, yes, with your um, Dremely. With your Dremely, Dremely gives me, gives me yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Little, little, um, I don't know, you could, if you haven't got a Dremel, I know there is a way of actually doing it with certain types of tools. How beautiful one of these be, yeah, nestled yeah, within. Yeah. Now, speaking of oh, pearls. I know where you're going with this now. I hate what we've yeah. called it. I what hate it. it. Bucket. Why have we called it a bucket pearl? Let, let's go, let's go is keeping up appearance. Yes. Let's go keeping up appearances and call it a bouquet at least. Because this, you've got the most amazing keshi, be, uh, keshi pearl, which is, we all know, the most natural of all your cultured pearls because they're little stowaways. They haven't been instigated with a nucleated bead. The, the oyster itself or the mollusk itself has created it. So that is pure nacre, pure nacre. How, how gorgeous is that? It's I'd like call petal. it a buttercup pearl. Yeah rather than a bucket. Well, keshi translates in Japanese to poppy seed. Yes, that's right. Poppy yeah, seed. Yeah. So you could, even if you called it the, you know, the poppy flower, I don't know, petal, petal pearl. And then, of course, you have a little beautiful button pearl, which is oh. nestled in the keshi, um, inspired very much by the natural formation, of course, of your cultured pearls. 
full of iridescence. I love these. We're at 14 99 and we're going even lower. Um, again, when I was over in Tucson and jewellery maker put us up in a really lovely hotel, it was absolutely gorgeous. Not at all what I wasn't expecting it. You know, I would have been quite happy in a little, 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 little home you're in motel down oh, the road yeah. um but because to be honest we weren't there we weren't there for very long um but i remember this really beautifully elegantly dressed lady i'd always see her in the evening sort of uh, you know, sashaying across the um, across the reception around the bar um and in her ear she actually had some made pearl earrings and they were oh. simply stunning um, and i was saying when we first launched these that literally just glue a post to the back and a yeah, butterfly. Look how absolutely. amazing they would be. I'll hold it up to the ear. Yeah. Look how gorgeous they are. Oh, yes. Imagine those in earrings. We're going lower. We're going oh, even we? lower. Oh, no. Pure nacre in your keshi. And then you have that lovely little button pearl nestled within $9.99. Look at this. See what I mean? I always, I kept noticing them. I was like, oh, I love her earrings. Um, Equally easy to secure, maybe to some uh, to a shank. Absolutely. Or I'm, I'm noticing you're wearing a hair slide with the pearls on. Yeah. Just having a hair grip with that um, wire wrapped on or yeah. glued on. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? If They're gorgeous. Hair at a wedding, or I'd uh, have those in the bridal bouquet, maybe. Oh, beautiful. Because you could you could glue it onto a wire stem yeah. and incorporate them in your flowers. I I love them. these. Look at that iridescence. Nine ninety nine. The only thing I, I I sort of dig my heels in is the fact that we called it a bucket. A bucket oh. pearl. Um, whoever decided on that name, um, well, strongly worded conversation. We've got less than 10 of these remaining. Angela, Arizona, Devon, new customer, Pat, Aisha, Kent, Alan. Hello to you, Patricia, Gabrielle, new customers. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colour, how it glides across the surface. Again, imagine it in a it's ring. Stunning. Stunning as a ring. Yeah, yeah. Or a brooch. What's the back look like? Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's seamless, isn't it? Oh, look at that. It does look like a heart. Yes, it could be like an orchid. That's a good point. Yeah, like a little orchid. What's the one as well? Oh, are they called ladies' fingers? That flower. Which has got like a really weird stamen. Is it a lady's finger? Oh, I don't know. I know. You probably know the actual... Lady's finger. No. <laughs> That's why I know ladies' fingers. Not the biscuits yeah. well, and not trifles. opera. I've totally got that wrong, haven't I? There is a... There's... Yeah, I think I've described that wrong. Everyone's going, what have sponge biscuits got to do with this beautiful, uh, this beautiful pearl? What's Alan going to do with his? I oh, know. I'd be... Alan, I yes. I not sure. Tell us, Alan, what are you going to do? Yeah. Um, okay, next... These bracelets, they're coming up in a few auctions time. It's a closed out deal, all 925 sterling silver. Oh, we're going so, I know, oh God, it is ridiculous how low we're going. Um, you've got your paper link chain, you've got your Belcher and your Rolo. They're in number 41 on the website if you want to shop ahead. Um, just so you know, we have, in terms of quantity, literally the last 100 um, of those available. If I suggest this, you're probably going to be paying for the, the price for one, for all three of them. For all three of them. Love this strand. I just like the idea of having the little paperclip bracelet if you're wearing a paperclip necklace. Yeah. I think the whole the set together that would be That would be gorgeous. Be, yeah. And how much would that be in, oh. in some of the jewellers? I mean, Gucci are doing it. Tiffany's are doing it. Misoma are doing it. We've just something absolutely ridiculous on the last few deals, haven't we? Oh, no. Should we do something again with this month's birthstone? I love this strand. It's so, the quality of this aquamarine. I love these little pips. They're so pretty, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're so beautiful. I think this is one of my favourite shapes. Mine too. In the past year, I think. Yeah, so definitely. When we first launched the faceted yeah. coins, I, I remember you and I getting really excited right. about it because they, they are, they're just pretty, aren't yes. they? That's the perfect description. Um, really lovely little shapes. Not dissimilar, actually, to the uh, sort of rose cut that we were mm. describing. No, no. Um, in the fact you've got that checkerboard faceting. Look at that. They'd be beautiful, actually, with that London blue, wouldn't they? Yes. Natural aquamarine. Yeah. Next price crash is not your finish, your closing price, but you can, of course, make your confirmations. Everybody pays that final low. 
Nobody's paying $19.99. And nobody's paying $9.99 either. They're bigger than three and a half, aren't they? They seem bigger than three and a half. You've got 15 minutes, though, at this next price crash because this hour is actually on a curfew. All the products that we bring you are not available for the entire um, uh, for the entire day. <laughs> yes. It, uh, I'd get three of these and make a micro. <laughs> hey, a micro mile. Oh, love that. So Excuse me, coffin. Ready for summer. Ah, oh, beautiful. The glow, I mean, it's mm. glacial. We're not even stopping at 9 99 Carola, Christine, Karen, Devon, Susan, sit back and enjoy. Well done. How many do I have, Ross? Oh, 94, but I think we're going to need every single one of those. So how many would you need for your micro? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. That's going to be beautiful. I was just thinking for summer. And go for a gold, a mm. gold Eslon, sort of a mustard yellow gold colour. I think that'd be amazing. Nice. Channel setting, yeah. macrame. What about the old loom? Yeah, the loom. Loom. <laughs> the bead loom. <laughs> no, I definitely said loom. Oh, $7.99. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Perfect for your bridal yeah, commissions. Completely natural, as, as Ross said. I've just got, I, I find this gemstone, aquamarine, quite an emotional gem. I look at it and mm. think it's, it's quite, I don't know, it's very elegant, it's very feminine, it's very historic, of course. And this is that pinnacle of quality that we aspire to with aquamarine. Then team it alongside one of our favourite cuts. I, yeah, I agree with you. The faceted coins, just so elegant. Um, even if you just put it on a stretchy mm. bracelet. Why I'm a crame with these as well, because you've got that really nice edge around the outside just to hold the wires in place. Every time I talk about the faceted coins, Mark, I think of this design. I think of this from Astley Clark. It's called oh, the Biology. Astley. Astley, yeah. I, I always think about the biology collection um, that they have. That's, that's about £155, pounds, that bracelet in turquoise. It's beautiful. Absol and I love it. Absolutely love it. But I know that our jewelry maker customers could make that in a nanosecond. This would be perfect with the little evil eye. We've got the toggles coming up as well, which would be perfect for that. It's such a pretty design, and you're probably going to get multiple bracelets out of this one strand. Multiple. Sue, Pat, Elaine, Patricia, Leslie, Liz, Jan, Gabrielle, Sandra, County Down, Diane and Tim, Dawn, Lots nice to threes. be with you. Lots of threes. Mm -hmm. Marlas. Mm -hmm. People so making I've Marlas. always thought it was Ashley. Ashley. Not Astley. Astley, yeah. Astley Clark. Not Ashley. Not Ashley. Although I like Ashley. Yeah, Ashley Clark. Ashley right. Clark. Yeah, it's That's Astley. Um, yeah, it's a, it, I, I love that jewellers. I think it's absolutely amazing. And it's one of those designer mm. brands that is of, of, a bit like Monica Veneda. They've pitched their yeah. price point. That it's high, but it's not ridiculous. Mm. <laughs> um, 7.99 only. Hello, Kathleen. Hello to Ellen. Hello to Perthshire. Maureen, Tracy, new customers. Remember, you've got 12 minutes to make your confirmations or until stocks last. Um, shall, we do, shall we do a closeout deal? What that, what that tells me, in fact, mm. it'd be perfect to make that bracelet. It would, yeah, yeah. Perfect yeah. to make that bracelet because you've got the yeah, chain yeah. running through the center. Um, but what is a closeout? It basically means if this was part of our essential collection, which it probably was, we're not ordering it again. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the supplier has increased the price point so that it's no longer... Uh, um I think that there are just so many lovely new products out there. <coughs> we just haven't got the room to keep True. everything, have we? True. So close out means mm. it is this opportunity and this opportunity only until the stock runs out. Are you ready? Three, 925 sterling silver bracelets. Close out deal next. I've just made a, I was just saying to Mark, these with your collection on Saturday. <gasps> it's landed. Are they here? Are they here? You've got them there. Oh. How exciting. Um, you have a 925 sto sol solid, solid. I love this. I'd wear this. Paper wear clip this chain. One. I I'd love it. This. Very contemporary, very designer. 925, beautiful luster. Then we have your classic Rolo. 
Look at the gram weight of these. Amazing. Oops, come back here, you. Let's put you back on there. So when I when I used to sell my jewellery, I used to charge five pounds if it were if I'd used a sterling silver clasps. So already I'm looking at fifteen pounds just for the clasps. I don't. I'm not sure what this is going to. I mean, you're not going to break these up, though, would you? Because they're finished. No, 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 no. But, but, but I used to, because as you said, they're sterling silver with a lobster claw. Yeah. And I used to charge a fiver if I was using a, a sterling silver clasp before adding beads or yeah. thread or anything. Yeah. So that's fifteen pounds just for the clasp. Just for the clasp. Yeah. And then you've got, I think these are all eight inches in their length. Can I borrow a couple of those busts for a second? Um, the of the uh, of the bracelet yeah, yeah. busts. Because these are also quite adjustable in a sense that, you know, you uh, look, you'll notice here when they're actually on, they're quite long. But if you wanted to wear it shorter, uh, the then your links, your links yes. are there yeah. for you to actually do that. So I'll put a couple of these um, on the display busts here and I'll, I'll lay this one over. See, you love the paper link. I yeah. adore the Belcher. I think this Belcher chain is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the quality of these, close out deal. Oh. It, it's ridiculous. I, I've brought these to air before, and I remember vividly what the price is. You could so easily put, I said earlier mm. on, your collection that's coming up on Saturday, open and close a jump ring directly onto one of these yep, beautiful yep. bracelets. Um, you want to have the gram weight there to be able to support the charms, ultimately. How much would these be elsewhere? You know, we've just mentioned Miss Soma and Monica Veneda and Gucci, and even if you start looking at places like Beaver Brooks or Ernest Jones or Argos, there we go. Yeah, I mean, Argos, Samuels. Samuels. Samuels Hines, you're probably looking at twenty-five, thirty pound each. I right? reckon. Mm. I reckon so. Yeah, yeah. How about then if we brought you each of these nine two five sterling silver solid bracelets, not hollow, solid, at ten pounds each. Wow. That's pretty amazing. I don't know many retailers that will be able to give it to you at that kind of price tag. You have eight minutes to make your confirmation jewellery makers on this closeout deal. £29.99. That's £10 per bracelet. Um, there's over five grams of 925 sterling silver. Um, this, I mean, straight away, what a perfect giftable opportunity. If I was to go to, let's say, let's say Argos, um, which aren't going to, you know, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with their sterling silver because there's clearly not, but, you know, they're, um, they're, and they're going to be competitively priced. But do you reckon you're going to be able to get one for £10? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Especially, look, look how beautiful that is. How amazing the sterling silver work is on this. You can see that gram weight. Imagine that with a little charm or nothing at all. Um, nothing at all. The final opportunity to get hold of these. Here we are. We're actually on the Argos website right here, right now. £14.99. It's got a couple of charms, but that is half price. And also it looks far finer, the actual chain. Yeah, yeah. Um, £15, you can see just there. Oh, what's the paper link one just below? I can't quite see the price tag. Uh, £11.50 for that one. In clearance. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence for your for your popcorn. Uh, not ten pound, though, are they? Not ten pound. And guess what? Oh, we're not done. No. Oh my word. I knew I knew this was going to be oh, okay. the most ridiculous closeout deal price. I've brought it to air in the past. Um, this probably is the final airing because of the quantity. We're not ordering them again for whatever reason. Today. It's not £10 per bracelet. Every single one of you will be paying as little as £6 <laughs> per sterling silver bracelet. £6, an unlucky number, but not an unlucky saving. £6.66 per sterling silver bracelet. Not base metal. You know, not, not, not plated base metal, solid 925. You've got six minutes, though, to make your confirmations. Uh, Marily, Beverly, Kerry, Jan, Caroline, Devon, Kent, Christine, Gabrielle, Susan, Gillian, Nina, and Liz. You've done it. £6.66 per bracelet. Hello, Verity. I love that name, by the way, Verity. It's absolutely beautiful. Amanda, Louise, Mary, Angela, June, Carol, Evelyn, Brenda, new customers, Philippa, Natalie. You've got to check out those baskets. We had, or to be 
exact, we actually had 103. That's what we have left within the, the, the vault. It's not going to be reordered, unfortunately. I'm disappointed about that because they're amazing quality, an amazing deal, don't you think? But maybe it's the price. I don't know. I don't know what goes on um, behind the scenes in terms of the buying. Well done. Secure your opportunity. Incredible, incredible saving well on three very fashion-forward chains. I mean, that, that's the price of an Easter egg, isn't it? Yes, true. Six, seven pounds, decent half eaten, and that'll be eaten in what, two, three sittings. Do you go for the posh Easter eggs? We don't, because I don't do chocolate. We don't do eggs. What we, do you do? We, we buy a tree for the garden. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yeah, so, so last year we bought a, a conference pear tree. Year before that we bought a Victoria plum. So mm. We buy something for the garden. Oh, lovely! That's a good idea. Mm. Um, I've ordered. Uh, I ordered actually off a little. Uh, it's a little uh, pri a little family-owned business. Mm. I think it, I get the assumption. So small business. Um, these personalised cushions for Easter yeah. for the girls, and they've got a little pocket in the front for you to put a book in, an Easter book in. Oh, so um, yeah, it's oh. like uh, so. It's got personalised willow and then Tiggy's little cushion. Well, these are. Mm. These are going to uh, sell out. Well done. Check them out. Helen, I can see six in your baskets, twos, threes. That's Paula, amazing. Elizabeth, good luck now because it is getting quite limited. It's time for us to show off your makes in the Wall of Fame. Starting us off this morning is Yvonne. Wow, Yvonne. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. I'm amazing. Hi all at JM. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Um, it's a bit of an accident. I had really? lots of split bags of seed beads wow. um, in a tub, so decided on a crochet design necklace using all of them in a massive scoop. One millimetre copper wire to make the findings and coil um, and 10 millimetre goldstone rounds. All items are from Jewelry Maker. Um, thanks for all the bargains and the giggles. And that's from Yvonne in Sheffield. Yvonne, that's incredible, so beautiful. Isn't it? Absolutely uh, incredible. Isn't it? That little um, cone ending up there, I'm going to show you how to make one later on for, Ooh, a, there for, we a, go. for a tassel topper top tip mm -hmm. it, honestly they'll yeah. they look amazing don't they so stay with us if you want to make uh, Yvonne's design uh, stay with us Wendy hello to you you're number 158 ah oh, oh, beautiful I hope so. To all at Jewelry Maker, this is my entry this week. A couple of beaded bracelets made using my new toy, an endless loom. Had fun making these and we'll be making lots more in the future. Good luck to all the waffers this week, but as usual, I would love a win. Um, I'll, I'll try my hardest for you, Wendy. 159 is from Alison. Oh, look That's at that. Cool. Gorgeous. And I spot some heshies yes. or heshies. Uh, please find and attach my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A bracelet and ring made with Jasper heshi beads. Oh. Um, all products are from JM. Good luck to all that enter into the Wall of Fame. Alison, beautiful and amazing photography. Number 160 is oh. from Sharon. Beautiful. Uh, loving the colours. Please see my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a necklace made of freshwater culture pearls with ruby rondelles and a ruby right. uh, pear stone in the centre uh, and flex right finished on 925 sterling silver magnetic clasp. All components from Jewelry Maker. This is uh, only my second entry to the Wall of Fame, but I'm very proud of how it turned out. Thank you. And that's from Sharon. Sharon, you should be proud because that's absolutely gorgeous isn't it beautiful. timeless absolutely beautiful timeless elegance number 161 is from sarah morning sarah L loving the see how look how clever they all are um, here is my entry to the six wall of fame all components were from jm i use them gorgeous 10 millimeter aquamarine candy shaped beads spaced with faceted moonstone satellite beads and then i rosary rosary link to create a necklace i sold it within one day of making it uh, need to make another now good luck and that's from sarah well there we go that's that speaks volumes the fact that it's sold in a heartbeat number 162 is from karen oh <laughs> loving that karen please find my entry to the wall of fame it's another tree of life she says lol um i absolutely love doing them and have sold well over 30 since last wow. year <coughs> that's amazing uh, this is my first chakra tree 
And I've oh. used uh, three wires, silver, gold, and rose uh, on this one from my stash. Everything is jewelry maker. Um, uh, this has taken me longer as I wanted it to flow in order. Oh, I see you you've see got... It going up yes. and down. Very clever. Hope you like it and good luck to everybody. Love to you all. And that's from Karen in Midlothian. Beautiful. Well done. Number 163 is from Nicola. And uh, Nicola says, hi, everyone. Here is my entry for this week. Earrings made with beautiful blue jasper hearts and rounds with gold-plated findings. A lovely, simple, but effective make. Lots of love from Nicola. <laughs> Number 164 is from Sue. And Sue says, here's my entry for this week. It is a set made from faceted banded agate with gold-plated spacers and is ready for the sunshine. All components from my jewellery maker stash, which funnily enough, never seems to go down. Uh. There's always something in there that fits with a new temptation I just couldn't resist. Good luck to all in this week's draw, and that's from Sue Thursfield. Number 165 is from Dear Isabel. Isabel will probably be on my workshop on Friday. Oh. Hello, lovely friends. I've created these earrings during Mark's bugle bead workshop and gifted them to my friends who loved them. A smashing experience, and I'm very chuffed with what I achieved. Have a great day, everyone. And that's lots of love from Isabel. Amazing. Aren't they clever? Just, just beautiful. Oh, um, so clever. 166 is from Vera. And Vera says, hello, everyone. After 10 years of watching, I am still amazed at the jewellery maker quality and all of the opportunities that you present to us. The luster from these Biwa pearls is incredible. And this choker is created using sterling silver findings. Keep up the good work. Lots of love from Vera. Aww. Bless you, Vera. That's beautiful. Yeah, again, the photo. It's like, honestly, Incredible. you're all professional yes. photographers, <laughs> jewellery makers as well. Are you ready? I reckon this is our first ever. I think it is. I think it's going to be lucky then. Okay. Are you sure? Do you want to do the winner? Yeah, no, no, you do the winner. You do the winner. I've got to give it a good old whiz. Yeah, yeah. Because this, this technique hasn't failed <laughs> me yet, and I'm going to do my very best. Oh, I got over enthusiastic cool. then. My very best to pull out somebody that we've read today. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, I see. I think I have Ooh. one. I have one. The winner. Oh, it's no. not today's. <laughs> the winner receiving a hundred pounds of jewelry maker credits to their account is number one hundred and thirty-three. Kathy, oh! It's Kathy. It's Kathy. Kathy! First message. Oh, oh my word. That is. I am. Uh, do you know what, Kathy? Bless your heart, because you messaged me the past couple yeah. of days. Yeah. She's, she sent me a private message as well, did Kathy? Oh. Kathy said this morning, favourite presenter, favourite designer. And you've won. Oh, my word. <laughs> And also, Kathy, so. you messaged me as well. I believe so. Yeah, Kathy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so I pleased. See. Oh my word. Because she's also she sent me a really lovely she's message lovely. recently. Lovely. Um, just a message of support. So honestly, you're awesome. I'm so happy for you. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Mark, be lucky. Oh, I gotta do it now. Yeah, be right. lucky. Okay. Genuinely over so the this moon. This is the runner-up who's gonna win £50. Let's see the bottom. Right, here we go. I can't believe that you picked out Kathy. I know, I'm so pleased. Okay, I have picked out. Ooh. <laughs> number 171. Oh, it was close. Uh, Sarah Potter. Yeah! Sarah Potter. Well, done, well, Sarah. Done. well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. I love this part uh, part of the oh, week. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Well done, everybody, and good luck for the for next year. Yahoo! Well this is Kathy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well That's done. karma, isn't it? That's yeah. literally karma. Congratulations. Oh, I'm loving that. Um, make sure, make sure you stay tuned for the next, well, the next few hours, because we've got some beautiful oh, kits coming your yeah. way. Brand new launch. Brand new launch. With the most launch. ridiculous price ever. <laughs> yeah. It, it is, it's literally, are we oh. doing the he-she's next? Yeah. Yeah. Straight after, first auction, brand new colours, big mm. quantity, it comes with the fire line. Make sure you're checking out on these bracelets. We're going to leave that graphics on your screens for 30 more seconds, and that goes for everything in this last hour. Um, well done, everybody. Ah, oh, made my morning. That's that's made brilliant. my morning. We'll be back <laughs> after this. <laughs>
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monica going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I've just taken a little look at Mark's collection. Saturday. What time Saturday? Uh, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Mm. Oh, God, that's, that's, a good, that's a good time because Tiggy's yeah. down for a nap at that time. Oh, so yeah, so that, that means I can, I can tune in in peace and quiet. So I'll, I'll give you a little sneaky peek of a couple. I'm allowed to show you two pieces. Okay. So um, I'll show you. I'll, we'll do all the kits and things and then okay. at the end of the hour I'll show okay, you. Okay, we'll do it then. Yeah. Um, Exclusive, premiere, brand new kit. This is all about the vinyl he uh, heishis. These are yeah, They're amazing. massive. They're amazing. So we launched them, we launched the first kits. It must be, it was before Christmas. I think it was September, October time, I think, mm -hmm. or something like that. And we had a blue, we had a monochrome, we had neons, we had pastel neons. And some of the strands that, that, that um, came in the kits 
they had markings on them that looked like casino chips. Okay, cool. They were, they were really funky and people just loved them. And, uh, and they're, they're so easy to use. They've got big drill holes. They're really good for kids to get to, to get. Yeah, I, I want to buy one of these. So one of um, all of my favorite techniques. So we've got rosary linking. We we've got that, simple threading. We've got memory wire. Um, we've got, as I said, we've got knotting, we've got marlows, we've got all sorts of, um, so anything that, that you make with the gemstone or with the seed bead, you can do with the heishes. And um, I just fell in love with them and the viewers really fell in love with them as well. And we've been trying to get a kit together like this for such a long time and it's arrived. And what I really like about it is, is you've, got, you've got the sort of the neon pinks, reds and oranges on the top. And then you've got the greens, oh, yes. and then you've got the blues and purples, and then you've got the neutrals at the bottom there. And as you, so I've made all of that jewellery that you've got there, and I've still got all of those all left. All of those left. So I've hardly touched them. You know, it's, it's just it's just crazy. So you get all of these now. One of the questions that we get asked is there are there are two types of, of vinyl hishi. There's one type contain um, recycled vinyl records. Mm -hmm. Uh, which are quite, I bet which are quite expensive. Well, I bet they're, well. they're you know and quite difficult to get hold of. And because to get hold of, yeah. yeah. Um, so so ours are reconstituted polymer clay. Oh, awesome! So what they do is they dry the polymer clay out until it's a, a fine powder, mm -hmm. and then they reconstitute it into our heishes. So they're still vinyl, yeah, but they're they're made with a polymer clay resin, if you like. Oh, that's so they're very very soft, very strong, very malleable. And I just love them. And to be able to get this, this box here, it's going to go with all your seed bead colours and it's going to go with all of your gemstones. There's not a colour in the palette that we don't have no. a gemstone or a seed bead with. And yeah. they, they're just amazing. You get thousands. Mark, they're so on box. trend as well. I mean, I yeah. look at these and I think, God, so boho chic, but you've yeah, got that injection right. of colour now. And they're very light, very lightweight. I mean, love some of that. these are really, really heishy heavy. I mean, that. that the, the peacock one in the centre, that mm -hmm. I love, that's my favourite. I love that colour combination. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Is that just one long line? One long, using the, losing the wildfire that you get in the kit, yeah. And it, as I said, it, it's, it, I think it's about eight feet long altogether in a continuous loop. I'm just visualising you sat with that literally oh, across the amazing. floor. I love that type of necklace. It's just beautiful. You could, we could replicate all of these designs. So what I've done with the, can you see the earrings here? Yeah. What I've done is I've taken three, four or five colours, one earring, is light to dark to light, and then the opposite earring is dark oh, to light yes. to dark, just so you can show, just from swapping the colours around, how different it looks. It really does. Yeah, and you can make all of those beaded Funnies. necklaces that I've made, like the peacock, in exactly the same colour tones. Just have a real play with them. They're amazing. Look how different they are just yeah. by the uh, the arrangement. Yeah. Mine is the is the the red in the top corner. I love that necklace. And, and again, yeah. the, the earrings. You see, it goes black to yellow or yellow to black, and they just look completely different. Gosh, they do. Yeah, just from altering the, the way you ombre. I love that one too. Just I love that colour way. And then the refreshing necklace in the middle on the top row there. I love that. It's just so pastel. I, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, those little yeah. tubes. Remember the yeah. ones you used to get? Is, right. Yeah, you still get them. Yeah, yeah. You still get them. We've got a massive glass jar in our kitchen that I actually bought on the back of actually hiring um, what you might not know, small detail, but Wayne. Um, oh, that's right. He has a yes, sweet yes, cart right. as yeah. well, so he hires them out, a really beautiful mm. sweet cart. And we had one for Willow's birthday, and I ordered... Tom actually ordered way too many sweets that were left over, and I was like, right, I need a big jar to put them in. So it's still going strong. I love that um, but it sweets. actually has. It does, yeah, yeah. Or Parma violets. Yeah. Like that the as vintage well. sweetie colors. It I looks think. nice. It looks nice no, as well. No, um, yeah, yeah. Mark, these are beautiful. Them. I just love them. They're and a joy, said, and aren't the fact they? That you've got, I've got so many left. I could probably do all of the jewelry again. So I think I use most of the black mm -hmm. and I use the pale green. But apart from that, I mean, they're all pretty much using them all up again. So this will go on to oh, elastic, yeah. wildfire, yep. some of your cords. Yep, it'll go on to one and a half mil wire. Yeah. Uh, it'll go on to all of you, as I said, your silk cords, your thin paracord, it'll go on to if you've got a stash of your yeah. thin paracord. Uh, all of your wires, all of your threads, memory wire, all, oh, all yeah, time. Memory wire. So yeah, it'll go on absolutely everything. I love rosary linking. Really. <coughs> Plus you get your hobnob. Plus you get your hobnob. For those of you that don't know, that means mm. your thread. Um, yeah. It's just the code, which Mark it's remembers. I remember. <laughs> um, this is your wildfire. Now, what we're going to do is a 60 second countdown because we expect this kit to sell out 200. Is that all? Oh. 
<laughs> We've had lots of messages in the past into the studio oh. talking about the price of wildfire we on certain auctions, uh, on, not auction yeah. sites, certain websites. I had to buy one on an emergency a few months ago. Oh, yeah. It was £15. £15. Pounds. And I had to buy it. Just consider that for a second. Yeah. No, mm. it's amazing. Yeah. But, but for, for Easter and for kids, because kids are off, aren't they, for two weeks over Easter? Yeah. I mean, Willow would love these. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely love these. She, she, uh, do you know, she, I, I think I said on the air the other day, I was sat making some stretchy bracelets for the show, mm. and she was just off to bed, and she was like, Mum, I think you're so cool when you make jewellery. Oh. It was like, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> winning, winning. But well, she would like to have her own jewellery box. She loves um, doing she it. Love she absolutely it. loves doing it. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. it's, there's no risk to these no, at all. No sharp not. edges, honestly. No, no, Brownie no. points from my five-year-old <laughs> for being cool. I think that's the only person who's ever called me that, by the way. Um, the auction is open. Start dialing through. There are literally thousands are. of your, uh, yeah. your heshies, heshies, whichever uh, way you describe yeah. it. I was actually corrected over in mm. Tucson because I called them Heshies. Um, and it well, was I've always called them that as well. Yeah, it was actually yeah. a turquoise trader who actually yeah. said it's not Heshies, it's Heshies. Well, I think you've got, the, in each of those little compartments, you've got 24 colours in here, and mm. I think each of those compartments is a strand. Wow. Strands worth. Well, wh and when you say strand, that's them literally the, side yeah, to side. 38 centimetre strand. Gosh, that will be hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds yeah. So and the hundreds. Kits, the kits that we bought to wear, had, I think, had five strands in, wow. in each kit. So we've never we've never bought them. Twenty four like before. So twenty four strands. Yeah. Look at the phone lines. Oh my word! There are two hundred. There is a queue on the phone lines. Press your option one. Our, our call centre will get to you very, very, very shortly. Um, or you can go via the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, or via the app. There's no queues there. Um, we have 200. It will be allocated on a first come, first serve basis. I expect this to be an on screen sellout. What we have to, we can't just go straight down to our price, even I can tell you it's not this. Um, and the reason for that, if we did, we would crash the phone lines. We wouldn't be very popular with our call centre team and also the website. Out of two 295 have gone already already and this is not your price not your price and you get an amazing storage box as well <coughs> yes as well you get the storage box storage box you get your <laughs> yeah. wildfire which you said yeah we had a shortage for a while didn't we 95 isn't it our wildfire which is ridiculous because i can remember mm. alison actually saying to me al can you have a little look around the studio to see if you can find any wildfire because she didn't have any so she had to actually, this is a while ago, but she actually so had to order it from the River website. So between you and me then, mm. right, say that's £8, mm. okay, do you know how much you're now going to be paying for each of those compartments? No, because I'm useless at maths, go on. Hamper? No, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what now? When we, when, we, when we come down to what the price it's going to, each of those compartments are going to cost you. I'm so sure. Mm. I'll let you say that out loud. Okay. So can I can I just tell the viewers then? So Oh should I tell them first? Right, okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell you then. Okay, so eight pounds seven ninety five for your wildfire. Each of these compartments, when the next crash comes in, are going to cost you now bear in mind each of these compartments holds an entire strand. Each of these compartments 50 pence each. 50p? <laughs> 50p? Yep. 50p? So £8 for your wildfire and £12, including the box. That's ridiculous, isn't That's it? so stupid, honestly. That is ridiculous. You're loving it, which is what we <laughs> love to see as well. Linda, Mary, Barbara, Judith bought five, Sabine's oh. bought three, Pauline, Jackie, Jane, uh, Zara, Pauline, uh, Michelle, Linda, Margaret, Kerry, Rex and Barbara, uh, Barbara, another Barbara, hello to you, uh, I can't keep up with you. Every time I try and say a name, I'm probably, the screen's yes. jumping, so I'm probably <laughs> repeating the same names over and over again. But there's a lot of multi-buyers on this. So you're, to, hang on, simple maths, Eight pounds yeah, yeah, yeah. for the wildfire, which is awesome. Which is amazing price. Yep. And then fifty the, pence compartment. per compartment. Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. 
first come, that first serve, they will sell out. Ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's the deal of the, of the year so far in kit form for me. That's just amazing. So much fun. Yeah. And as I said, you've got, you got Easter holidays coming up. It's two weeks, isn't it, kids? Easter yeah. holiday. Mm -hmm. that, that's yeah. happening in three weeks. I asked the yeah. teacher yes, uh, the other day, I was like, when's, when's Easter holiday? She was like, three weeks' time. Mm. Yeah, they're off for two weeks. Yeah. And of course, kids expect to do something every, every single, single day, day, which, which is not... cost a fortune. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. yeah, even if you go to something like the soft play, it ends up mm. costing you a fortune, yeah. which I dread. I dread those words. That makes me shudder, you know. <laughs> Mummy, can uh, we go to the soft play? <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather get something like this. Yeah. I can I can be making mm. a long cider as absolutely. well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness oh. me, because I mean these aren't toys; they are beautiful, beautiful yep. beads. And, and again, th so this is this is rosary linked, and all I've done is I've popped a little eight o either mm. side. Otherwise, the the um, the coil would pop into the beads, and I didn't want that. I wanted it to keep it separate. So you just yeah. pop a, a seed bead either side. Love yeah, that. Yes, and they're just exactly. lovely and tactile. Hello, Mandy. Yeah. So this is amazing. You can have two for the original yep. price. Exactly. No, they are very tactile, they're aren't they? And they've got a slight little bend to them, so they're not rigid. You know, they're, they're quite, they're not squidgy, but they're, you know, they're robust. Yeah. But there's no, as you said, there's no sharp edges. They're lightweight. Nope. They're, they're, they're so easy to use. Really good drill holes. I love those, those green earrings. I think that's one of my favourite combinations. Yeah, loving that. that. Oh. The green. I yeah, like absolutely green. beautiful. And again, just mixing up the sort of the order absolutely. completely transforms it. And you've got all of your rainbow colours, <coughs> so the rainbow jewellery. You've got all your chakra colours in there as well. Yep. So you can, you, can, you can do a chakra knotted necklace with heishes. Love it. So lightweight that I'd love them. Hello, oh, Ted. I, I wasn't going to buy, but at that price, <laughs> it would be criminal not to. Exactly. Hey, Ted's been watching us for many years. Many well. years. Yeah. Hello, Ted. Hello. My neck, my neck of the woods. Oh, um, we're going to leave the graphics live so you can obviously right. carry on purchasing. As you can see, they are rapidly, rapidly flying out um, and a lot of multi buyers on this one. And um, we'll keep you updated. Mark, what are you going to demo? So, any excuse, I've, I've started to make a, a little necklace on here again. This is, this is just knotting. Oh, so you've done it on the nylon? Yeah, so this is using, so this is 0.5 S-Long cord which I used to do most of my knotting. And because the, the drill holes are so large in these, you can do the double knot, the double cord knotting, mm -hmm. which is the, the fail-safe Oh, even I can do that one. Yeah, so imagine that we were just going to make a full marl. I mean, you didn't have to do the whole 108. You can just do a knotted necklace long enough that it goes over the head. Mm. So I'll show you. Uh, um, so you take two pieces of your S-Lon in your colour, double knot at the end, and leave a, a good eight inches, OK, because you'll need to tie off your, your tassel in a second okay. okay so i'll just show you the um the knotting so take your your heshes so we'll go for some of those and we'll go for a couple of those and then we'll go for some green and we'll go for the turquoise and then we'll go for the yellow so they're really really simple use as well they i just love them so we need as i as i mentioned earlier you'll be able to do it with the knotting but if you're doing rosary linking your coil that you make will actually sit inside the loop okay. the, in the, the drill hole, and I didn't want that. So just pop an 8 either side if you're rosary linking. Okay. So I've just done the same with, with my two cords. So I'm going to take the two ends, and I'm going to feed on an 8 seed bead. So just feed that through, and I'm using a, a bottle green 8 -o. So we feed the 8 on. And then we do our combination of our heshes. So we'll pop on one of these lovely, okay, the pastel colours in here are beautiful as well. And then one of these. And as, again, you can alternate the ombre if you wanted to as well. And then we go for one of those. So you can see how easy. And you can get two lots of your thicker cord, your 0.9 mm -hmm. you can get through as well. So, I mean, if you, were, if you struggle with drill holes, which sometimes we do yep, with gemstones, absolutely. these are a, a breeze. That's right, absolutely. Okay, and then we'll go back in reverse. So the next one was the turquoise colour. What you could do, which would be really evil, is you could tip them all out into a big pile and then get the kids to organise them again. <laughs> Saying that, I would love to do that. <laughs> That would be my idea of a nightmare. Oh, would it? Oh, yeah. I love that. 
And just bear in mind, we've got an amazing storage coming up a bit later as well. So if you wanted to take them out of this case, <gasps> yes. it's new storage. If Good you idea. To. Okay, so we've done our little, so that's all you do for your section. So it's simply thread it on. And then all we're going to do is, this is the fail, the fail safe version of knotting, is you take your two cords, you separate them. I showed this on a show recently, so um, I, I love doing this technique. So we'll just separate the two cords and do a double knot, like so. Okay, so that's how you would do your knotting. So you're just going to repeat that process until you get to the length of your necklace. So what we're going to do next is imagine I've made my full length necklace and we've got four, let me just get my scissors, we've got four cords. So what we've got now need to do is we need to separate them into two sets of single cords. So just separate our two lots of cords really tightly and we're going to cut away one of each, the, if you can, the outermost cord of the set of two. So we're just going to cut one away on one side and we're going to cut one away on the other side. So now we've got our two cords and then what we're going to do is we're going to take those two cords, make them a bit shorter and we're going to do our, in effect, we're going to do your guru bead. So you can either go for a different bead or again go for again the same sort of ombre section so I'll just pop a I'm just going to pop random ones I'm not going to do the ombre so we'll just go for some of these okay so you do your little group let's just go for four of the pale yellow so as I said you can because they're so lightweight you can in incorporate heavier gemstones if you wanted to or large gurus or okay so we're going to finish with our Ato just as we did before. Pull that nice and tight. So we've got our two cords, and then what that does, it brings your necklace together to a point. Okay, you can do bracelet version of this as well if you wanted to. Now, when you get to that last bead, if you tied your knot the way we did with our little knotted sections, you'd get the two cords splaying in either direction. Mm -hmm. For the last bead, we want the, the, the knots to sit parallel. So this time we're going to take both of the cords together and tie an overhand knot. And then we're going to take our bead all and we're going to feed that up, pulling nice and tight. So that knot sits directly underneath the beading. Pull it nice and tight. And now, can you see both of the cords are running parallel with each other? If we did the ordinary knot, they would be like that. They would stick out either side. So now we're going to do our comb. So for this, you're going to need, I've got a 6-0, so I wanted to keep with the, the same color scheme. So what we're going to do, just trim those off a little bit, is we're going to take our two cords, and again, I want to keep in the same color tone, so I'm going to pop on one of the eight O's, feed that through, and then you can either use a 6-0 a 6-0 bead or a little gemstone round. Okay, but you need something larger at the top. So the next thing is we're going to make our cone. So this is using this is using the WAGS Y cone. And we need a piece of one millimeter wire. You only need probably about a foot, something like that. And using your round nose pliers, and again, and then I've shown this on the um, on the show a few times, but, but I just love this tool. And we, we had that, um, what was the lady's name who sent in that necklace earlier that opened the Wall of Fame this morning with all the seed beads? Yvonne. Uh, Yvonne. Uh, and so Yvonne used, probably used these cones as well. So we're going to take our one mil wire and just make a right angle, like so. And then we're going to take our, our cone, mandrel. We're going to pop that little tail in the end and we're going to pop the wire up out of the way. You don't have to do that, but I find it's easier. And then we're going to hold the handle in one hand, hold the wire near to the top of the cone mandrel as we can, and we're going to turn the handle. So hold the wire nice and tight to the mandrel and turn your cone. Now I definitely recommend, after the show, popping onto Sewing Street website and buy some of the following item I'm going to show you. So we're going to cut that off. 
Now, because I'm using a small bead, the heishis, I've not gone all the way down to the bottom mm. of the cone. I don't want such a big cone. Okay, if you, if you, you've got the cone, have you? Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh they're limited, right. though. Oh, okay, gosh. The, this is the Wags Y cone uh, that you're using right now. Yeah, that's right. But it, this, is, this is the best £8 you'll ever spend. I, I've probably used this tool more than any other tool in my toolbox. Mm. Just love them, absolutely love them. And this is the, the original from the launch day back six or seven, eight Frosted. years ago now. Like a faithful longer. friend. Yes, yeah. So when you get to the end of your comb, we need to release it from the mandrel. So you can see the wire looping around and coming through the tip of the comb. You're going to cut just before the comb. So we're just going to cut through that. That little tail will pop off and then your cone will slide off. Pop that to one side. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to tidy this up a bit and I'm going to cut my loop off at the end and I'm just going to tidy up any edges on the bottom. Right, so there we have our cone. Now, do you remember I asked you, when you're doing your, your cone topping, is to make sure that you, you use a large CB60 yeah. or a gemstone, because you don't want your cores to go down the tip of the cone. So you're now going to take your two threads and you're going to feed down through the top of your cone. Feed those through, and then that 60 bead acts as a stopper and it stops all your threads from getting caught in. Okay, so you can use something quite decorative if you wanted to. Yeah. Now, there is lots of guest designers have bought different ways of doing tassels to you, but for me, and I'm lucky because I've got masses of these at home, these are embroidery threads that I do my cross stitching with at home. So whenever I finished a project, I keep all of the remnants that I've not used in a bag and I didn't know what to do with them. I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, and they are perfect for doing your tassels. And I personally think that, that nothing beats your, your, your silk thread tassel. Is that really. what this is? That, that's what this is, yeah. And they come in, they come in you know, sort of eight, nine hundred colours, so that you're always going to have a colour of thread. So if you go onto Sewing Street after the show today, onto their website, they sell all the colours singly. And I, I, I think they're, they're about 90p a pound, something like yeah. that each. And for the lack and for the lack of work, and you have to go for it. And they're silk; they're silk tassels. So yeah, really soft. Yeah. So, and they do sometimes they do multi packs as well of, of different colours. So, um, snaffle those up. And all you do, this is uh, I love this. So we've got our cone. We've got our cone with our two cords that we've left coming out of the bottom. And then we're going to take our silk and we're going to take off the two codes. Now this is Anchor. There are two firms. This is Anchor. Well, and the, the other firm is DMC, okay? Same, basically the same colours, but the code numbers that you get on the packs are going to be different, corresponding with the different colours, okay? Mm -hmm. So either or anchor or DMC. And then all we're going to do is we're going to place the middle of our silk on the base of the cone, roughly. You're going to take the two ends and you're going to just gently tie the knot fully. Don't do it too tight. Just make sure that you're nice and central in the bottom and just pull that up. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to pull those two pieces of S on very, very tight and that will go up inside the cone, ah. nice and tight. Fold that out the way and then we go back in and tie a double knot. Pull it nice and tight. And then we're just going to go in and we're going to cut those two S cords away. And I'm just going to flatten that down. So it wasn't too bad, the, the, the lengths. And then this is the best bit. All you're going to do is you're going to take your pair of scissors and you're going to go in and you're going to cut through the loops, like so. Just cut through, make sure you've got no ends. And then you're just going to give it a little brush. And then what I tend to do then is if I have, if I have gone one side too longer than the other, all you're going to do is you'll just go in with your scissors and just cut them to a nice neat point and you have a beautiful very that. easy silk tassel because some because the reason that i've gone on to the silk th the silk threads is if the best will in the world if you make a tassel using your eslon sometimes the ends curl yeah they do yeah and if they don't hang properly I, I always feel as though it's not a job done properly but these silks you can see how easy that was. And as I said, if you're, if you're an embroiderer or a cross-stitcher, you're going to have lots of these at home in your stash. You're going to have a colour that's going to match 
will be comparable to the, to the bees you've used. And I think for a tassel topper, that is probably the easiest and I think the most luxurious, and it's silk, it's silk. So it's, it's, it's just going to add that little finishing touch to your, to your marla necklaces and your knotted necklaces. Mark, that's I absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's anything for an easier life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, the kit yeah. sold out, by the way. Well oh, done to those of you that got hold of that. Well done. Um, well done. Your deal of the day today, it's coming up in 25 minutes, is dreamy. Um, there's five different varieties. It's all about storage. And you, you've been pointing out, you said it was nerdy. It's not. It's the kind of thing that I would, I would pay attention What's to really as nice well. What's really nice is that we've gone for a, I don't know whether it's, it's pink and blue for boys and girls, I don't know, but the pink and the blue are my wedding colours. Okay, <laughs> yeah. it's destiny. destiny. Spring-loaded handle as well. I love that handle. I love it. It is so cool. And yeah. can you see? You've got the jewellery maker written in black, so yeah. nice and subtle, and you've got those lovely different variations of colours. This is coming yeah. up at 10 o'clock today. We also have it in the blue, um, and we've got a couple of other yeah. uh, wonderful storage launches to bring you. Look at that. I mean, is that not the most satisfying thing ever to look at? Oh, I love it. I love it. So and it's this, is, this is some of my super duos. So you've got, you've got these amazing little round containers on one side, and then you've got little, I call them tic-tac boxes, mm -hmm. on, the, um, on the other side. So, so th these will hold two-thirds of a tube of your beads, and these little can canisters will hold a whole tube. So wow. a whole tube, two-thirds of a tube. So that's, this, th that's in the pink box. And then in the blue box, should we show them? Yeah. In the blue box... Hang on. Uh, Gosh, this is heavy. Is <laughs> oh. So that's the thing. So in the blue one, <gasps> okay, so one side is facing upwards, and that has my atos in on one oh, side. Oh, I see what you did there. And then, so they don't get mixed up, the ones pointing down on the left-hand side are my 11 O's. So you can do all sorts of things with these beads as well. They come with, you get a bag of, a pack of stickers as well to either go on the top and I don't know if the camera won't be able to see but we'll, we'll show you when we come to do it at, at, 11, at 10 o'clock but these are initialed A to Z these little boxes as well so you can put them in alphabetical order or colour order oh yes well. so they actually feature can you zoom I don't know it's really I don't hang on let me just take one out if I get a colour it might be easier to see yeah. here we go can you oh you yeah. are you've got, one, you've got them there so they've, they've got these are all, mine are all mixed up, but they, the whole alphabet twice is in this little box as well, so you can alpha, alphabeticalize and all sorts of things. That's awesome. So that's that one. And then we've got this amazing little drawer system that I hadn't seen this, so this is new to me as well, which is so cute. It is. Yeah, you've got a little, little fold-out, pull-out drawer. I mean, the kind of thing that you would have... If I go into Alan and Sue's room, oh, yes, exactly. they actually have all these yeah, yeah. Full, of, uh, full of like findings and yeah, things, absolutely. don't they? Labelled with their findings, so it's li literally easy yeah. access. Then we've got this, which is um, just little tic-tac boxes in a clear box, so you sort overstocks or refills, and so you can do that as well. And what I, noticed, what I looked at yesterday, you can actually put your single capuchins in these little containers oh, good as idea. well to keep them safe. And then with this one, which which sells out every time we bring yep. this to air, mm -hmm. I've got my find my, my base metal findings. So I've got my gold plated at the bottom, and then silver plate, and then rose gold plate in the top. And they all latch, the kind of like the deflector. They all connect absolutely. together, don't that's they? Right. Yep, absolutely. Um, uh, Ross is like, that's yeah. what I thought as well. Yeah, all yep. that's fine. And this isn't one bundle. We're selling these individually, so it's a showcase deal of the day today yeah love it all coming up at 10 o'clock today yeah. um very 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 exciting okay little run of mini kits oh yes these are amazing they're beautiful these are preciosa bicones crystal bicones four millimeter they're just the best look how beautiful i'm going to spin it round just yeah. so you can well look you've got the lovely patterning there but you can see the preciosa beads yeah. and we've got and we've called it rainbow here but these are your chakra colors yes so for the 11 o'clock hour when we do the chakra kits you can use these in combination with them you don't just get that though no you're also getting all your lovely findings as well mm -hmm. uh rose gold plated findings which includes length of chain you've got your head pins your eye pins Jump rings, feather weights, you've got some of your magnetic uh, multi strand class, you've got your hoops, your shepherd hooks, your crimps, your crimp covers, and also um, your spacer beads. This kit has been on once. Look at that. Mark, that piece of jewellery is stunning. This was on your screens back in February, 494 mm. sold. Yeah. 
Oh, there no. are 26 left. So this is, these are little mini stations. That's this is, this gorgeous. Is, so this is using 15 O's to do the Kiss Cross station. So this, these, are, these are some of the cards. We've got some other kits coming up that I've combined with them as well, but you can get the general gist. That's beautiful. So you need 17 for a station, and you've got absolutely masses in, masses. That, in that kit. There's literally 17. Is that right? 17? Oh, no. Is that what you oh, said? No. Sorry, 27. But 14 no, pounds and 99 pence. Ridiculous. We, are, we, we sold almost 100 on the initial, uh, sorry, 500 yeah. um, on the initial launch. All bike owns. You can't get Swarovski anymore in your bike owns. They're not doing the uh, elements. No, no. Um, yeah, you can create a really beautiful ombre, ombre couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you can't get a Swarovski anymore. So really, Preciosa is 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 yeah. the, the is the is the go-to. I bet when Swarovski revealed that uh, revealed yeah. to the world that the yeah, elements were no longer being uh, made, um, Preciosa were doing little happy dances, weren't they? Uh, and Absolutely. you know, they're not in the shadows no. of Swarovski. No. It's as equally beautiful quality. Absolutely, Absolutely. it's going to be sell out. And uh, Swarovski, a bit of insider knowledge here, Swarovski are quite, quite strict with their contracts and things. So sometimes they'll say, well, if, you're, if you stock us, you can't stock anyone else and that sort of thing. So when Swarovski, as you said, when Swarovski decided to stop doing the elements, mm -hmm. lots of other manufacturers were clapping. Yeah. Because, and and um, I, I love Prezio, so and I'm lucky enough to have visited the factory. Sold out. So um, I'm absolutely thrilled. Yeah. Um, okay. Ooh. I've not seen them. Oh my lord, look at these. Oh look, so this symbol, you've probably seen it with a, literally a thumb on your finger, if you imagine that shape is the Hamza hand. Quite very symbolic, it's been around for, for centuries. Have we got a pair of tweezers? Sorry, I thought I had some here. Got some flat nose pliers. Um, can I borrow those? Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Um, oh my hearts. goodness. Yeah, so you have the Hamza hand in the two different colours. Sorry. Oh, gosh, I'm making a right faff of this, aren't I? Here we go. So you actually have, there it is, that's the Hamza symbol. And it's to yeah, ward off um, evil, basically. Mm. It's a, a symbol of protection and negativity. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I love that turquoise. You've got your lovely turquoise colour. They like opals, don't they? They do. <laughs> I thought that. Yeah. Um, and then you've got, I'm just going to move that little pot. You've got them in beautiful oh. parve set. Um, then you've got this beautiful heart times two in your connectors. Both, all of these are connectors with the links, uh, the loops rather at either end. You have, in terms of your findings, two of your toggles. You get a group of your um, head pins. You've got a length of the chain, shepherd hooks, and also your jump rings. Spacer beads, uh, sorry, crimps rather, and then gemstones. This is a lovely it's kit. Isn't it? So, you know, we showed earlier on the Ashley Clark bracelet mm. that had the all seeing, uh, sorry, the evil eye. Oh, yeah. um, they also do a Hamza hand um, in, uh, in the bi biology collection. Um, you're talking about from 130, generally, I think they are, to about 155. Now, they are, again, with gemstones, um, um, beautiful gemstones, but I'm, I'm not comparing. I'm just saying that this would be a great inspiration for you all. So, imagine, look. I would take the blue and maybe use it with yeah. the lapis. Yeah, yeah. And then beautiful. this one <laughs> with your moonstone. They are also included. Four connectors, all your findings, and your beautiful gemstones as well. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Oh, it's not. That's not your price. On launch, again, flew out the door. We have the last remaining quantity for you today. <laughs> Even Ross did a, oh goodness, <laughs> they did go low. And if Ross is saying that. $17.99. You'd pay that. That's the two strands. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. the two strands that you're getting. Lapis lazuli and beautiful pure white moonstone. And then you're getting those beautiful charms like um, about for free. Like revolving all day. Yeah, hypnotic, isn't it? It's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Look at that. The quality of both of those gemstones. Zara, Jane, Sabine, Christine, Elizabeth, Suffolk, new customer, new customer, Cambridgeshire, Kim and Jane. Well done. Check out those baskets. How many did we have? 
Oh, we have quantity, but at 17.99, again, that's the price of the gemstones, which are so beautifully versatile, aren't they? We've described them as rondelles, but they are almost round. Yeah. I would more describe like lanterns, them. Lanterns, aren't they? Yes, yeah. like a little, mm. a little squished round, yeah. ever so slightly squeezed. Um, which I love that about it. You get great luster from uh, from this shape of strand. Again, simple stretchy bracelets with bubble style. Mark, could we do? Could we incorporate these into your kiss cross? Absolutely. Yeah, they'd be perfect for your micro. Yeah, absolutely. It, it really sits nicely, actually. That that particular shape. Eat, pray, yeah. love. Yeah. That's a film, 70. isn't it? A book. A book. Yeah. A book. <laughs> Uh, I see, I see. Seventeen ninety nine only, with the hamza hand, of course, and also there's lovely little heart details. Sharon, Liz, Gillian, Gabrielle, Elizabeth, Elaine, new customers, well done, everybody. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. I went home after our last show, and um, and I said to Andrew, I said, um, oh, you and Ripley sold out this morning, and he said, what do you mean, my, me and Ripley sold out? So I told him the story about the kits. Did he, he like he was it? Really chuffed. Ah, oh, bless him. Look. But Thomas and I had sold out by the end of the day as well. Yes, yes. Um, Thomas, I love that name. Thomas and Dave, I feel like, would be mates. Yes. I looked, you know, you said about the markings on Tabby mm. Cat as well. Yeah, yeah. Dave's got the M. Got it's the a very M. recognisable yeah, yeah. M yeah, as well. I'm looking at it all the time now. Oh, this kid's beautiful. <sighs> Gosh. Now, I have to apologise to Alice. Alice will be watching. Alice asked me to bring in the jewellery for these kits. Okay. And I bought the wrong jewellery in. Oh, we'll let you so, off, Mark. So all this jewellery to my left here, <coughs> which is lovely set up, ready to show you, we're not actually bringing those kits to air. So I'd have I to mean, we'll let you off, Mark. I'd have to apologise to Alice, yes. You had a lot to bring but in. But these are amazing. And I think, I don't think you, was on, you were on this show with me. I think it might have been Carol. But yeah. we were talking about the price of the kit are the price of these amazing clasps. They're just so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Look at the gemstones. Gorgeous. Three know, incredible strands. Uh, three incredible strands of your bicones, mm -hmm. which include. Oh, let me put that down for a second because that's not displayed. And these, nearly are, these are four well. mil as well, so you can use these with your preciosa box, the rainbow box that we just bought to wear. Oh, some people prefer to use gemstones mm. over over absolutely. your pressed glass. Absolutely. That's fine, absolutely fine. Um, if that is you right now then here is the kit for you because these are exquisitely cut by you cones can, as well you can replicate you can rep replicate the station necklace with these both of these kits that we're bringing to air now but using aquamarine and amazonites oh. in the station necklace and then it would be amazing and then this clasp which is stunning isn't it beautiful sterling yeah. silver Sterling Silver, Parve Set, 925. Um, I think we've spoken about this, Mark, mm. how it's got that exposed gallery. It has, so you could yeah. kind of separate them all, couldn't you? What we, were, what we suggested on the show is using the flower as a connector on a slide bracelet mm. because the two ends of the clasp, they actually open. They're like little lobster claws. So you, those, you could interlock those at the back of the neckline and not even use the flower. You could yeah. use the flower as an asymmetric Feature on in amongst some pearls that we've got yeah, coming absolutely. up a little bit later on yeah, yeah. Um, and then of course you get your beautiful Mayuki there's uh, 11 O's turquoise 11 O's you have your Duracoat galvanized gold 15 O's mm -hmm. and your matte opaque cobalt uh, AB 8 O's as well um, I agree <laughs> that that's crazy Mad, isn't that it? is the price of the three uh, of the gemstones because they are exceptional yeah. quality by well, that's 21 pound for the for the seed beads yes and then that's sterling silver, this clasp. That's fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Anybody, any, so in effect, your gemstones are free. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense, especially when they're yeah. of that quality. We, uh, you know, I love yeah. the, I absolutely love the bicone. Uh, so the angles of the bicones, because mm. sometimes you can see gemstones cut into a bicone, and they are almost a bicone. Yeah. Where yeah. these are yeah. most definitely thirty four pounds and ninety nine yeah. pence. I'm just going to place that down for a second, and if I can reach that is, let me just try. I don't want to do a Ruth and fall off my chair, that's the thing. <laughs> um, can we do that? Lovely, thank you. Just grabbing those oh, pearls. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that together. Mm -hmm. These pearls are coming up yeah. a little bit later yeah. on. Midday. They're huge. Huge, aren't they? absolutely yeah. huge pearls. 
£34.99 again. Well done to those of you um, that have secured theirs. If you want the pearls, stay with us because they're coming up at um, at 12. I've got one oh, more colour really variety to bring really you. I'm really surprised. We've, we can't have many of these, Ross. Have you seen the gemstones? <coughs> I know exactly why you're excited. You know, the, you know the technique, simple spiral that I do that has the central spine going mm. around? Well, I did, ugh, which I left at home, the necklace using these, it looked beautiful. I know, this is the uh, best, this is the finest gold stone. We bought quite a few strands recently. You and I did a showcase, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. But this is, for me, the sparkliest. Look at them. Oh. Not all the way back here, look. Well, yeah, we Ooh. normally have it in a, in a round. Yeah. The phenomenal, look at that. Oh my <laughs> goodness me. I'll snaffle this kit just for those. And me. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, Beautiful. Yeah, Ross is saying the price of the kit is actually too low for just those. But we will match the launch price. There are less than 40 of these available. Plus you get your Mayuki. Plus you get your sterling silver, 925 yeah. sterling silver daisy toggle class, which Beautiful, is what, 14 millimetres <laughs> in its size. Oh, I love that sound. Daisy, it, so. daisy. It's pretty, isn't it? That is too low. <laughs> That's the seed beads again. Yeah, but you've got own. 925 sterling yeah. silver. Yeah. Oh, you've oh, got what the, the, the margin numbers in front of you. Yeah, it is actually too low. Uh, too low. And by the way, you because I, 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 I had a, a message on uh, Sunday, someone saying, why do you keep saying it was an admin error? I, that meeting I was in yesterday, oh, and boy. do you remember, <laughs> Ad, Adam, you can vouch me on Sunday when it was actually, bless her heart, uh, sorry, you're in there. <laughs> Right in front of it. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> we had Haley, didn't we, producing for the first time on Jewelry Maker, and I was like, I don't get the price of the deal of the day. How come? Is it what was it, nineteen ninety nine or something silly? Like twenty four ninety nine, something stupid for cultured pills, natural cultured pills. It was an admin error. It got brought up in the meeting. They were like, "Yes, that wasn't right." But I mean, Haley, she never, she, she never presented, she never produced on this show before. So um, it was bundled, and that can confuse people. Mm. That, yeah, basically, yeah. it was an admin error. It shouldn't have been that price tag. We got brought up in yesterday's meeting. Surely this is the same. Must be. Surely. But this, this is the of all the of all the gold <coughs> you've got to wear. This is for me the sparkliest. I love it in a bicone. Perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. So do you do like a galvanised gold alongside this then? Well, the, because the, 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 I wanted gunmetal, but gunmetal is like gold dust at the moment. But oh, yeah. But, but the, the, the 11 that we've gone for is just beautiful colour. And, and red 15-0, I mean, oh, that's, yes. that's just, I would, again, I would buy the kit just for those. So we can watch back Mark's demonstration if you wanted to yes. create yep. um, that Listen, piece on our YouTube Facebook, channel. If you go onto my guest designer page and go back a couple of weeks, you'll see all the photos. Because I every show... I tried to put yep. some info on of what's coming up, and that necklace will be on. Will be on the. On oh, the it's gorgeous! It's, it's, a, it's, it's simple spiral, which I've shown a couple of times on the show. It's a really nice little technique, but mm. it's just perfect for bicone. And love goldstone. It's man-made, and you get this beautiful glistening galaxy of mm. colour and sparkle. That you know, uh, you won't find that kind of appearance, not in a, vent in a venture, and you wouldn't right. find that appearance in um, your lapis lazuli. You, it's just magical, mm. isn't it? And it looks amazing whatever season. Oh, Imagine this goldstone in the glistening sunshine. It's on the verge right. of selling out. Well good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, mm. good luck. Again, that design. Mm, absolutely, look amazing. Looks so beautiful yeah, in that design. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done. We are what seven minutes away from your deal of the day. It's all about the storage, ah. um, which is exciting. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, so I did bring the right jewellery then. This is this is from this. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> to be fair, Mark, look how many pieces oh, you've I got. It's, I, I don't. Track of what I've bought. I, I, I'm lucky if I leave uh, leave the house. Yeah, so this is the kit to make the Kiss Cross Station necklace. So if you love this piece, mm. here's the kit. So starting with your yeah. Mayuki, you have your silver line crystal. And what's this one? Same? Yes, uh, yes two of your silver yeah. line crystal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is super limited, though. Then you have a very merry quant toggle. Mm. 
Beautiful. I'll hold that out. Uh, yeah, hold that yeah. up. Um, it is beautiful, isn't it? 925 sterling silver. Oh, okay, here's, if I show you this piece here, you can see it in action. See the toggle Sorry, in it? There's the piece. Oh, yeah. It's very cute. That's gorgeous. Then you have your memory wire. Mm -hmm. A lot. A lot of memory wire. Just your bracelets, yep. Yeah. All about the bracelets, which everybody was screaming for, weren't we? Then you have this amazing collection of your Preciosa. What size are these? Four mil. Four, I was going to yeah. say they're different, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah. Um, your Preciosa uh, by oh, no, Cones. No, three mil, these are, sorry. Three? Yeah. Pretty, absolutely beautiful. Mm. 50 pieces you're getting. Um, the colours of your, of your by Cones are Siam, Sun, uh, John Quill, is that John Quill? John yeah. Quill, yeah. Perido Sapphire, Rose Violet, um, 50 of each of those beautiful colours. These were nuts. And I think yeah. it's down to the fact that you can make this beautiful oh, no. piece. There are less than 10, though. It's straight away, straight away. 19 99 I know, it's ridiculous. I gravitated it's towards really that one yeah. this morning. It's just lovely. And I've shown how to do the stations quite a few times on the show. And it? It's still lovely to see Kiss Cross on the Wall of Fame every week yeah. as well. It's, it's just a lovely technique. It's, it? it's perfect for bike cones. It was made for bike cones. You just get so much sparkle mm. from a bike cone, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, they're again so close to selling out. Elaine, Jane, Christine, Elizabeth, Jane and Steve, uh, Jean, you're there as well. Uh, Liz, I can see you in Kent and London. There was only a handful of these. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beverly, stay where you are, Suffolk, good luck. Good luck, good luck. There was only a handful of this kit. Okay, where do we go? So I did bring the right jewellery then. I you did. did? I did. Should we do Pink Panther next? Is it called? We love calling yeah. a kit Pink Panther, we do, don't we? We do. It's one of <laughs> I made this jewellery look. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. Can I swap these? You can. I'm running out of yep. space. Yeah. Thank you. Do you remember Pink Panther? Absolutely. Pink Panther, and what was the cat? The, the, no, the weird cat, the pink cat. Bagpuss. Bagpuss, that's it. Never watched Bagpuss. I liked Bagpuss. Yeah. So this is the uh, the necklace that you can make from the kit. That everyone needs. Oh my goodness, yeah. that's beautiful! And we sold a we sold a workshop in, w w on the back of these initial launch show, which which I'm doing on the first of April next Friday. Well, two weeks tomorrow. Eh, a eh. week tomorrow. Yeah, a week tomorrow. Is there still availability on that? Mm -hmm. uh, sold out. Yeah. Um, but you've demonstrated that kind of mandala Absolutely, look yeah, before, yeah, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Here it is. All the bicones, so 150 bicones, plus a 925 sterling look silver class, plus your memory wire, plus the sea beads for £16.99. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's going to sell out, isn't it? Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. <laughs> um, love it. That's amazing. It's £16.99. Beautiful that's colours. That's quite, sick. quite, ooh. Uh, Agent provocateur. Yes. Yes. It is. A bit it's saucy. A bit, a bit, what is purple and black? I what know, is so yeah, saucy yeah. about purple and black as a, a colourway? Yeah, you can just imagine. A bit, a bit burlesque, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Yes, actually. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine like Christina Aguilera yeah, yeah. rocking a bit of purple and, uh, yeah, purple yeah. and black. Yeah. Uh, do you love Christina Aguilera? Yeah, she's awesome. Right yeah, she's awesome, isn't she? Blast from your past, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> she still is awesome, though. She sang live the other day, didn't she? Um, yeah, she sang live the other day. She's still rocking it. Amazing. When I tell you what, yeah. she's got some. She's got a voice on her. Um, she's got some lungs. She's. I almost said that, but yeah. I thought it might come across <laughs> differently. Almost said she's got some lungs on next her. One, um, okay, next skip. These are all very limited, so if you see one that you love, just pounce on them. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, ben, I, why do I feel like you would love Christina Aguilera? Oh. Because um, you like you love a little bit of Lady Gaga, don't you? Yeah, she's amazing. Um. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, have a listen to a bit of Christina, yeah. Stripped is her best album, I'm going to say. Stripped. Stripped, yeah. Yeah. Um, hurt. Very sad, very sad song. Very beautiful. Yeah. Um, look at this. Oh, I love this kit. 
Oh yeah, my goodness me. Isn't very that 70s, I think. Loving this yeah. colourway. So, uh, do you always say the Montanas are like gold dust? They are. Here they, they are, are one little one 50 nose. 50 nose. The fact but we've got 50 nose is amazing. <laughs> so I can do that necklace in this colourway? Absolutely, yeah. And the stations and all, everything. And your memory wire, again, I haven't... I, I, I didn't even use the memory wire, I kept that for the stash. Use, we'll just use them yeah. as little, little kind of bangles, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. It'd be perfect for your, um, for your hishi beads. Yes. Just, again, give them the kids. They'll love making memory wires to take home with them. Pretty pansy. Here we go. Yeah, it is pansy colours, actually, mm, isn't it? £16.99 yeah. pence only. Well done. Again, 50 of each of those lovely bicones, and I'm really liking that toggle. Um, again, only a handful of those. I've got one more of the kits to bring you, and then literally you're a minute away um, until we bring you, or well, we'll soon be bringing you your deal of the day storage. That's gorgeous, so this is, this, is from the, this is from the kit, but without the red. I didn't use the red in this, this necklace. Uh, that one. And then we've got, I think this one will sell out in... This is all about the blues. Seconds, milliseconds. This is very, very limited. I've got less than 50, uh, sorry, 30. Less than 30 of these. Look at that. Look at that for a colourway. Aren't they gorgeous? Amazing. There's all your memory wire. There's your gorgeous little sterling silver toggle clasp. And then, here's your My UK. Mm -hmm. uh, again, dark, ira uh, sorry, dark blue iris in your 11 O's and then your Montana in your 15 O's. I love this colourway. It's oceanic, it's isn't just, it? It's just amazing. So what I've done is I've used the yellow from the previous kit. Yeah. I liked on the bracelet. I love this bracelet. It's lovely. Again, it's got that London blue colour, hasn't it? Yeah. It's lovely. £16.50. It's ridiculous. There's the toggle. I'm going to flip this round so you can see as well. Oh, Mark, it's, it it's feels very, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. It's very sinewy, isn't it? Like a material. I love these kits. So I did bring the right jewellery then. You did? I did, yes. You're doubting yeah. yourself, look. <laughs> How beautiful. How absolutely beautiful that is. £16.50 only. What technique is that? Have you? Is that something you, you will have demonstrated? Well, it, if you really flip it inside out, it's... Um, oh, God, when I break it. No, no, no. It's, it's, some, it's flat netting which I think Alison did a bit of on her, on her Easter egg show yesterday. And then all you do then is you see the, um, the silver beads. Yeah. All you do is you, you sew vertically from one to the next with the accent beads and you get this sort of... So they're kind of placed on top? On top of the bracelet. So you do the netting first and then you do the accent beads on the top afterwards. So I love, I love these bracelets. They're really nice. So gorgeous. I love that mm. clasp with mm. it too. Perfect. Amazing. Limited kits, so very, very, very limited. I've got one more to bring you. And yeah, they, of course, they'd work with the Heishis, yeah. wouldn't they? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This is called what? Flowers in the Pouring Rain. Oh, oh look at these leaves. Is that a song? Oh, yes, it is a song. I'm hearing it now. Look at these. Oh. oh. These are unusual. Oh. Have Thank you seen you. these before? Massive thank you to Dan for setting all these kits up. <laughs> I know, bless him. Do you know Robert nothing? Work. He's. Do you know, Dan, you literally have taken to uh, your yeah, new role like absolutely. a duck to water. Yeah. Um, pro. Ultimate really pro. Have. Ultimate really pro. Really nothing phases him at all. That's literally, he's, he's like a swan. These are beautiful. Oh, he is graceful. Yeah, very graceful about his job. Look at those. They're cute, aren't they? Little flowers. And then you have your lovely little petals. Oh, these look like preciosa. Oh, they're gorgeous. Crystal glass leaves. Oh, look at that. Oh, your fluorite jewellery. Then you have... I'll do a fluorite marla and have one of those little little group of those leaves. Yeah. At the bottom. Yeah, do it. Oh, this is amazing. This is a gorgeous kit. Why do I feel like I've seen it on the Wall of Fame as well mm. in a really lovely uh, necklace? I feel like I have. Um, forgive have me. The price? The no. Price? So what's that all about? Seriously? <laughs> Who? I love these, these glass marbles. Love them. £13.99. <laughs> and you get your findings. Unbelievable deal. These weren't launched with, no. with, uh, with, uh, with Mark and I. No, no. Um, so... 8th no. of February with who? Well... Carol, of course, it's Carol. <laughs> 
Oh. Um, if you're 8th of February, have a little look back on the 9 o'clock hour if you want to look at the demonstration. I couldn't even tell you what guest designer these were with. They're stunning. Stunning. Flowers in the pouring rain. Do you know the song? No. no. I'll bring you flowers in the pouring rain. That one. No, I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a song. I don't oh, know. It's it's quite it's quite a, I think nineties. I think it's quite a nineties song. Mm. Or was it not that one? Uh, Thirteen pounds ninety nine pence. You could literally create. And I've, I'm apologies. I can't remember who it was. Um, but you created a really beautiful kind of like bubble style necklace with all the flowers and the and uh, and the petals. It may well have been this kit, but certainly I'm being inspired by the piece that you uploaded, and it just really worked because you had this gorgeous movement. That's beautiful. I love those flowers. Yeah, they're like little uh, bluebells. Like little bluebells. Yeah. Beautiful bluebells. Hyacinths. I love grape hyacinths. They're all coming up in our garden at the moment. What's a grape hyacinth? I'll show a picture in the break. Are they it's beautiful? Lot, it's sort of a love and hate. It's a bit marmite, grape parsons, because they, they, they spread. They spread a lot. Do in they? The garden. But they are, you'll know them when you see them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We bought some flowers from, from a surf supermarket, some daffodils. Mm. You know, they're a pound a bunch at the yeah, moment. Love daffodils. We've had to put them outside because they smell of weeds. Yeah, we never had that before. I love the sugar babes. Do you know, well, you know our fence blew down yeah, yeah. at the back? We kept yeah. having foxes coming into our garden. Oh. Yeah, not great. Um, I know, because Ru Brutus was literally rolling around like, oh. a, like a mad dog. Um, it, and it's horrendous, isn't it? And I picked, I, we'd moved our furniture to try and kind of block off the garden because we were waiting for a fence to come and fix it. Picked it up and the smell. Mm. Not the best, oh. is it? No, it's not the best. But you don't expect your dafts to. No. Oh, no. no. Love a bunch of dafts. I think some of the cheapest flowers, the most cheerful. Oh, Tulips, love daffodils. daffs. Love daffodils. Love them. Absolutely love, love them. Beautiful. Smiley faces. Yeah. Check out your baskets on this one, everybody. It's getting very, very limited. Don't forget your deal of the day is coming up. It's all about the storage. But I can tell you what, this is some of the most luxurious mm. storage. I think we've launched. We've got quantity, but they'll still sell out. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. As many of you know, my second greatest love after Jewelry Maker is my garden. Um, I'm very lucky to have a beautiful space that we've turned, it's taken 10 years, but we've turned it into a beautiful haven for, for fauna and for flora. And a few months ago, I was asked if I wanted to come up with a range of jewellery products, jewellery items that mirrored my gardening life. So sat down with the production company and I'm delighted, overjoyed, to invite you all to join me on Saturday, the 26th of March, for the spring Chestnut Close Collection. Chestnut Close Collection is all about my garden at home and throughout the next four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, winter, I'm going to be launching three flowers growing in the garden and three fauna, so insects, birds, animals, all of which inhabit the garden. So on the 26th of March, we're going to be launching spring, consisting of three flowers and three birds and insects. And I can't wait to share this whole range with you. It's gonna be an amazing morning. Can't wait to see you all for the launch of my very own Chestnut Close Collection. Jewelry makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monica going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss.
buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Really excited about Deed of the Day. But would you just, would you, would you mind if I, for one second, say a very, very, very big thank you to a lovely lady called Bridget. I received your parcel this morning and your card. I won't read it on air, but just to say thank you for your very generous gift and your lovely, your lovely uh, letter. Aren't our customers beautiful? They're amazing. I love them. So yeah, beautiful. They have me in tears sometimes. I know. In a good way. Yeah. yeah honestly, it, they're, they're just... Bless your heart. I received your card and your very kind mm. gift. Thank you so much, Bridget. It means, means so much, and you literally warm my heart. So um, I don't know if I've got you on my uh, Facebook because I didn't see your surname on here. I've got a few Bridgets, but give me a message on my presenter's page if you can. Um, thank you. Really lovely of you. Okay. It is time. It is time. I adore this storage, so and, I, and, and I, uh, you might think <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing to say ever, but of all the storage that we've launched, this is my favourite. I never have favourites with storage. I love all of it. I mean, it's no secret I have storage at home for storage. Storage for storage? Yeah, yeah so I do, well, actually. Well, this, this is storage for storage, really, isn't it? Because it all comes out of that bag, if you wanted to put your packed lunch in it or... Or yeah, do, this no, but look at the quality of it. It's amazing. That handle is the best. The best because, firstly, if I just tilt it upwards, look, it's one of those rigid cases. You've I got. Did, I did stand on it yesterday. Did check. you? Yeah. You've got, you know, your fingers, mm -hmm. basically, and then you've got this, which I find so enjoyable. Ready? It's, it's spring loaded. Yeah. It's like a Samsonite new suitcase, isn't it? it you can just know yeah, the quality. Yeah, absolutely. You can buy your suitcases from cheaper shops, of course, but you compare that to a Samsung. Yeah, yeah. You're so right. That's the perfect yeah, description. Yeah. And then you have the branding. You have this beautiful zip. Double Even zip. Double, double zip. zip. Yeah. Listen to the quality of the zip. I'm such a nerd. No, you're not. You're not. It's, not a, it's not a hollow sound. It's a real deep. It's a solid, you know when zips come apart? It's infuriating, isn't it? Because let's be honest, yeah. I don't change zips. Yeah. And you wouldn't expect it. No. Then you have this amazing storage inside. Oh. Comes with, you, I mean, you can put your tools, your needles, your threads yep. in any, there. Any, any kit books, any um, booklets. 
So mm -hmm. let's sort of take all your booklets that um, Monica and Alison bring. Yeah. You pop those in there, all your projects, your, all your pliers, grades, everything. Pliers, because this isn't, it doesn't have to be seed beads. It no, can be gemstones. Absolutely. It can be findings as yeah, well. Absolutely. Um, these are your like almost like little tic tac yeah. containers, and then you actually have these twisted, uh, the twisty uh, tubes. tubes. Look at the quality of this tool uh, of this storage so box. In the, in the past, we've bought a box very similar to this, but half the size just for the tubes. We've never done tubes and the tic tac and containers the tic tac containers. Together. Never. So how yeah. many do I have of each? So you've got, what have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 30 of the pots. At 30 of the pots, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, and 40 of the... 40. 40, so 70 altogether. 70. And this comes out, this, this little piece. Little insert, spongy little insert. Little spongy insert, that comes out as well. Unbelievable. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Now, there is a quantity of these... But this has had a huge response via messages. Ah. Um, a lot of people have wanted to shop ahead, asking us to get it uh, to purchase it on pre-order. Have we have we actually put it on pre-order then? No, I was going to say, oh. phew, because it would be on the verge of selling <laughs> yeah. out. There are three hundred oh, available. That's good. We're doing a countdown to your graphics. I literally cannot believe the price of it too. Mm, no. No, it's phenomenal. The Could, class, so just, just the quality. Just listen, the you quality. can buy little Tupperware containers yeah. for, you know, a fraction. However, mm -hmm. it's not this, is it? It's no. not this kind of quality. If, you, if this is your business, you want it to be, you want it to look the part. Absolutely. Also, yeah. in terms of organisation, as crafters and creators, do you ever find that when, uh, and I'm desperate need of sorting out my stash as well, but when it gets to that level of chaos... It <laughs> hinders your creativity, doesn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I never have chaos. No, I, unfortunately, I've got. Well, I've got. I've got time not to be chaotic. Well, I have five-year-old fingers that yeah, tend absolutely. to sort of mix everything up. But yeah. um, as in, not me, my yeah. daughter. The time is up. The graphics are live. There are three hundred of these available. I mean, how beautiful! You could take that away with absolutely. you. Absolutely. You could have a whole. You could have all your projects ready, ready to go, and all set up. You have your tools, your booklets, everything. 20% of the stock's gone. So as I said, in the in the main tubes, for the yeah, the little tubes, you can get a whole tube of your 11 O's or your Super Duo's. And then in the tack top, tick, tick tack boxes, you yeah. can get two thirds of a tube. Look but I mean, that. that's, that's, that's still going to hold a lot, isn't it? Yeah, plus so you get your little stickers. They're all completely stickers transparent. Well. And as we mentioned earlier, again, on these, you, you, the, the, um, the little tick tack boxes are alphabeticalized as well from A to Z. So if you want to alphabeticalize your... As I said, you can put, th there's enough room for your, your cabochons, you can put individual cabochons in here as well, or your little gemstones from your Jake shows, you can keep these in there if you wanted to as well. Just it's, so you know, amazing. everybody, they don't come with the beads, this is Mark's. No, 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 no. This is yes. Mark's sample uh, yeah. so for, for, for display yeah. purposes. So I think Chloe's in the gallery. Is, is Chloe in the gallery? Oh, she's just left, because Chloe was with me when I got these. At the Super Duo factory. Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. awesome. So these are Mark's stash. Yeah. You know, and you know, you've been able to pardon the measurements. Yeah, I'll give that to you in a second. Um, you know, literally be able to go straight to, mm -hmm. you know, the particular colourway or Absolutely. the finding or the yep. gemstone. Because they are clear, you can see through the tops of the lids yeah. as well. So and then you can have a blue row, a green row, a red row, you can do all sorts of have a play around. The organisation that you're going to have is going to be amazing. Now, so in terms of measurements, you can see the actual uh, case measurements on the graphics mm. right now. 33 by 22 and a half uh, by 7 deep. Yeah. Um, so, oh. yeah, if I flip it, look, 7 centimetres yeah, in terms good. of its depth there. So 33 by 22 and a half. Um, uh, do you want the measurements of the pots? Is that what we're referencing? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, what was it, measurements of the box, but I can do it though, I've got some, I've got a ruler here, I'll just, just in case that is what you were thinking, there you go, just see the ah. measurements on the screen, thank <laughs> you, ah, oh, good, good Patsy, but whilst I'm here, I've got a ruler, look, two inches, approximately, by, about an inch, mm -hmm. um, on the little Tic Tac, like, containers, um, and it's going to be about the same, isn't it, on these as well? Two inches, yeah, of course, two inches. So, I mean, they're going to hold a lot, aren't they? One thing is we're, we're doing so many components now on our Hobby Maker show in the afternoon, all the different crafts that have been brought to air now. Mm. I mean, I, I think 
the other day we had, um, I think yesterday, no, I think it was a show recently when we had Laura Binding doing resin. Yeah. Keep, keeping your resin and all your micro powders and all that sort of thing in these little containers. Gem well. art. Gem art, absolutely, yeah. Um, what about, you know, things like, you know, little, little additional embellishments, things like your tube setting, mm. your sterling yeah. silver components. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, All your clasps. You know, you can actually use transport your heishis into these if Absolutely. you wanted That's to. Yeah, yeah. Um, at the end of the day, ten jewelry maker products, <coughs> excuse me, tend to be quite small, don't they? Tend to be quite small, particularly in your seed beads, of course. Um, how much of a tube of eleven nose does tube. it? The whole tube. Yeah. So a whole tube in the in these. In yeah. And the, the well, I don't know what you call them, vials. I don't know. So a whole tube in these. And then two thirds of a tube in your little tic tac in your little tic tac boxes. Okay, so that's a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So this um, is really, so this is really because what I what a bane of my life is I've got so many tubes of seed bees and when it gets to about half a tube, it, they do take up a lot of room. The full tube. Yeah. So when when you're limited to space as I am at home, so these are perfect for your for your it's a horrible word for your dregs for your odds and ends that you've got left. They're not dregs. But you know, you, do you know what yes, I mean? Yes. And then you and then you can use your your tubes for something else or yeah, yeah. To them or you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the, this makes a difference too. The fact that they're oh, screwed up, amazing. They're so they're really not going to fall well. off. No. Um, not going to no. fall off. You're not going to open it up and find that you've got sea beads or findings and everything no. uh, spilled everywhere. They are completely and you, and you secure. You get stickers in here as well. Yeah. Um, so some some for your tic tacs and you've got the Ooh, round one. Shaped. Yeah, the round ones are for these, and you can so you can put the code of your of your seed bead before you throw the tube away or use it for something else as well. That's genius, That's isn't brilliant. it? Yeah, no, That's absolutely. genius. And then you've got the rectangular shapes, yeah. which, which will go obviously on your uh, so the square uh, tubes. People getting involved now. We have it in the two colourways. This is the pink. We also have it in that sort of turquoise blue. Not stopping at forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. I mean, yeah, you go away on holiday and you want to take a little bit of your um, crafting and, uh, and creativity with you, this will be perfect. <laughs> $39.99. The, I mean, wow. this is the thing. You can buy all different variations of storage, can't you? You can. There's, uh, you, can you can get it from your sort of pound shops, if you like, but it's not going to be the quality that I'm feeling right now. No, no. You can tell the quality just by looking at the handle, I think. That's by looking and listening. And these are made for us by Kit Exchange. Are they? Kit Exchange. Yes. Yeah. So these, these are made by, by them for us. No, it's just lovely. Look at that. Should we look at the handle again? You've got the comfort grip with your fingers. There you go. So. Oh. <laughs> it, why is that so enjoyable? It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's a quality handle. <laughs> it is. It is a really quality handle because it's not. When, and you need no. that, don't you? Because things, obviously, weight-wise, is going to yeah. sort of build up. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Kerry, Lynn, Andrew, Zara, Justine, Terry, Janice, Sandra, Marilyn, Judith, uh, Devon. <coughs> New customers getting involved. Hello to you, Leah. Hello to you, Catherine. Hello to you, Wiltshire. Andrea, Lorraine, Kate, Christine, Diane. Uh, Maker wanting four. Alexander, Claire, Elaine, and Newport. We have 300 of these available. And that's not your deal of the day, Prime. Mm -mm. We have to stagger the auction. We'd say this you know, quite openly. Yeah. yeah, it's... We don't want to crash the phone lines. We don't want to crash the website. It's been busy from start to finish throughout your live show today. So the issues have sold out? Uh -huh. Oh, they, yeah, they did. Wow. Unless any of Amazing. just literally dropped back into start. Well, yeah, they sold out. Yeah. We're not stopping here. If you've got your eye on this beautiful storage container, which does differ from the blue. Yes. They are different. In fact, I'll show the two together. If you open that one, I'll open yeah. this one. This is all about those kind of tic-tac cases. But wouldn't it be nice to have the two? And also what I was thinking, that there'll be lots of weddings taking place this year now, all the cancellations from the past two years. Yeah. And if you do wedding commissions, wouldn't this be lovely to go to see a client and have different styles and colours of pearls awesome. or crystals or all sorts of things that you can actually Buy show, show, show the commissioner and um, very professional. Gemstones, mm. not 39.99. This is for the pink with the 50-50 split between the actual tubes and also the rectangles. 
There is a queue on the phone lines now. Everybody pays that final low. You know this. £29.99 only. That's awesome. Again, you've got a nice roomy little... Uh, a roomy yeah. uh, sort of compartment just here that you can put your needles, you can put your threading materials, you can put your tools within there as well. Um, and, of course, all that lovely storage containers. Do you know, could... I'm thinking, if I actually went... Right, OK, I'm going to make some Kiss Cross. I'm going to make... Just imagine these are the right components. So I'm going to do Mark's amazing Kiss Cross. See, so I'm going to choose these colours. Uh, here we go. There's my colourway. And there's my findings, say. Just, I'm just pretending. But there's my findings that I need. I'm going to zip that back up. And maybe you've got one of our nice little furry beaded mats. Oh, yes. That we have. Yep. Use that as a work surface. Because mm. I like to do a lot of jewellery making on the sofa. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, literally put a, uh, a put, yeah, yeah, I kind of uh, yeah. put a cushion on top and then a hard surface. That could actually be mm -hmm. the hard surface on my lap. Because one of those would go on, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just pop that on the top and use and it I'm as, beading. A work, as a work surface. Happy yeah. beading. That smells really nice, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Over 150 of these have gone already. We have 300. We are at a deal of the day price tag. In fact, that is exactly what we were told by the powers that be to take this to. But they're not going fast enough. We've got a lot of storage to bring you within this hour. And we're at 25 past 10. Oh, my word. No point bringing it on, selling 150. If we can see enough people on the phone lines, we will drop that price. But we shouldn't. Because you can see the quality. You can see... You what, what? Yeah, well, I'll show up. Yes, yes, Ross, I will. I'll I'm not. I'm going to hide this because you've, mind you, played all those anyway. But never mind. I'll actually show you. This is what Ross sends to me. These are your star buys. I don't know everything in the show. I wouldn't be able to remember them all if I did. There it is. I'm also showing you the blue one. Oh no. That's where we are. Oh bless him. Oh. Ross wants to sell these out. He says, I will go lower if there's enough of you there. Are you happy, Ross? Is, that, uh, is there enough people there? Not yet. We're going to give you 60 seconds to show your love to Ross. Um, 33 people well, have just joined. He needs to yeah. reach another, another... Okay, you want to reach 50? Okay, that's all right. We can do that. Okay. 50 more people, he says. That's all right. So what, I've, so what I've done is I've taken the sponge out <gasps> so everything stays in position. So you could transfer your work. You, that could be your beading mat, you see, your work tray. Yes, because it hasn't got the little yes, edges, no, so you're no, not going to lose absolutely. all your little components tucked I mean, in the edges. This is, a, this is a little thing, but the way they've designed it is the zip goes over the back so it doesn't catch. So they've even thought of the zip getting in the way because you don't want to scratch your zip if you're using it as a work tray. So the zip folds back. Think so of everything, it's, don't it's amazing. I? amazing. I love this firm. I um, love this firm. Kit exchange make them. We need four more people. Nikki, you've got well done, Nikki. You've got yours. Three yeah, more people. Nikki, yeah. yeah? Come on then, extra savings. Three hundred of these were available. Oh, uh, don't get in trouble with Wayne. Well, he's a pussy cat though, isn't he? <laughs> uh. He is though, he is. He's a he, he's a softy. He's producing me on on Sunday. Is he? Uh, Saturday, yeah. Oh, that's going to be an amazing mm. show. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 24.99. All oh, no, our producers keep going on holidays, they don't do. they? Yes. Keep going yeah. on holidays, fair enough. 24.99 wow. to get hold of these. That's, that's a great idea, the fact that you mm. actually have. You've yep. got your beading tray, you've yep. got your storage. Yep. It's all there. Yep. Slot for your tools and everything and your magazine and whatever. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Here it is. Oh, you know where oh, the blue no. is going. Oh. <laughs> so you can get yourself ready for that opportunity, which does differ from the actual pink um, that you're seeing as well. Uh, here's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Yeah. Quality sponge. <laughs> <laughs> it is very good quality sponge. What a good sponge. quality sponge yeah, is. that is. <laughs> That's a lovely sponge. Uh, hello to you, Nikki. Woohoo! Got mine, thank you. Brilliant. Oh, this is going to be perfect for you, Nikki, because yeah. you do a lot of your beading, don't you, down at the, uh, at the, golf, the golf club. club. She's there today. She's yeah. there today. Yeah. I bet enjoying yeah. the sunshine as well, my darling. Well done. It's perfect because you can take it with you. 
and it, you're not carrying you know i turn up to work in the morning honestly it's like i'm moving in <laughs> it, it is i mean our designers are, i don't know i didn't even yeah. know how you cope um, i'm here for five hours well not a bit more than five hours mm. um but if you can actually decant what you're it's taking brilliant. yeah no absolutely what i would do is if when we come to do the blue the blue i would use for my 15 o's because well, of so you color code yeah, it so the whole that would be my 15 o box uh, so this is my super duo box so you can have a, a designated bead shape or size to each especially this one because it's all tic tac boxes in the, yeah. in the blue one look at that and mm. it's again not and floppy hold, no it all holds in position look yep. at that yep. these are heavy mark aren't they yeah no floppy sponge. No floppy sponge. <laughs> no. <laughs> I get really excited about that sponge, but you can see and feel. It's just the quality. Feel yeah. the quality, can't yeah. you? Yeah, just you know, sometimes the lesser quality sponges would actually. <laughs> yeah. They would split. They'd fall the apart edges. and split. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There you no, go. Um, over 150 still in baskets for this one. Um, and we are actually over allocated, so some of you unfortunately will miss out on this. Um, Susan, Lillian, Oxford, Jennifer, Jane, Marie, Anne Marie, Verity, hello to you, Alexandra, Catherine, Mar Marion, Christine, London, Janice, Pam, Lindsay, Devon, Susan, Kent, Ayrshire, Mavis, hello to you, Susan, Patricia, Zara, new customer, Justin, Kate, Terry, Janice, Sandra, Diane, Marilyn, uh, Claire, Essex, and those are just the names I can see, by the way. I've, um, I haven't mentioned anybody that hasn't checked out as of yet because it's not, it's not guaranteed to you until you actually make that confirmation. And you go literally off the bottom of the call screen um, we're up to triple rows of names people have got twos how lovely yeah, that's lovely isn't it yeah well, Pam's just got two like well done Pam yep yeah. yeah. Justin Devon. yeah Aww. um yeah Devon should we do the blue okay oh. and we've given away the price now though no we? but we haven't because yeah. technically yeah but Ross isn't going to do what he's done with this one, is he? If, uh, Just to show you again, this is what Ross sends to me uh, on the evening before a show. That's what we're meant to be at. We've got 297. Uh, right. There's the item code. Look, you can see it there. Deal of the day. 29.99. Is that the number, 297? That's how many we've got, yeah. Because I think I was sent the 298. So that's probably why. And I've used these now, you see, so I can't give them back. Absolutely now. not. They are. I mean, I'm not being funny. You took <laughs> you took the time to put everything in there, Mark. Yeah. So I'm I think I think back. I think I think that's that's ownership. <laughs> isn't that ownership? Isn't yeah. that isn't that um, a law? It is absolutely <laughs> nine tenths of the law. Nine tenths of the law. Yeah. I mean, how long did it take for you to actually do this? <sighs> Two hours, both boxes. Yeah, definitely yeah. they need to be yours then. And I was going because I was going to have. Um, Ivories and whites. This one I started all metallics, you know, the galvanized beads. Oh yeah. And then I then I thought, well, life's too short, so I just filled the <laughs> others. <and> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love this. But so this this one I would use for all my 15 O's. And then you can put them in numerical order, you see, as well, which would be I'm really good. Oh nice. that one. I'm just gonna get this one because there's something mm. so satisfying about a tic tac oh, yeah. box. And they're really good. Really good. Really strong. You have trust in them. Yes. You need to have trust in, it sounds really silly, but you need to have trust in your storage because heaven forbid if the lids came open and all your beads scattered everywhere and mixed oh, up. Ah, nightmare. Know, complete. Absolute nightmare. Are you ready for this? Listen, trust in your storage. Oh, satisfying. It is, it is. I love closing Do you boxes. think we need to get out more? <laughs> I think perhaps we need to get out a bit more. <laughs> oh, Mark, Who they are beautiful. Wrapping? Oops. Um, yeah, don't need bubble wrap. Look at these, lovely. Again, you can see the quality of the little storage that you're getting here. Um, how many did we ha say there was in terms of 80? 80 in here. 80 yeah. of yeah. them. Yeah. So exactly the same measurement uh, outer case as your pink, mm -hmm. uh, but 80 of your internal boxes, which as Mark has said, is all alphabetical. So- yeah, um, Two lots of the alphabet in there, plus, well, three, three lots of the alphabet, I think, in there. So you can, you can alphabetize, alphabetize, is that the right word? We know what you mean. Alphabeticalize. Yeah. yeah. And then, as I said, you get the stickers as well in the top. Yeah. And another thing that, that, another one of my hobbies that I've, I've not got time for at the moment is, is diamond art, you know, with the little drills. Yeah, somebody and, mentioned um, that, yeah, actually. These, so these are perfect for your diamond painting. And I think, I think it's going to be coming to Hobbycraft. 
Is I keep it? I saying hobby craft, hobby maker. I know, it's going to take um, <laughs> In the next few months, I think I've heard on the grapevine. So this is perfect for your, for your drills. There we go, Alison oh, said exactly that. Oh, here we go, perfect, yes. Said exactly that, yeah. well done. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's going to cross uh, multiple mediums, mm, isn't it? Absolutely. Multiple I mean, mediums. We've talked about crafting, but Andrew would love one of these in the garage for his nuts and bolts, because everything's in the right place. And so Is you, it? This would be brilliant for your nuts and bolts and nails. And I would love to say things. that about, about our shed. I, can't, I need to cut the grass, and I can't even get to the mower. It's that chaotic. Mm. Oh dear, £24.99. pence. I'm organised in some aspects, but not in others. Um, <laughs> that is beautiful. And again, you can lift the sponge out, the quality sponge that yeah. we've been talking about. <laughs> and it's heavy. Yeah. How it all keeps in there. They don't slip out. It all holds nice and tightly. Yeah. It's brilliant. I love it. It's perfectly made. Uh, I'll it's give it a little shake. Yeah. They ain't going anywhere, are they? No. And then there is your steer, uh, there's your, your your beading tray. Beading tray, yeah. Straight away, twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence. Just so you know, um, they don't come with the beads. Obviously, these are marks. Um, so obviously that's for demonstration of purposes only. <laughs> um, but obviously you can put in your amazing components, and that is going to it's going to cover so many things: sea beads, uh, your micro gemstones, your normal gemstones, yeah. um, your findings, your diamond art, as Alison has just said. Then uh, gem art. Uh, I mean, honestly, the list is endless, really, isn't it? We absolutely need the storage because, and I always say this about storage, you know, if, you, if, if you're not organised, which I'm most definitely not at the moment, but if you're not organised, that does hinder your creativity. If you've got to spend the time looking for something, you end up, like, if you're like me anyway, I get really frustrated. No, absolutely, I do, I do, big time. Get really frustrated and cross. Oops, I'll leave that one with you. I'll put them back on in a second, Mark. Right, okay, because we've still got more storage to bring you. Just before I do, oh. we have a star by on. Oh, look at these. When did you put that one on? Ah, uh, you were demoing. Uh. So I was like, ooh, it's a prime opportunity. <laughs> you know, I said diamond by the yard. It's a, yeah, it's quite is a that what it looks like? It's just yeah. diamond by the yard. Oh, I'd never heard of that expression before. Yeah, Tiffany's do it. I think I've, actually, I've actually got a, a presentation on diamond by the yard. Um, these are actually topaz. We have it in the different colours, so obviously I'm wearing the yellow, but we have it in the rose and in the silver. This bracelet is coming up within this hour. I simply love it. They are topaz. Beautiful. So not, not, not cubic zirconia, topaz. Coming up within this hour, not too long to wait for that. Yeah, had to get put on that one. Um, more storage. Should we do the... Should we do the oh, the tic-tac box. This one? one? Comes with a little handle. Good closure. Really good closure. Ready? Are we listening? Oh. You wait till you close it. Okay, I will. Mm. That is heaven. Heaven. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Comes with the sti uh, with the stickers yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. now that gives me anxiety. Yeah, that I does. Have to rearrange that. that yeah. Like, why are they? Oh, oh yeah. no! Come on now. That give, that makes me anxious. My, my this 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 part of my of my OCD yeah. does actually come out in this case. You've got to arrange the boxes the right way around. Is everybody in agreement here? Oh, no, no, no. Is that the Krypton factor? It is. See how quickly I could do it. Or, you know, like, uh, do you remember Crystal Maze? Oh, yes. Du, yeah. du, 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 du. I always wanted to have a go of Crystal Maze. Um, look at them all, though. Tons and tons and tons of them there. So, Mark, what would you fill this with? Well, this is, this is, this is a, a very, very similar to the, to the last case, but without the carry case. So th this, this is, I mean, if you, if you haven't got the, as much of a budget. Yeah, um, it still does yeah, the same thing. It's, it's clear size, so you can see what you've got in them. So maybe I would use this for 
Maybe this for 15s, maybe. maybe you determined. I am determined to get this done. <laughs> and now uh, Adam keeps singing the Crystal Maze to me as well. Uh, um, but, yeah, different budget, of course. Absolutely, yeah. Lots of our customers prefer the transparent cases because they uh, right. you yeah, could yeah. go straight to them, can't you? Um, so it's personal choice. And I think, basically, storage... Storage, you're going to need different varieties. You know, if you if you are a jewellery maker, and many of our lovely viewers have been jewellery makers for many, many years, um, mm. you've probably got findings, beads, and when, connectors um, coming out your ears. When I get sent storage, I like to do a bit of looking around other firms. Yeah. And um, and I've seen these little. Have you done it? You yeah. Can please. So I've seen these little boxes here, packs of ten for four ninety nine. Just for just for ten of those for four ninety nine, and I think we've I think a couple of years ago we bought these to air in a pack of ten for one ninety nine or something like that. So okay, keep that in mind yeah, then. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Remind me, Ross, how many we have? Oh Five hundred. Now. She's going all Beyonce on us. All Beyonce? What do you Crazy. mean? Crazy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, I was a little bit slow there on the uptake. Well, there's 500, so use that as an indication. Yeah. Even if you don't know what you're going to do with them as of yet, they, you will fill it. We always do, don't we? Regardless of what oh. storage, what Ross is going to introduce onto your screens is not your closing price, but 500 quantities. Again, we don't want to crash the website. We don't want to frustrate our call center. Um, this is a nudge, a heavy nudge. Says, uh, says uh, Ross. Listen to the quality of this. Ready? Oh, that's much better, look. Yeah. Much better. Oh. Yes. Quality storage. That's much better. Yeah. It was giving me anxiety at being all over the place. This isn't where we're going, is that what it is? What? Hmm, I can't remember. Hang on. Ooh. Oh, my word. Oh, look. Yeah, phone lines have gone crazy. Um, and people will probably be getting threes, fours, yeah, fives, absolutely. because it's a necessity. I buy storage even when I don't know what the storage is for. And, and I'm not just talking about my jewellery making now. I'm talking about my uh, life. Kitchen and everything. Kitchen, absolutely. It's because you've got this little slot at the top. They sit on top of each other as well. Hey, this what slot, do they do? This slot on the top of the box, look. Oh. So you, so you, can, you can stack. Yeah. So you can have 11s, 8s, 6s, 15s. I've yeah. just, it's just clicked. Sorry, I was really, yeah. I'm a bit slow today. Yeah, so this, yeah. so literally, if you had another one of these boxes, it will sit on top okay. because if I turn it, yes. Yeah. See what you mean? So you could have, you could have, as, as I said, a 15 0, an 11 0, yeah. an 8 0, 6 0 box. So what? do you want to see another price that you're not going to pay? <laughs> oh. Very chic. Just took my elbow with me. <laughs> this isn't where we're going. No. Not even paying seven ninety nine. How much did you say you saw five for? Four ninety nine for ten little tic tac boxes. Ten of them. Should yeah. we just get out ten? Okay. How many do you have in this? Eighty. Sixty four. Oh, Sixty four in this one. Sixty four. Yeah. So this is what ten looks like. I mean, you might be going, "Oh, I know what ten looks like," but you know, it kind of sinks in then, doesn't it? One, two, three, four. You can keep your herbs and spices in your kitchen in this as well. In those yes. little sealed, sealed containers. And is there three, seven, eight, nine? Yeah, so that's four ninety nine yeah. elsewhere. I've seen that four ninety nine for just the ten of those. Okay. And we're at seven ninety nine, but you get all of those as well, and you also get the additional storage. Lots of multi buyers on this one. Love the spices idea. Mm. And look, you can even do what's that? What, what's that internet? The, that chef who does the the salt throw, you know this salt bay. Ah, oh, okay. Well, you could do that with your little spices, couldn't yeah. you? You could just do yeah. a little sprinkle keep of the them, spices. Keep them airtight as well. See? Do you want to hear that again? Ready? Ready? Secure. It's lovely and secure. You need a quality grippage on your storage. 
500 of these were available, six pounds and 99 pence only. Um, in a beautiful little carry case, which I just love. Again, your findings, your seed beads, your micro gemstones, your gem art, your diamond dot art. I'm thinking about our um, sister channels as well, because think about not just hobby maker, what about sewing street? Absolutely, all the needles and pins. Needles, and, pins. And, and haberdashery bits and pieces, yeah. Sequins. Mm -hmm. Sequins, yes. Absolutely. Just saying, Sarah yeah. Davis. Um, all your sequins, absolutely. Your cottons and threads and cords. The, I mean, if you look, think outside of the, 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 crafting, uh, the crafting world, you know, think about, you said about the tool shed, mm. model making. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Uh, nail technicians, you know, they're going to be, they put those tiny little little oh, gem yes. art things and brushes and things like that on there, which I well, could imagine they probably lose a lot if they don't store them correctly. I saw a lady on TV the other day and she had a hole drilled in the end of her nail with a jump ring and a little charm. Oh. Is that a thing? I mean, I wouldn't do it, but, right. no. but yeah. You right. might get it caught anywhere. And yeah, why not? I suppose, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Um, hello to you, Alison. What wonderful, crazy <laughs> madness um, of a what? Pound of a pound sign voice, for those yeah. of us that love to be organized i need to take a little bit of a leaf out of your book then alison because honestly so i feel like at the moment i'm trying to do it um you know the spring clean is well and truly kicked in in the stevens household i'm trying to do it whilst repaint uh, repainting the house as well it oh. you it is cleansing isn't it quality yeah. storage um is a fine thing says sarah Absolutely. I mean, when yeah. our customers have been shopping, a lot of our customers have been shopping with jewellery makers for, think, for years. I think Cathy is spending some of her winnings. Cathy, where's Cathy? Second row across, halfway down. Yes, Cathy. Yes. Yeah. I messaged you, by the way, Cathy. <laughs> um, what's that, joined? Oh. Joined the 49 and 12 months oh. club today. Oh, happy birthday, happy birthday Jane. Jane. Uh, so I've treated myself to these boxes. Happy oh, birthday. It's a, age. it's a good age. Yeah. Do you know the older I get, yeah. I, get I think, I, you know, I'm happier now than I was in my 20s. I, I think I am as well. Yeah, I love, I love 40s and 50s. So mm. yeah, it's good. yeah, happier, more content, mm. aren't we? Mm. Uh, I think the older that we get. Um, there, wow. was, there was 500, but these will be a sellout because Jane's bought six, Hazel's bought eight, Pamela's bought two. Brilliant. I'm looking twos, twos, anonymous yeah. maker buying six. Margot's multi-bought, Joe's multi-bought. Um, in fact, probably, I'm, I'm useless at maths, but maybe about, what, 60%, Mark, yeah. would you yeah, say, have so. chosen to multi-buy? Uh, multi Don't think that 500 is a quantity that will stay available for the entirety of the day, because I assure you, it won't. 300 have already gone, and there's loads of you still within, uh, within your basket. Um, here we go. Do you want to hear it again? Just because it... Do you want it at a time? Do you ready? Want a time? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for this? Hang on, and the other one? Are you ready? Oh, Ooh. that was a thud then. Yeah. That was an enjoyable thud. Secure. Yeah. You could literally swing this round and they yeah. ain't going anywhere, no. are they? No, no, no. No, it's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love now, it, this, this, love this, it. This box here, this is one of my favourite all-time boxes. And You've got, we've had these yeah, before, yeah. haven't and there, we? And there isn't a time that we've brought this to air that it hasn't sold out. Oh, you're joking. What did we do that last one for? Six ninety nine. Did we? I didn't even I love look. This box. I might have said it. You know, it just doesn't yeah, register. It's amazing. This is like those of mm. you that love the deflector, which is how I mm. have my jewellery making. I haven't got a room. I'm not lucky enough to have that kind of space. But um, a deflector is like a trolley, and it kind of you, mm. you basically stack it on top of one another, That's don't right. you? Yeah, yeah. It's that idea, but in a handheld form. It's amazing. It also means that you can go straight to. So look, they're all, they all clip on top of one another. Yep. There's your lid. Again, you can feel the really quality. Yeah. I love this. This is one of my favourites of all time. Because, you, it, because it, it's, it's perfect for your findings and your head pins and your eye pins and, and things that are slightly longer than your other storage. I love so it. So if I, I, I multi-bought, mm. remove a lid, I could create a tower. Yeah. yeah because. So just take that lid off and then get another one and then another one and then another one. You always have a stash of lids, but. 
That's okay. Right. That's all right, isn't it? It's like Tupperware. I've got lids yeah. for, for Tupperware yeah. I haven't seen in years. <laughs> um, Dan, have we got any other samples of these? I'm just thinking how... Ooh, oh, <laughs> don't do that, though. And the slots come out. <laughs> Yes, so the slots do come out if you don't want to use the slots. I did. I did oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was totally unintentional, but yeah. Sorry, Mark. Well, show the viewers that, because the no. fact that they all, they all, the middle comes out and then the, the outside edges all slip off. OK. Yeah. Oh, yes, so then yeah, it so becomes one a, big... And, and you can get seed bead tubes if you want it to somewhere to store your full tubes. I meant to do it, honest. I meant to. <laughs> yeah, honestly. That's a good point. And yeah. tools, like you yeah. said, pliers and all of those will go in yeah. there. Shall, don't do it again now. Shall we match the price? Oh, God. How many do we have of these? Less than oh, 200 of these. I feel like I need to organise this again. They're going to go. You I love this I've one, don't you? This has come to wear without us selling out before. No. Um, that's really clever, the fact they're interchangeable. So, you know, if you've got compartments oh. that are. You can rejig it, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Hello, Mavis. Hi, all. I've got this stacker oh, box. They're great. Oh. Thank you, Mavis. Yeah. Hazel, hello to you. Um, because it's wonderful, Mark and I. Mm. One thing Mark and I say yeah. in it, but when yeah. it comes from our customers, I use these for all my seed beads. Perfect. Thank you, Hazel. Yeah. yeah so what you must take these out then. So you can even yeah. do that. Yeah. They fit perfectly. Yes. <laughs> You could put your little, uh, your little, you know, picnics and your your pat lunches. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. But be warned, there is far less quantity <laughs> of these. There's two hundred available, and they are very popular. Um, yeah, I've got deflectors. That's how I storage mine, and they are like a mini version of that, aren't they? Are, they? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Again, exceptional, exceptional quality. Um, so yeah, you could separate it. Am I making a mess of your That's storage right. I'll now? Look, I'll look right now, poor yeah. Mark is like, <gasps> what is she doing? And can we also quickly say, and we always talk about this, three ninety nine P and P. Yeah, for all but of this. You could buy, you know, five of each of these boxes, same yeah. price, same P and P price. Exactly. Yeah. It's not per item. No. Brilliant. It's not per item. It is literally, for, you, you, if you've ordered one of the storage, then that's it. It's all covered. Um, and sometimes I actually think, we had a discussion actually, it was it, it was one of the management team, we'd done a storage show, um, it might have been with you, mm. and Liam, it was like the Wham containers yeah, yeah. that we'd that order one. them and all of a sudden literally thousands turned oh, up yeah. and it was meant to be um, a sale of return. Right. Uh, so we did some crazy prices, but then we shoot ourselves in the foot because it's, we've still got to pay mm. that one postage and packaging, which would have cost us significantly That's more. Right. Yeah. Um, well done. Yeah. I've never seen these boxes. Um, why have they, where have they been all my life? Lorraine. Well, here they are, Lorraine. I hope you've, I've hope you've checked out. I hope you have. Uh, great for Lego. Yes, Shirley. Oh, it's weird you say that. Um, our, our earring cupboard is like an earring cupboard come board game. Oh, really? Cupboard. And Willow, the other, she's, she's rummaging around in there. You know when you just kind of preempt something mm. happening, next thing the Lego goes. It's not in a box like this. It's in like a bucket and there's Lego everywhere in the bottom of this cupboard. I do need, that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, check out those baskets, everybody, to guarantee your success on this one again. Um, and also your beautiful jewellery maker containers. They are a different price point, but again, you can see, um, you know, they are something of luxury. It is the difference between, say, yeah, yeah. buying a suitcase from one of your more affordable shops to something like Samsung. Mm. Or a Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. There you go. Yeah. Which I would never put on a suit on an airplane. No. If, it, if I had the, odd, if it? I had if I could afford a Louis Vuitton suitcase, I ain't letting them throw that onto a plane. Um, hello, G Sarah. Yeah. I have these boxes. Bought them so many moons ago from Jewelry Maker, and they're still going mm. strong. Yeah. Love it. It's that quality snap, isn't it, Sarah? Ready? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. I don't know. I, I, I could literally just sit here going. <laughs> Who needs bubble wrap, eh? Yeah, don't move over bubble wrap. I'll just. Yes. This is cute. I've never seen this before. Anne and Sue, I can't, I'm kind of kicking myself right now. They've got a lovely little organised setup upstairs where they make lo all your beautiful creations for, um, for, the, for, you know, for the shows. Yesterday I saw I'm busy 
uh, making some amazing pearl necklaces. But they have to have, when they're that busy and in demand, they have to have, Anna Sue, hello, lovely ladies. They have to have everything, at, you know. Absolutely. To reach, and they're the same as designers. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This would be layout on the back of their desk. Yeah. These beautiful little drawers, which you can obviously put all your components, glues, bales, jump rings, chains. Absolutely. It'll all go in there and label accordingly. Thinking back to the jewellers that I worked at 20 years ago, um, they had a workshop, you know, where they used to do jewellery repairs and watch repairs and things like that. And he had exactly these. They were stacked on top of one another, just so if he needed a jump ring, like he could go to a jump mm. ring. If he needed some solder sheet, he could go to some solder sheet. It's, it, it's really what you would expect in a, in a professional yeah, yeah, workshop. Absolutely, absolutely. Have you had these? No, I've never seen these before. They're amazing. Can I show you another defining feature? Go on then. Oh, no. You can hang them on your wall. That's brilliant. So it's actually at reach. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Because where I sit at my desk, <coughs> in front of me, I've got an alcove with, with a cork board that I put notes and uh -huh. postcards and things like that on. Completely wasted space. There's more than enough there to have maybe nine of these. Because they're lightweight. And they're, everything is just at a reach, so I can just, I think that'd be really ideal. Should do it. And yeah. again, they'll sit on top of yeah. one another yeah. perfectly. You've got quite nice roomy drawers. <laughs> 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 I like the fact that you have to lift it to take it yeah, out. Yeah, you've got that lip. Yeah, Can you see that? Brilliant, yeah. So they're not just going to slide out. Look, if I do that, you've that's actually got the lip. Actually. That's really good. You have to do that angle yeah. to get them out. So, yeah, really I, I want some of these. They're ace, aren't they? And I would use them for things like uh, finished pieces of jewellery mm. as well. Yeah. And you if can you decorate the outside of the boxes if you didn't want to keep them plain as well, yeah. couldn't you? Plenty of escape with all your crafting techniques and things you know if somebody if you do your artisanal fairs and your markets and things like that so mm. if you've do you make the same pieces of jewelry a couple of times no, maybe some I of your big sellers I'll okay no. but if you had say i don't know this bracelet for example say you sold that and then somebody mm. else wanted it if you do buy quantities of you could so keep yeah, the, the duplicates inside couldn't you yeah. or if you do etsy and things like that if you want to literally get hold of these and mm. sell them straight on you could do it at a profit but have them all in one this is no different to our to our warehouse on a smaller scale no, no, absolutely. if you were to go in the jewelry uh, jewelry yeah, maker yes. vault yes, that's right. it's literally like this but on a smaller scale now we're going to do this in one price really one price drop really you say that mark go on apparently this is going to be the lowest of our storage solutions we bought to air today what yeah. price is it going to be going under <laughs> it's 200 that's oh, there there yeah God. these are going to fly out you could drill them into your shed yeah oh oh no stacker one's almost sold out gosh there's less than 20 of those there's 201 of these um i think this is going to be tool sheds Absolutely. isn't it yeah, yeah. this it, is what we've got in our garage something similar to this and that was from b and q or home base something like that and they're really expensive i bet in those types of shops. I bet they yeah. are. Soaps. Okay, Ross. You do you just like the you, I totally was not <laughs> expecting you to I come out with toiletries. that. Toiletries. Toiletries. Yeah, yeah. Toiletries, yeah. Toiletries. Lipsticks and things. Jewellery. Yeah. Finished jewellery as well. Yeah. Nuts, bolts, jewellery make condiments. I, I, do you know what? We're gonna uh, yeah, this is a conversation that could go on forever and ever and ever, isn't it? Um, but they are. This is the thing again. Let's pull one of those. You can I feel love the fact that you can't pull the drawer out. Everything contents all over the floor. You have to turn it like yeah. so. So there's a lip, isn't there? Very cleverly Very clever. designed. A lip, which basically means that, yeah, oh, it's going to stay in where it should be. Four ninety nine. Even if you've got, if you haven't got a Scooby Doo, how are you going to fill these as of yet? Oh. You will, you will fill them, though. We've got four, 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 two, three, four, 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 four. I wonder what people are going to be doing with all these. They don't know yet. They might they not know. know. Oh. And oh. to be honest, to be honest, it doesn't matter. You will fill them. Um, hello, Claire. Are the drawers big enough to yes. hold Jake's authenticity cards? I believe so. Have, has anybody got an authenticity card, which is basically the size of a credit card? I haven't got my purse in here, otherwise I'd... Uh, uh, obviously, don't don't actually give a credit card. 
<laughs> Just give a membership. Has anyone got a Nando's card or something like that? Oh, hang on. Well, they're looking for one. What about... It looks like it. I think so. I think looks. so. Yeah. Looks like it would. Wouldn't that be good if you could actually have them all, all sorted, sorted per gemstone, all your authenticity? You could, have, you could have A to D and E to J. Ah, here we go. Let's have Here's our lovely Lucy. You've given me a great... Who was that that messaged in? Oh, they look a bit too big. Was it Claire? Oh, oh, marginally too big. Ah. How marginally? I mean, millimetres. Yeah, literally millimetres. Not quite, not quite. Oh, that's good. Sorry, but that was yeah. a good idea, though. Yeah. If it had yeah. it worked, not quite. Um, that's a shame, because you could almost have a little filing yeah. system, couldn't but you? But if you printed them yourself, yes. you could trim them. True. To fit. True. You could do that, that's yeah. a good idea. 4 99 they've flown out the door again. This can be wall mounted because at the reverse you've got the little little holes even which drop yeah, down onto the screw. So yeah. it's gonna sit there nice and securely. Now I suppose if you're actually putting things like silver findings, you know, that's gonna accumulate weight, isn't it? So uh, maybe make sure that they are secured nice, uh, nicely. Uh, the quality of these, you've got this lovely white wipeable perspex. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a perspex. Have there little sticky out bits on, on the bottom, of, on the base? Sticky out bits. I just wonder what the little slots were at the top. Were they to pop uh, another? Maybe. On the top, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Now, just before, just before we go to the break, I'm now, I do notice you're wearing earrings as well. You very discreetly popped those in, didn't you? <laughs> I, Carol oh, had these the nice. other day. She was. On, I watched her Facebook Live, and I was like, oh. Those earrings. They're amazing. I Aren't they beautiful? Those. Any June baby out there, they'd be a lovely present. Wouldn't they? they wrap around. Yeah. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Stunning little wrap around pearl, cultured pearl earrings. I want these. Coming up in the next hour. But right now, it's the diamonds by the yard. Now, these aren't diamonds, these are topaz. I don't know if we've got time, Ross, but we do have a little PowerPoint on the diamonds by the yard. It's something, just show the places that, yeah, it, 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 or, or you, we might have called it topaz by the yard, I don't know. Um, this kind of design has been around for ages, and it was actually a designer from Tiffany's & Co that actually introduced it. And it's, it talks about this article, and I won't go through it all, but talks about how um, understatedly elegant it is. Yeah, you know, it's lovely. that kind of piece of jewellery that, from a distance, you think it's just maybe a... Um, I can't remember. Laura, possibly. Um, yeah, uh, uh, that understated elegance. Uh, from a distance, it looks like a classic chain, but when you get closer, you see you have these wonderful rubbed-over settings Lovely. of genuine gemstones. Um, so this is gold-plated 925 sterling silver, and they are beautiful, colourless, crystal clear, colourless topaz with the extension. Yeah, I snuck this on because I was like, that's the kind of jewellery that I would wear on a regular basis. Very exclusive, very limited. We're going to introduce the graphics. Um, they're three millimetre, round, brilliant cut, pristine clarity, and they would have to be. You know, when you think about this setting, this is what we call a rubbed over setting, um, or it, as a jewellery maker, you might refer to it as like a tube setting or a channel set. Um, anyway, so you have to have supreme quality of brilliance, and the reasoning for that, effectively, we are shadowing or blocking the light uh, from the pavilion yes. of the gemstone. So all the brilliance needs to ricochet from the crown and table facets. Look at that. That's, That's absolutely cool. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Top quality jewellery with your belcher. So this could be maybe the bracelet that you secure Mark's Amazing Collection that's coming up on Saturday. Um, or like myself, you could just wear it. Just wear it as it is. Simple, understated, timeless beauty. It was Tiffany's & Co um, who actually introduced this design to the world and one that's rolled out really across Chopard, your Van Cleef & Arpels. Um, you could probably get this from places like Beaver Brooks because it's like a round brilliant cut solitaire. At £49.99, pence. that's so beautiful. And that is no way near your price. We can show that, yeah, Elsa Peretti. That's it, Elsa Peretti. 
was the yeah. designer that revolutionized and introduced, here we go, revolutionary Diamonds by the Yard uh, collection features fine fluid chains and bezel set diamonds. Now, these aren't diamonds, but they are pure, brilliant, eye clean, ice white topaz. What about that necklace isn't 50 pound? No, well, <laughs> there we go. There's oh, a bracelet. There we go. How much is that? One thousand two hundred and seventy-five. They are diamonds. They are well, diamonds. Like it's an eighteen ours. carat gold. But can you just <laughs> can you just look at the carat weight of the diamonds though, just to appreciate how, how small are they, they are. How many points? Point oh. 15 point fifteen. Points. That's a commutative commu altogether. Yeah, collective. Not yeah. Just one. No. Fifteen points. Fifteen points. You've got sixty-six points with your topaz. It's wow. not eighteen carat gold, but you still have that beauty in your 18 carat 925 sterling silver. Um, again, we, we spoke about when we launched, I actually launched the chains and Carol launched the bracelets. And we were discussing, both, both Carol and I actually, look, you can break this up, you could turn them into amazing uh, shoulder skimming opera length yeah. earrings, how beautiful yeah. would that be? Imagine these in an anklet. Your jewellery makers, you have that ability, don't you, to transform it from its original design. £19.99. pence. I love that. Do you have a scope to put something on the end of the chain? Yes. You? So you could pop a little gemstone or something on the yeah, end. Yeah, you've got that extension there, Yeah. which means it's going to take it from 7 inches up to 8 inches. Um, but again, as, as jewellery makers, it's a belcher chain. You've got those open links, so real versatility. Uh, Essex, Sabine, hello to you, Anjum, uh, hello to you, Geraldine, Angela, Louise, you're there as well. We have this in the three different colourways as well. So if you're a rose gold person, we've got that. If you're a silver person, then don't worry, we've got that. Imagine the three together. Then we start introducing designers like Cartier. Uh, Cartier in the, the trilogy. Uh, colour combination, remember? Yellow is for friendship, rose is for love, and white is for fidelity. Okay. Should we do the rose? And then we'll do the silver the other side of the break, just before the kids. Can I borrow one of your cones again? Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, look at this. I think I prefer the rose. It's gorgeous, isn't it? They lay. White topaz again, yeah, white topaz. That works so beautifully, doesn't it? That's so beautiful. It's classy, isn't it? Mm. There's pieces of jewellery that you will have, will have, you know, you'll consider fun or, um, I don't know, classic, timeless. This has got a class and a sophistication mm. to mm. it. Mm. In rose gold, 925 sterling silver, Timeless elegance, beautiful simplicity, inspired by the original Tiffany's designer Elsa Peretti. Look at the purity of white of those topaz. Again, you know, we have to highlight the fact that they are literally eye clean, um, and we couldn't use heavily included gemstones because then you wouldn't see the presence because they are. Um, uh, bait, well, I always refer to it as rubbed, uh, rubbed over mm. setting. So where you actually protect the gemstone with this beautiful frame, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Do you know? I don't often say this, but I actually think I prefer the mm. rose. Mm. It's yeah, hard. I, I love so the good. yellow. I don't know. At that kind of price tag, maybe you can treat yourself to all three. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Very elegant. Very, very elegant. Loving the 925 sterling silver uh, uh, bracelets. These are, well, what, diamonds by the yard, but in this aspect, it is your topaz by the yard. So for seven inch, yeah. you could join all three together for a necklace, couldn't you? 71421, good idea. Mm. Yeah, that would look nice, wouldn't it? Which would make about, yeah, that yeah. would sit beautifully yeah. about yeah. here yeah. with a decolletage. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, the silver you. is available on pre-order, but historically we mm. know that the silver colour is the most popular. Here it is, let me just show you. The last two have sold at 19.99, which is awesome. Lovely. This one is going even lower. If you want to shop ahead on pre-order, you can. Straight after the break, we're going to bring the graphics onto your screen and then we're going to step into Mark's absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, masterclass. And just so you know, FYI, we're not talking about a cheeky pound here and there. I think most of you, in fact, I'll repeat what, what producer Ross has just said. Most people are going to be expecting £17.99. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Pre-order, Mark and I will return after this. 
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. As many of you know, my second greatest love after Jewelry Maker is my garden. Um, I'm very lucky to have a beautiful space that we've turned, it's taken 10 years, but we've turned it into a beautiful haven for, for fauna and for flora. And a few months ago, I was asked if I wanted to come up with a range of jewellery products, jewellery items that mirrored my gardening life. So sat down with the production company and I'm delighted, overjoyed, to invite you all to join me on Saturday, the 26th of March, for the spring Chestnut Close Collection. Chestnut Close Collection is all about my garden at home and throughout the next four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, winter, I'm going to be launching three flowers growing in the garden and three fauna, so insects, birds, animals, all of which inhabit the garden. So on the 26th of March, we're going to be launching spring, consisting of three flowers and three birds and insects. And I can't wait to share this whole range with you. It's going to be an amazing morning. Can't wait to see you all for the launch of my very own Chestnut Close Collection. Jewelry makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monica going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
I love this kit. The, color, the choice of gemstones that we've used as the chakra colours, I just think are perfect. They're coming up. I'm going to see if I can remember the chakra order. See if you can. Oh, okay. Coming up with Mark. I tell you what, we will put these on pre-order really? so you can actually shop ahead. Um, it's a beautiful... I want this kit. And I'm going to... Do you I, know what I mean about the tanzanite? Yes. Ridiculous. And I've just shown you what the price is. Yeah. Do you agree that's your tanzanite? Without a doubt. So the, the, for the price of this, this chip kit is the price for this tanzanite alone. But, but you're getting all of this as you well. You've got aquamarine, you've got green onyx, the most beautiful citrine, carnelian, and garnet. I mean, it's phenomenal. Is that but right? Don't forget all that. Oh, and all the... All, the, all of this? That's a separate kit. Uh-huh, okay, sorry. And, and then all yeah. of your findings? And the findings, yeah. You get all of that. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You can pre-order. It's coming up within this hour. Can I also just quickly show you the pearls that we've got coming up in the next hour? These are huge, and they come with a sterling silver connector, uh, a connector as well. And then you have two of your beautiful little rice pearls. And then we've got, oh, I mean, honestly, there's still so much to bring you. These, these earrings that are coming up, which I love. Absolutely love these. The kind of piece of jewellery that I would wear day in and day out. They're beautiful, aren't they? So pretty. But first, it is time for us to bring you the silver diamond by, sorry, topaz by the yard. It's habit. Elsa Peretti originally uh, invented this classy design, one that has been around for decades, literally decades. It's been replicated and inspired by so many different large jewellery houses out there. Um, you can pay astronomical prices for this bezel set, simple, but classic beauty. Let me just borrow that bust again if I can, Mark. Sorry, I keep no, no, giving it to no, you no, and then no, taking no, it back. Oh, right. it's over there. Over there, sorry. It'll lay perfectly, incredible engineering so that the actual setting doesn't flip over. You're always going to have that wonderful... Um, appearance of the topaz. You want it flipped over so you're looking at the coulee of the gemstone. You want to see that, you know, the, 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 the actual crown and table facets. Seven inches but has the capability with the extension of going up or even dropping it down because it is a belcher, which means you've got these lovely circular links um, which easily the lobster claw can loop within. So if you look on Tiffany's and Co, and as I said, it's Diamonds by the Yard. It doesn't have to be Tiffany's. You can look at lots of different designers out there. Diamonds by the Yard, you'll see the inspiration of this piece of jewellery. Here we go, a single diamond solitaire from Tiffany's and Co. Can I just scroll down? Because I'm, I'm intrigued by the carrot weight. A single hand-polished diamond shines at the centre of this delicate and refined sterling silver pendant. Elsa Peretti's revolutionary Diamonds by the Yard collection features a combination of fine fluid chains and bezel set stones that forever change the role of diamonds in fashion. Suspended like a single drop uh, of light against the skin, layer this design with other diamonds by the yard, pendants and necklaces of varying lengths and metals for a look that's all your own. Where's the carrot weight? 0.03. It's tiny. Now, ours aren't diamonds. They are three millimeter, round, brilliant cut, natural colorless topaz. Boy. A birthstone. It is more gem encrusted. And you know that it is going lower the 1999. Well, in fact, we told you it wasn't going to be 17.99 too, didn't we? Louise, Linda, Helga, oh, Yvonne, Kathleen, Sabine, Charmaine, Northumberland, new customer, Manchester, London, Sunita. I can see you all there. It's going lower than 17.99. What a beautiful gift this is going to be oh, for it's someone. Just gorgeous. Absolutely. Again, we're talking about Easter. You know, how quickly would you waffle away a? An Easter egg. I mean, pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> pretty this, quick. This would last you for, for a lifetime. Oh, so absolutely. And I'll thank you a lot more for jewellery mm. than I would do uh, <laughs> than I would do the chocolate, or my waistline certainly would. 
It's stunning, absolutely stunning. The quality of the faceting, the quality of the craftsmanship of sterling silver. And it's not even going to be $17.99. Remind me, Scott, how many do we have? Uh, Scott, sorry. What is with me today? Remind me, Ross, how many? Just over 100. Hi, Sarah. The silver one would sit so well with a set of three bracelet chains you did earlier. Yes. Yeah. Particularly the Belcher, they sold out, by the way. Beautiful, stacked up. Yes. We've told you, not, told you you're not paying £17.99. and pence. I want to buy these. I think they're lovely gifts. But you're not paying £17.99. Oh, I want to join you on this one. It's one of my best it's one of my best friend's birthdays and I think this would be the most beautiful gift because some people it, it, it's quite I find jewelry I love to give jewelry as well but it's so personal isn't Absolutely, it people's yes, styles yes. whereas this I could buy it with confidence and know she's gonna love it timeless classic feminine delicate beautiful christening mm, yeah. gift amazing wedding day gift absolutely gorgeous you could mark suggestion literally multi-buy and turn yeah, this I into yeah. well you could wear it as a, as a necklace in fact mm. we launched the necklace but what about things like anklets yeah it's nice idea as well maybe get two mm. cut, cut it down to shorten to your size customize it how beautiful would that be essex charmaine sabine kathleen northumberland yvonne christina london and allison well done Mandy, Jane, Lorraine, Sonika, everybody pays the final low. I want to join you on this one. £14.99 only. Uh, again, you saw a 0.03 carat diamond, different stone, granted. Um, in silver, it was in silver, though, on Tiffany's & Co. For what was it, £375? £375. This is sterling silver as well. They're not the same gemstone, but they are a gemstone. How many topaz have you got on there? Let's give, let's give them a count. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Look how beautiful that is. So what I would do, and I know you don't like me doing this, but what I would do is, you see that length of chain between the two topaz? Yeah. I would cut it in, half, in the halfway point, mm -hmm. and the same the other side. So you basically you've got five sections of chain with a stone in the center. So you've got five sections to pop on your slider bracelet. Beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Kaz has just bought 10. Yeah, wow. I mean, amazing, Kaz. Uh, Linda's just bought five. Dorset's bought three. Louise's multi bought. Maker in Northumberland's multi bought. London's just bought three. Because uh, you know, don't you? You know it's the kind of thing that most people will absolutely love straight away. There it is the classic Diamonds by the Yard necklace. £3,700. It's what, 11 round brilliant cut diamonds, 16 inches long. That, those 11 round brilliant cut diamonds are still, what, half the carat weight that you're getting pretty much? 33, sorry, 0 0.33. 33 points across 11 stones. So they're absolutely tiny. 16 inch, that's a very short necklace. It is, it is short. Wow. It's in platinum. So you're paying for, you know, I mean, platinum straight away. Can you tell the difference between platinum and silver? Because I can't. <laughs> I actually can't. At no. uh, 14.99, Sabine's bought four as well. Susan and Brian, Patricia, Linda, Louise, uh, Leah. Hello to you. If you want the multiples that I can see in your basket, I would be checking out. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to leave those last few with you because it is time for us to step into, of course, your masterclass. Right, Mark. Wow. Your jewellery, wow, wow, wow. Can we, can you, that, that amazing necklace, the wraparound necklace with your oh, little yeah, sections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The do, you little have sec a look? do you want to have a look off the bust? Oh, that's gorgeous. All seven. I love that, I'm, I'm glad I, I remember the chakra order now. You have. Yeah. You have. Even if you don't go with the whole chakra thing, that's totally fine. So all it is, is I've just repeated I've repeated the chakra sections three times. So you can see it's, it's quite a long necklace. It's what, six foot length, I think, something like that? Yeah. So you can, as, as you saw on the bust, you can, you can mix, you can place it around the neckline so that they meet. 
or you can have them off centers or they're just lovely that i mean that green onyx literally pops yeah. doesn't it the carnelian the quality of this so what I've done, the, um, the gemstone sections are five centimetre sections, mm -hmm. and then there's an 8-0 black seed bead either side, and then an inch of 11 O's either side of that. Can I ask how long it took to you to make them. that? Hour. Really? No, it's really quick. Yeah, no, it's, it's really quick. It's Using really quick. what, wildfire? Wildfire, the green one that we had in the um, yeah. kit earlier. Yeah. Right, so lovely. let's show you the order of They're the amazing. gemstones that you're getting, the Some quality. Of the strands I've ha ever had. Absolutely, totally yeah, agree with yeah. you. Over your nuggets, for sure, for sure. Garnet, look at the red. That is that beautiful poppy red. Vibrant, citrusy, zesty carnelian. Uh, your gorgeous sunshine buttercup yellow. Green onyx of your citrine, sorry. Uh, then you have your uh, Colombian em uh, I almost said it then, Colombian emeralds. Your green onyx. Then aquamarine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then there is the tanzanite that Mark really is super duper excited about. I've never seen a strand. I mean, I launched tanzanite when we launched it eight, nine years ago yeah. now. And it was a strand of nuggets just like this. Mm -hmm. And I think it was 24.95, something like when we first launched it. But for me, this is the finest quality of tanzanite I've ever seen in a, nug in a nugget strand. It's the vanadium it's blue, that isn't it? It's dark. It's so dark. Pardon? This was, strand of tanzanite right, was actually okay. launched right. at what? Twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Just for this one strand. It's beautiful. Just remember that price point. That and is. The whole, and the whole strand is the same colour. Yeah, you know, it perfect. It's so vivid and strong. You're not just getting that because you're also getting your findings. Now, how many? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I thought we had quantity of it. Less than eighty of this kit. So B, uh, yeah. I, I agree with you, Mark. I think these are the best nuggets in terms of the quality of the colour, the, um, some of the most exciting richness and saturation that we've seen in a very long time. I love the choice of green onyx in this. Beautiful. No, it's, it's amazing. And all of the chips have got really good drill holes, so I didn't have it. So I rosary linked. I made a, little, so I made a station necklace like, like your by the yard yeah. style here. This is rosary linked, again, keeping the chakra order. And the, I, I made the braces at the end there, and I, I wanted to do the three the three warm colours. Mm. And so it's a seven coiler, and I started with eleven O's. That's on memory wire. That's I actually thought wire. that was sorry to interrupt you. Did you want to try it on? Yes, that, I thought that was wire. a cord. Oh no no, that's that's memory wire. Look, so you, I did a a, stra um, a coil of eleven O's, then the garnet, another, and then I separated the, the gemstones with the chakra colours. And on your memory wire coils, you get 14 coils, so you could do the whole chakra lineup oh. on one bracelet if you wanted to. Our, our wall of fame, one of our lovely viewers was saying about, uh, wasn't it one of the chakra pieces that sold literally That's super, right. super yeah. or yeah. within a day? Yeah. Well, hang on, we're at five pounds oh. per strand. <laughs> Plus, don't forget, you're also getting your findings as well. Your findings pack, which is included in the chain, the shepherd hook, the toggles, the crimps, and also your head pins. Look at that. Remember the price of the tanzanite? <laughs> so we launched that strand of tanzanite for £24.99. pence. Should we give you the whole kit for that price? Amazing. And with what I left, had left over, I could make every single piece of jewellery again. Yeah. With everything I had left. Yeah. It goes such a long way. Oh, beautiful kit. I love the, qu the quality of these nuggets. You're basically purchasing your tanzanite and you're getting everything else for free. That's your amethyst, that's your aquamarine, that's your onyx, that's your citrine, your carnelian, and also your garnet. Um, Mark, I love that necklace. I'm, I'm obsessed with that necklace. Literally, the wraparound design. You know, and they're super easy to work with, aren't they? Yeah, you, just, you, you just, as I said, there's nothing that you can't do, a, a, another jewelry making technique that you can't do with, with chips and nuggets. I've always loved chips and nuggets ever since. And did you know, I didn't do a twist necklace today. I wanted to separate all the chakra colours and keep them all separated, but that's just beautiful, isn't it? They the all work so well, don't That they? photograph on the Wall of Fame. Mm. Yvonne's yes, photograph absolutely. on the Wall yeah. of Fame. Yep. Which is just a vision, an absolute vision, Yvonne. This is the kind of thing that I'm seeing right now, that beautiful cascade, that texture um, of, uh, 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 of genuine gemstones. Or you could be maybe a little bit more frugal about it and use them um, you know, by, by the centimetre, whichever it must be. I know, I'm, I'm going to put them back on in mm. the wrong order, I know this, but look at the quality of that green onyx. It's 
It's just beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. You can tell it's one of my favourites. So all I've done with this necklace is, is I've taken an inch of the chakra colours yeah. and then I've got the piece of chain that you get with the, with the findings kit and I've cut ten link lengths and I've just rosary linked. You can see I've just rosary linked. Oh, this that's is, gorgeous. This is 0 0.4 millimetre wire. So you, so you could, we could do this three times if you wanted to and just make the most amazing. And I bet that, I mean, that's yeah. very commercial, isn't it? Yeah, that's the kind of jewellery that, um, that, that you could wear on a regular basis. You get the findings as well. We had a limited quantity of this kit. And again, the price of the tanzanite, the quality of the tanzanite, Beautiful. as Mark said, Beautiful. truly amazing. Jennifer, Gillian, Rex and Beatrice, hello to you. Uh, Jennifer, Helga, Tia, Kim, Michelle, Dorset, Catherine, Pat, Hampshire, Gordon, Angela. New customers, Buckinghamshire. Uh, hello to you, Shalini. Hello to you, uh, Cornwall, Dorothy, Susan and Brian. Lovely to be with you this morning. I hope you're all well. We've got a question from Angela. If Mark made a twist necklace, would he use wire or thread? So, if you wanted the twist, you would use wire. Okay, what gauge? Um, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, whatever will go through the gemstones. Okay. Um, all, of the, all of these will take the 0.4. The onyx will only take, a, sorry, a 0 0.6, and the onyx will take a 0.4. Okay. So you just need to drop down ever so slightly, because the, the, the drill holes are slightly finer in this one here. But if you wanted to do a plait, then you could use the beading thread. If you use thread to do a twist, it would just unravel. It, would, it wouldn't keep its shape. Yeah. You need something strong to hold the twist. But you can, you can do five strands or three strands, and then you can plait using your, your beading thread, you know, Wild Warrior Firelight. Still use the cone ends. Either yeah, end, yeah, yeah, yeah. You demoed we, those earlier. demoed earlier. No, it's just lovely. Or just literally do a wraparound like Mark wrap just done there on Wildfire. That's gorgeous. And then this one is just, this, I've used silver, <coughs> silver wire on this one. Again, these are just inch lengths of the, of the stones, rosary linked together. You could put little Mobius rings in between to make it go further. Oh, so lovely. Too. It's very delicate. Yeah, so very lovely. Very no, it's lovely. Again, imagine that, just long line, beautiful, yeah, yeah. Uh, elegant necklace. Um, make sure you check out very popular kit, very popular. Right, I'm going to scooch that, those. Mm -hmm. should you know, Take it over here, shall I? Yes, slide it over there, because I think this next kit's going to set out as well. Amazing. I'm not sure what the black stone is. Um, it is. Ooh. Oh, go on then. Is this our gate? Bear with us. Our graphics are just having a little moment. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a black eye gate. It's beautiful. I might be wrong. A metre long length. Mm. Oh, look at that photo it's as gorgeous, well. Isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. This is, this is your perfect Marla kit. Onyx. I thought it was, you know. Do you know is it I, the it, That was the feeling I got when I was using it. Warmth? Mm. Yeah, you can, just, just you can feel the warmth of the gem. I've never had a meter of black onyx before. Then you also get, look. So you get three of each of your, of your seven chakra colours. I love this. Yeah. It, yeah, so you have the perfect sizes, shapes and colours to go to make your chakra colour yeah. good. And then you, uh, and you, get some, you get two tassels as well. Two tassels. Yeah. yeah, you get the tassels as well. There you go. I'd put those together, I think. So what I did with the, um, so it's not a true um, Marla, because I didn't have the, the gurus, but I used one of the, the large black beads as the guru above the tassel here. Mm -hmm. And then this is the, the double knot technique that I showed earlier on. Yeah, and so what, two I'll chords going so, through? So two chords, all of the beads take the two chords all the way through. So I've got two beads, so you've got that whole chakra length going up either side of the knotted necklace, and then I ended it with one amethyst at the top as a centre stone. So it, it, it just goes on and on. It's a lovely, a lovely piece of jewellery. And then you've re you've replicated, yeah, the, yeah, the colours yep. literally to, from your root to your uh, to yep. your crown chakra. Right. Um, I love this kit. I love that necklace, Mark. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. You, I'm going to wait and try and source different coloured gemstones for each of your chakras, or um, or for the kit. Really, it's all here in one amazing. Here we go. The Mega Mala, 270 carats. This kit, we have got slightly more quantity, but 
Yeah, but I think, you know, the frenzy, the crazy trade that, 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 that the Marla necklace absolutely is. And I'm not just talking here about jewellery maker. You know, this is something which is massively mm, in the market absolutely. at the moment. Absolutely. Beaded jewellery, generally speaking. And whether you wear it for beliefs, of course, um, or whether you wear the Marla necklace as a fashion statement. No, it's amazing. So they, you see the tassel at the bottom of the necklace there? What I did is I, is I took two strands of thread through the, the silver top of the tassel there, that little yeah. loop at the tassel. And then the large black round will take four strands. So I took the four strands up through the big bead and then separated, I tied a knot as you can see above the big bead and then I separated, so two cords off to the left, two cords off to the right, and then you knot and meet up at the back. So four cords that big bead will take. We're at 39.99 Mark. Brilliant price, amazing. We're no way near. I would, charge, I would charge that for this bracelet. I love this bracelet. Yeah, Brilliant. that's cool. So this, this is, this, I'm, I'm going to demo this. This has got your, your chakra beads going down the centre. Do you know what? I think that's an amazing gents and ladies yeah, piece. No, and then it's just macrame in knotting with the plait at the back. In one minute, we're going to half Ooh, that what? price tag. There we go. Mm -hmm. not, uh, not beating around the bush. <laughs> There's quantity of these. Um, your chakra gemstones into. Can I just have the list back again? Because I'm going to. That's, my, that's all right. Um, it's been there for a while. There. Yes. So you've got red jasper, carnelian, citrine, green aventurine, amazonite, lapis lazuli, amethyst, black onyx, of course, um, in uh, your strand, but also your one meter long length strand, but also a 12 mil stone, which will act as the top of your tassel. Um, plus then you're getting the tassels itself. The most gorgeous kit, the most Amazing. gorgeous kit. The black, I know that the, you know, many people in crystal healing, of course, um, with the Marla necklace, believe that the actual uh, black is grounding. So, oh, right. oh, um, apparently, so yeah, that's yeah. why it's often actually. A I'm no expert in that genre, but that's why it's often put alongside the chakra colours. I was watching our sister channel the other day, and you know they were discussing chakra. Chakra is massive at the moment. It's absolutely huge as a belief system. Nineteen wow. pounds yeah. and ninety nine pence. That's just for the meter of onyx, isn't it? And yes. Uh, everything else. That's a brilliant price. And it's so lovely to see black onyx. I always talk about black onyx. It was, you do. You it was our star black gemstone until little spinel came along. And yeah. It's a bit of an afterthought now, but so I, I do champion black onyx. I love it. I get, and it is different. Yeah, you know, you completely. actually get more of a yeah. liquid luster to you your do. black onyx. You do. No, absolutely. It, it, this might yeah. sound the most, yeah. uh, you know, very wow. simply put, it's more shiny. Mm. It is more shiny and lustrous than, uh, than spinel so out there. So if you did the full 108 marla, with one of the black large beads as your tassel topper, using two of each of your chakra colours, you've mm -hmm. got enough of the six mil and the black bead and a tassel to make a marla bracelet. So you could replicate it as a bracelet. You'd have enough of the of the six mil rounds to do a set. So kind of like the demo you did in the nine o'clock hour. Yeah, yeah. That'd so you can see, so you can do a bracelet and w containing all of the colours. Because I did this, I did the bracelet. I did look all the black, and I still had some left over. So you could, you could even do a simple knotted bracelet if you wanted to. Love it. Any questions that you have for Mark, do feel free to message us because we are live in the studio. Keep on dialing through. Um, right. Pearls coming up at midday, of course, but which one are you going to demo? Well, I'm going to show the bracelet. I did this demo a couple of weeks ago on a show and um, a lot of people missed it, so I'm going to do it again today because I think it just echoes the chakra colours perfectly down the centre. Love that. Just lovely, just lovely. And again, again something that I think ladies and gents could yep. wear. No, absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit of macrame. Any excuse to macrame. I've got massive news about macrame, <gasps> but I'm not. I've been sworn secrecy big time. <coughs> serious trouble. But watch this space as far as macrame goes. So what you need to do to start with is you need to choose your lazy strand, of which you'll need three. So this is the small macrame board. So what you'd need to do, you'd need to do three lengths, each length, three lengths of the board. Okay, so three foot lengths. So you'd cut that, first of all. So you want three of this length, okay? You find the center of those three, and then you take three of the cords up to the top of the board and attach them. So you've got this left over, because what's going to happen is you are going to, at the end, you're going to use those cords to plait all three together to make your friendship bracelet tie. Okay, so this will be a bracelet that you tie in and keep on. 
and then you start your threading. So I definitely recommend starting on the middle strand first of all. So what you're going to do, you're going to do black, red, black, orange, black, yellow. So you'd replicate the chakra colours, your seven chakra beads, each with a black onyx either side. And you can find that online, can't hey, you? Uh, that's how I found it. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know either. Remember the, mm. the middle bit, I couldn't quite remember. So you're going down the centre, and then on the either side, you're going to just have the black onyx. So however many beads you have going down your centre lazy strand, you take one off either side. So if you had 20 down the middle, you'd have 19 either side. If you had 15 down the middle, 14 either side. So it's always one less either side. Okay. And then at the bottom, you want to separate your three cords and tie them off each in a slot. Okay, so they're one slot apart. So that's your board set up. Now your working strands, you can now choose any, any type of thread. So this is the, I, I went for black, and this is again 0.5. You can use 0.9 if you wanted to as well. And you need two pieces of this one, about four feet in length. Okay. Okay, so I'll just cut off two shorter lengths. So two lengths, four feet. So you th you're lazy, three times three feet, and you're working two times four. Okay, so look back on YouTube. Okay, if you want, if you or write that down. Or write it down, yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach one of our working cords, one of our working cords underneath all three, and we're going to tie a square knot. Okay, so again, under all three. Now, I always start with the left-hand side of my square knot, so... So we've got the left first, and then we've got the right. So that's attached our first cord. And then use the slots in your macrame board just to hold them in position. And then we're going to take our second cord. We're going to do exactly the same underneath. So we're going to feed it underneath the three lazies. And we're going to tie a square knot, so exactly the same way. So left side first. Left side and then right side. Feed that underneath. Okay, so we've got our two cords with our two separate square knots. Okay, so we've got our board ready. So now we're going to start doing a bit of macrame before we introduce our beads. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of herringbone. So we're going to take our top set of two, we're going to drape them over the lower set, and we're going to tie a square knot. So in effect, we're treating this little group of knots as a bead, which we're now going to cage. So we're just going to tie that off. And this just brings everything together. Okay, and then we're going to do one more. So it's always top set over the lower set. So we bring that over. Again, we're going to treat that last knot as if it were a bead. So this is your, your herringbone pattern. Just like that underneath. Okay, so that's how we start at the top. So now we're going to start incorporating our gemstones. So this, this next little section is a bit complicated, so definitely recommend watching it back on YouTube after the show just to um, remember mm -hmm. what you need to do. So we always, always put our beads, so we go middle, left, right, middle, left, right, middle, left, right, all the way down to the bottom. So we're going to take our left bead, our middle bead, sorry, and we're going to feed that all the way up so it sits under the knots. And then we're going to cage that bead using the lower set of cords, so the cords nearest to the bead. But, and we're only going to cage the bead on the strand that it's on. So from now on, we're not going to tie knots over all three cords until we get to the, the bottom of our bracelet. So we're going to take the top two set, the, the top set, and we're going to cage it only using the cord that the bead is sitting on. So again, left side of the knot first, and then the right side. Again, just underneath. And because the, the bead is quite high up off the board, it actually lifts the cord. So you can see how easy it was for me to get the cords under to tie the knot. Okay, so that's now in position. That's now attached at the top. So what we need to do now is at the moment we've got a great big space in between our cords, so we need to bring the cords to meet each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the board just 45 degrees, 
ignore those two, th those two cores there. We're going to work on the left ones. So I'm going to take the bottom cord and I'm going to swing it round to the other side of the board. I'm going to lift up the top cord and we're going to tie a square knot without a bead on the left hand cord. So just a square knot and we want that knot just to go up underneath the bead. Then we do the right hand side underneath just the left hand cord and then we tie our knot. Oops. Okay, so we do the right hand side underneath and we pull nice and tight. So that's the left side. So now you can see the two cords are together. So we pop those out of the way and then we do the same. So we straighten up, we turn 45 degrees the other side. Now just a quick point here. When you're doing the middle cord or the left cord, you do the left side of the knot first and then the right side. When you do the right hand cord, you do the right side of the knot first. So left, left, right. Always remember it's the right cord, you do the right hand side of the knot first. So we take our left cord, we drape it across, and we do the right side of the knot first. So the knot sits underneath, and then we're going to do the left hand side, only underneath the right hand cord pull that nice and tight. So now, when we pull the two cords together apart, you can see now that they're ready to start doing your beading. Okay? Oh yeah, they kind of, uh, yep. you've said it before, they kind of tell you. They do, absolutely. So you've got, you've got a set in the middle now, in effect, because mm -hmm. they cross over, so you know you've done it right. So once we've got the two knots in, we can now put in our second knot of beads. So left, so we always go middle, left, right, so bring up the left, and we tie a square knot only on the left cord that the bead is on. So from now on, you're only going to knot on the lazy cord that the bead is on. Okay, so we do the left-hand side because we're on the left-hand side of the cord. Bring that up. And then we move on to the right side. Now we know it's the right-hand cord, so we know we do the right-hand side of the knot first. So we do the right-hand side and then we do the left. Okay, just bring that up nice and secure. And then we do the left hand side. And underneath, pull that up. Okay, so that's caught it. And now what will happen if, if you pull the two sets of cords apart, there's the gap there for your middle. So we've done middle, left, right. So it's middle, so we can start incorporating one of our chakra colours. We're going to pop that up. It will pop back, so don't worry about that. When we come to tie the knot, it will secure itself. So we're just going to go in, pull it up to the top, so it's, and just give it a little nudge, pop it in position. And then we do the same. So we do the right-hand side of the knot. Just give it another nudge and pull the knot nice and tight. So that's now in position. And then we've done the middle, so then it's the left-hand side. We tie the knot, and it's the right-hand side. The right-hand side first, and you tie the knot. So you just keep going all the way down. So if I just bring, pop that across there. So this, so this is what um, the bracelet will, will look like. So that's your, your red, and then the orange, the yellow, and then goes to the blues and the purple at the end. And then what I've done is, is the, what I did at the beginning with that little section of herringbone is I repeated that at the end and then I cut away all my cords. If you look back at a, a show I did a couple of weeks ago with Carol, you'll show you uh, on there we show you how you actually cut it all and using your cigarette lighter and I don't want to get the lighter out again today. So you finish off the, the same end as here. So you bring all the cords together and then you tie all three. So you, you knot over all three at the start and all three at the end. Mm -hmm. And then you're left with your long tails. And then what I've done, I'll just open this up a little bit if I can. Probably tightened it too tight now. Is you're left with your three cords, one end, and your three, let me bring this one over. So you've got your three cords that you started with, and you'll have three cords at the end. And all you're going to do is, once you've done your little section, is you're going to plait as you would a child's hair. So it's left over middle, right over middle, left over middle. And I did a hundred moves, and that will give you a length long enough then, top and bottom, 
to then just tie in an overhand double knot. Let me see if I can open that. Let me see if I can just open those. Have you got something to show? Well, I just try to undo this. I'd like to show sure. you. Sure. Um, here we go. I can actually bring you some ah. more beautiful oh, stones. That favorites. would be a wonderful addition oh, it to would your kit. You could replicate this so many times with this kit as well. Perfect. All six yeah. mils. We've got 20 of these. Oh, is that all? Yeah, oh, it's no. not that many. Again, you've got the quality of the storage. Um, but if you do want your six mils, we've got a little run oh. of them as well. And they're all coming up too. Yeah, this could be incorporated because you've got your chakra colours in here, haven't you? You have. You have indeed. Yeah. £14.99. 350 pieces. It's a lot. This would work perfectly with your nugget kit, I'm thinking. Because that didn't yeah, actually yeah, have no. the rounds in it, no, did it? No, no. Um, and you've got the, st the storage thereafter. £14.99. pence. But again, just remember there are only a handful of these available. Great to incorporate into... Yeah. Um, well, each of Mark's Yeah, that'd pieces. be perfect with, with that. As you said, you've got your chakra colours. It'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Isn't that amazing? And that extra banding going through there as well. Actually, Mark, yeah. you know, as well, once that kit, you know, the main chakra colours, which I know you do get a few of in that last kit, mm. you know, you might be looking for those yeah. those colours. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. So, I see, so what I've done at the end, look, is you've now got length long enough there. So that's 100 plat moves. <laughs> at one end and I've just tied it off at the end and that just gives you length then to do your double knot or your friendship bracelet tie off. Yeah, can I put it on your wrist? Because it looks, that. On a, yeah. That That's on a amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Tom would love that. Yeah. That's, that, that is yeah. the kind of, I can, I can imagine it yeah. on, on like Beckham. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I could, I can imagine yeah, yeah. Beckham actually wearing that. Yeah, yeah, Suits you, Mark. Yeah. Yep. Really suits you. £14.99 wow. to get hold of these. Thank you. Beautiful. Pleasure. Pleasure. Absolutely beautiful. As always, it's Mark. Um, there's your bracelet, just in case anyone accuses me of trying <laughs> to rob your jewellery. Okay. Should we do a little run of six mils? Yes, please. So this is not just about this hour, though, um, because this is perfect for the Kiss Cross, it right? Would. Absolutely. It's, this. it's the perfect size for Kiss Cross, yeah, the six mil. That's how I started with the six mil. How have we described this colour? I've got... Oh, this is natural then, isn't it? Is that the natural blue and then the dyed blue? Natural blue and then dyed... They are beautiful. Yeah, the natural is a little oh, bit more steely, yeah. deep, inky. Yeah, it's like an inky blue, isn't it? And then this is the royal blue, which I'll bring you in a second. From a, diff uh, from a distance, um, you look at this... Yeah, you kind of think it's green, don't you? It's not. It actually has got an almost like a, like a yeah, peter sight. It's beautiful. Almost bluey colour with him. We hardly ever have natural blue. No. Magical. Full of chatoyancy, of course. Six millimetre round, so perfect alongside Mark's demonstrations just, and also the ones in the nine o'clock hour. Your kiss cross demonstrations, your marlas, your... Perfect. Six mil is the <laughs> most. It is. It's the most popular, popular size. size. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can use it for everything. Six ninety nine. That's amazing. Six pounds ninety nine. <gasps> which we hardly ever have. Hardly ever. No. You know your Montana Mayukis. Oh yes. That's kind that of got. That has actually yeah. A similar colorway to mm. this. Check out those baskets though to guarantee success. This is natural. It's not enhanced in any way, shape, or form. So, for those of you that really are. You know, I, I don't know, if you gravitate towards your natural gemstones as opposed to your treated gemstones, we don't see natural tiger's eye very often, particularly when it has this beautiful inky deep blue. How many do I have then, Ross? <coughs> Excuse me, 50. 50 of these available. Lincolnshire, Rachel, Julie, Charmy, Michelle, Hilma, you're there as well. I'd use this with the pearls. Lovely. I can't get rid of the size of those pearls. They're whoppers. Yeah, Absolute whoppers. And I definitely incorporate it into your kits because it could be deemed as the sort of the, the black, the grounding stone. That's it. No, absolutely right. Because you have that, you have that darkness yeah, of yeah, colour. Yeah. Let's now bring you the royal blue, or cobalt blue, or electric blue. Depends which way you actually refer to it. Look at that. I think it's more electric yeah. than royal. Yeah, that's an amazing colour. Look at that. I love this gemstone. Yeah, we're a big fan of these, aren't yeah. we, Mark? Yeah, yeah. Shall we do a little run of six millstones? Okay. So, 
Do you stock up on six mils? Massively. I've got more six mils than any other size at home. Um, yeah. For what reason? Just because they, they're so versatile. A, because of the Kiss Cross, because that's the stone I always use. And then we've got, as, as I said, Susie brought us the Marlers, yep. which are also used. And they're really good for, for stations in necklaces as well and all sort and stretchy bracelets. They go really well onto memory wire. Lovely. They're just a lovely size. Absolutely. And then that wonderful pop of colour. Look, it, it does highlight the, the gemstone chatoyancy, mm. doesn't it? it yeah. You know, it, it seems to illuminate as the chatoyancy sort of migrates around the gem itself. Six pounds and 99 pence only for Tiger's Eye. Look at the likes of Thomas Sabo. Look at the likes of uh, um, Van Cleef and Arpels. Look at the likes of Liberties. Look at, I mean, I could go on and on. So many designers are working with Tiger's Eye at the moment. But very few of those designers actually have this electric blue, which I just adore. Stretchy bracelets with a little Buddha yeah, in the centre. Perfect. Gold okay. spaces. Pills are coming up very soon, literally minutes away until we bring you those pills. I think they will sell out. It, you get sterling silver as well. Right now, fancy Jasper in your faceted, uh, faceted oh. rounds. We had a fancy Jasper showcase, didn't we, the we other did. day? Maybe this is last in stock. Could be, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was this, was this on the other day then, Ross? Was it on the other day? With Mark and I, yes. Mm. Literally, this is part yeah, of it yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. This is part of that showcase that, that absolutely amazing, flew. There are 44 of these left. Oh, they're beautiful. You've got an amazing lo uh, collection launching, Mark, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. This, I, I can imagine these are almost quintessential yeah, colours, they are aren't they? English colours. Yeah. Four pounds and 99 pence only. Beautiful. That you could complement, maybe pick out the yellows, pick out the purples, pick out the. Um, the pinkish colours. It's that perfect backdrop, isn't it? To each it's of those. Perfect. Every single stone goes with its neighbour on the strand, doesn't yep. it? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, Absolutely five amazing. Five, yeah, five pounds. <laughs> five pounds only. Hundreds of these flew. Only last week. Um, only last week they were in a showcase. They were brand new. They were premiere. If you, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Neary, we call him Tom Neary. Neary knew. Um, our producer at the time, he was ultra excited about this showcase, and rightfully so. You're a huge fan of massive, Jasper. Massive. Jasper, agate, quartzes, all the underdogs of the gems world, I love. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, some of the biggest yeah. designers work yeah. with those as well, don't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. You know, the likes of um, Lola Rose? Of course, yes. Works with these two. Yes, yes. The pearls are coming up in one auction's time. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sandstone, goldstone. Those people asking for no, the rounds. Okay. It's the same thing, basically, just called differently. Like many of the Jaspers, actually, are called different names. This is a man made, beautiful, beautiful creation in oh, six yeah. mil. This has really captured the viewer's imagination this year. Yeah, the because. Goldstone and sandstone. Rewind, yeah. I don't know, about six, seven years ago. It wasn't that popular, was no, it? No. And I, 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 get, I do get it. I understand why, actually. I've said it, and I kind of recognise why. We didn't do sea beads then. No, that's true. We didn't do yeah. sea beads, and it was very much all about your genuine gemstones. But these days, sandstone stroke goldstone, um, as I said, it's the same thing. Um, you absolutely... Uh, we, so we appreciate it now, because it will work with your Mikey, mm. Mayuki. It will work with your bicones, your preciosa. And it is visually beautiful. It's stunning. I'm a massive advocate of this stone. I just, I've always loved it. So to be able to bring it back this year and and it's just been so popular, it's just lovely. I mean, why would you not like that that sparkle? It's I like the fact that it's microscopic sparkle. Mm. You know, it's not like glitter sparkle, is it? It's very very tiny little. Yeah, flakes. it's not glitter like those no. really coarse no. flakes. No. It, it, it literally is tiny little suspensions, yeah. aren't they? They're just. I, I agree. It just performs, doesn't it? Yes, it's like the yes. most beautiful snow globe. It's amazing, that's amazing Marla, if you grab uh, three of these. I would put this with a kit, those yeah. black onyxes, I think that'd be yeah, lovely. Yeah. Five pounds <laughs> and 99 pence, but you know, we normally see sandstone, stroke, goldstone. Um, we normally see them in showcases, don't we? Yes, we just had, yeah, the green all went, didn't they, and the blue. Mm. Um, I. Th I th I think I prefer this, you know, this is... This well, is this is the traditional, it, isn't it? I think it's the sparkle as well. You get a lot more sparkle. You seem to get in the in the, uh, 
in the sandstone. And warm. Mm. They're very warm. Beautiful terracotta-like colours. Five pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Yeah, I mean it's it's always so 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 popular these days. Your sandstone, and I get I get it. I totally get it because. We've, we're having some lovely weather this weekend, apparently. Amazing weather this week, yeah. Yeah, it was lovely yesterday. It's nice to get outside and open the windows, isn't it? Um, seeing those beautiful, beautiful little platelets that literally glisten and capture the light. But at the same time, I would wear it in the autumn months mm. and the winter months. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines, because it is time for us to bring you those incredible pearls. Now, obviously, yours will sit a bit lower, but I've just got to twist this on the strand. Pearls, timeless, elegance that they're too large. Like I literally can't. Them. Normally, I can clip them together, but they're actually too large, the pearls. Timeless, classic elegance. Throughout every single generation and era, pearls have always been at the forefront. Layering of pearls. Uh, triple row, double row. You know, there's, I don't think many Hollywood A-listers who haven't mm, at some no, point no. actually chosen a pearl necklace for an occasion. But here at Jewelry Maker, we give you the opportunity to buy pearls at a much more, significantly, a, a significantly more affordable price point. Mickey Moto was the pioneer that invented the culturing process. That literally revolutionized our ability to source this treasure. Because once upon a time, believe it or not, the pearl was considered so rare because it was free dived for, and of course you don't know no, which mollusk no. actually has the pearl inside, that they were considered priceless. Mickey Moto brought pearls, cultured pearls, um, or that technique of replicating what Mother Nature actually does um, through the harvesting process and obviously now we get the opportunity to enjoy this beautiful gemstone. Here he is. Oh. Here he is. These days, the majority, 99.9% .9 of all pearls that exist within the market will be cultured. Will be cultured, farmed effectively. And I can even show you a photograph of a farm. There's the mollusk itself. There's the little pearl literally in fresh water, little beds or, or, or almost open lakes like this, and they're lovingly nurtured yeah, and cared for. Looked after, aren't they? looked after. Each of them is, uh, you know, checked and assessed. Their bar you know, the shells are, um, are, are clean to remove any kind of barnacles to prevent the actual mollusk from feeding healthily. And it will reproduce as well. They don't just do one cultured pearl. They'll actually do multiples of cultured pearls. Um, contrary to popular belief, most people think it is just our oysters that will produce pearls, but actually many different mollusks will actually produce pearls. But, but, you have the five virtues. So, size, colour, shape, nacre and luster. Do you notice the first one that I said? Size. A mollusk has to mature to a significant size to be able to house a pearl of this caliber. These are nine to 10 millimeters. When many mollusks will actually produce multiple pearls in one given harvest, these, I should imagine, were potentially one per mollusk because of the scale of them. They are huge. Do you think if, if they had multiple pearls, they would take some out and leave one prize pearl in just to get to this sort of size? Possibly. Yeah, Possi yeah possibly, mm. because otherwise it would mm. probably become too crowded. Mm. Mm. But that, for me, when you start talking about double figure millimetres, that is like a one yes. carat diamond. Yes. It's a milestone. And you have an entire strand. You're not just getting this pearl strand opportunity. You are also getting an amazing 925 sterling silver parve set, very Tiffany-esque bow. We can see you already queuing on the phone lines. 
knotting this with that beautiful bow at the front or maybe asymmetrically, you're the designer. You get that choice. I've got 150, is that right? 150 of these available and it's going ridiculously low for the size of these pearls. They're freshwater cultured pearls, which the majority of pearls actually are on the market right now. Not all. You can get, you can get of course, your uh, Tahitian, you can get your Akoya, you can get your South Sea. You pay a premium for those. Freshwater pearls are still valuable. The graphics are live and people are already dialing in. If you want that big statement pearl necklace look, um, I've had my eye on this strand for the entirety of the show. I really have. I've mentioned it quite a few times. Uh, nine by ten millimeters in their size. This is that chance. I embrace the fact that these have got those beautiful little anomalies, those rings, those formations and characteristics that actually showcase the fact that this is a true, genuine pearl. Not a simulant, not, not, not glass, not, not plastic, which sometimes uh, many of us would actually think they were. Genuine cultured pearls. Time has been invested, not just into the, the harvest, but actually into maturing the mollusk itself to be able to house a pearl of this scale. And I'm talking individually. You've got a huge strand. Linda, Essex, Jane, Christine, Linda, Michelle, Karen, another Linda. People are queuing. We can see you there. I don't think you know what we're taking this to. Do you know, Mark? No, no idea at all. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? I, I yeah, walk past, it. no, I walk yeah. past Heinz the Jewelers in my local town quite frequently. And I can't walk past the Jewelers without looking through the, within no, the window. Well. Yeah, you can't do it, it's, you know. And every time I do, Heinz, let's be honest, the Heinz the Jewelers, it's not the most expensive. Mm -hmm. Like Samuel's. Like it's Samuel's. Similar, similar sort of yeah. Issue, isn't it? yeah, that's not, a, that's not me no. being disrespectful. They are a different price point, aren't they? But they're still £130 for, for a pearl yeah. necklace, and I'm talking about half the size yeah, yeah. of these pearls. With a little bit of know-how, a little bit of inspiration and skill, which we can teach you, 99.99 plus your time, obviously, you're making significant savings, but this is no way near. No way near. It's available on your split pay, but we are about to half that price tag, which is technically the lowest price for us to have introduced split pay. It shouldn't go. You get the sterling silver parve set Tiffany's bow and these beautiful pure white nine to ten millimeter cultured pearls. <laughs> did you just hear that? Yeah, I did. I don't know where he's going to go if there is going to be more than one. Coco Chanel once said that every woman deserves ropes and ropes and pearls. <laughs> that price, Mark. <laughs> it's ropes and ropes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, really? How could they justify that price? I'm sorry. That's I, I, scandalous. Exactly. Well, yeah, many jewellers do. Mm. Here we go. Layering of pearls. I'm talking about layering with 9 by 10 millimetre pearls. <laughs> Is really in right now. That's not only uh, that's because the only thing more stylish than a strand of pearls is more and more pearls. If you're into fashion trends, this one makes the ultimate statement of dazzling sophistication. A woman needs ropes and ropes of pearls, says Coco Chanel. I'm not going to argue with no, her. No, no, no. We're going to give you a ropes of pearls price tag, and if there are any of them left, I'm joining you. Knotting this. Mark's uh, sort of educated. You've taught us how to knot in the past. Oh. Two price crashes. <laughs> oh, dear. There's only one downside. There's 150 of these. Can we just double check there, Ross? Because we made a big mistake yesterday, uh, on the weekend. Was he really? Oh. <coughs> Scott, our managing director, actually just stepped into the gallery. I didn't know that. D did you hear him? I didn't hear him. No. Um, but actually say, is this the pearl strand that we made the big mistake on on the weekend? Genuinely, hand on heart, cross my heart. Um, 
I don't know what it was meant to be, but the pearls that we had on the weekend just gone were not meant to have gone to £24.99. These, these we have the authority. We're not wrong. We've, we've double-checked. We're still on split pay, though. They're much bigger than the pearls that we had over the weekend. £34.99. Remember, you've got another price crash. It doesn't seem right. No, you're right. So how, With old, the are, silver, how old are those pearls then, do you uh, think? Mm, it's uh, probably a couple of years. Right. Probably a couple of years. It does mm. depend on the temperature of the water. Okay. Probably a couple of years old. Right. So that's a that's time a investment, yes. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It does depend. <laughs> Getting serious. This is where it gets serious, it's says serious Ross. serious for a while. Uh, pardon? Yes. Oh, no. These are far bigger, though, Ross. I'm not trying to discourage you from doing that price. Let's do it. That's the I think we need to connector, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We need to see you on the phone lines, though. I want to buy three of these. It's going to be a long rope, plant, uh, rope of pearls. Yeah. How beautiful. And then you'd have the little bows sat maybe at the bottom or asymmetrically. We are going to go lower. But, but look, split, pay's, split pay's got to stay now. Yeah. Now we've all got oh, it's same put. Yeah, it's same put. It's already too low at 34.99. Technically speaking, 49.99 is our cut-off point for split pay. If we can see another 50 people on the phone lines and across the phone lines and the web, shall we match the price of the huge mistake that we made on the weekend? It got brought up in yesterday's meeting, and I was like, "What? What do you mean a mistake?" They were like, "L, you presented it." So like, yeah, but I don't know the figures. I don't know the ins what and outs. What is this then? Oh, it was. It wasn't. Oh. It wasn't meant to go to, tw to the price that we took it to. We'll match that price tag. We have got authority on this one, though. We have got authority. Angela, Christine, Sharni, Nikki, Jane, Linda, Sydney, Pat, Julie, Lynn, Hel Hilda, Karen, Maker, Yvonne, Jane, Christine, Linda, Norma. Nobody is going to pay thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. But we just need to clarify and justify the fact that the majority, if not all, of these are going to sell out. You know, this, if you look at that photograph that, 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 that's on our screens right now, here we go. Um, perhaps the most famous multi-strand necklace of recent times is Holly Gold Lightly's famous, uh, famous five-strand pearl necklace in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Although the pearls used for this statement necklace was imitation, the flattering effect of layering pearl strands captured the public's imagination and continues to be on vogue. Would we all agree? I mean, she's very petite, isn't she? But... Would we all agree that you could make that necklace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you multi-buy. Well, the queen, the queen wears a multi-strand every day. She does. She? We have a photograph of that, yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, I'll show oh, it to you in a second. Look at all of you multi-buying. In fact, I'll show you a few pearl uh, necklace pieces whilst you're dialing through. In 40 seconds, we're, we're going to match the price from the, uh, on the weekend. So here we go, Angelina Jolie. They're smaller than what you're about to get, but you could do it. How about if I said you could make that necklace for less than £100? Catherine Heigl. Hers are smaller, but you could do that necklace. Oh, my. <laughs> How, I mean, they're imitation for sure. Right. Uh, that's Carrie from Sex and the City. There's, of course, Rihanna. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Imitation, but lovely. Lovely design. An amazing piece. That would be perfect for the next pearl opportunity, by the way. Well done to those of you that have already confirmed. Not £34 for genuine... £34.99, sorry. Bigger pearls. Split pay still available at £24.99. And you get the sterling silver. See, it shouldn't be that price for no, these, should no, it? No. Look at that. £12.50. £12.50. What would you do with, with something like this, Mark? Well, I've always, I've, I've never had the opportunity, but I've always wanted to have a go at making a pearl marla. Oh. And with this, you can get three strands, couldn't you, with this? £75 for a completely natural pearl marla. That would be That's pretty amazing. Incredible, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely... Because I've got, I've got leftover from, from years ago. I've got some Swarovski AB bicones and you just incorporate that in a beaded oh, tassel wow. with those pearls. And, and don't forget your sterling yeah. silver little yeah. bow. Yeah. 
They're beautiful. They are gorgeous. We had 150 of these. We don't have that quantity. Half the stock has gone. Nancy, Shani, uh, Pauline, Lynn, Gabrielle, Catherine, Jolanta, Essex, Davinia. So many of you are actually saying, I might as well have two at that price. Yeah, absolutely. I don't blame you. It's not like they're... You know, I'm not bringing you seven to eight millimetre pearls, which are much more more uh, easily accessible than a nine to ten mil, because the whole scale of it, you, you know, it's something that I certainly overlooked for many, many years. You think about a mollusk, mm. it's got to be able to house a pearl of this size, which takes investment in actually developing yes, them. Yes. They've got to nurture them even before they start the culturing process itself. Plus, and I know I haven't mentioned this, um, uh, this, it is essentially buy one, get one three. You're right. Plus, let's not forget, the pearl market lost so many of their cultured pearls over the pandemic because literally they couldn't get people out to the farms. Everybody was in lockdown. Freshwater culture pearl necklace. Here we go. Look how beautiful this is. $1,350. Oh, God. What, seven maybe different strands? Wait a second. Hold that thought. These are coming up. How often do we get rice pearls? Hardly ever. Yeah. That's a bundle, by the way. Oh, is it? You get both, both of them. them. So um, I'd maybe get a couple of these, get yeah. that, create that beautiful Perfect. loose twist. Stunning, isn't it? Coming up after this opportunity, £24.99. So many of you within your baskets. Good luck. Um, we only had 150 should never be at £12.50 on your split pay, but that's exactly what we're doing. Kath, Catherine, Pat, Nottinghamshire, Jane, Linda, Hazel, new customers, Dumfries and Galloway. Um, hello to you, Hilma, Teresa, Julie. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We have got the little rice pills coming up. We've also got these gorgeous earrings um, available on pre-order. You can actually shop ahead. Coming up straight oh, on the other them. side. Look how pretty they are. I know, so I want these. Pretty, aren't they? The final few opportunities. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. As many of you know, my second greatest love after Jewelry Maker is my garden. Um, I'm very lucky to have a beautiful space that we've turned, it's taken 10 years, but we've turned it into a beautiful haven for, for fauna and for flora. And a few months ago, I was asked if I wanted to come up with a range of jewellery products, jewellery items, that mirrored my gardening life. So sat down with the production company and I'm delighted, overjoyed, to invite you all to join me on Saturday, the 26th of March, for the spring Chestnut Close Collection. Chestnut Close Collection is all about my garden at home and throughout the next four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, winter, I'm going to be launching three flowers growing in the garden and three fauna, so insects, birds, animals, all of which inhabit the garden. So on the 26th of March, we're going to be launching spring, consisting of three flowers, and three birds and insects and I can't wait to share this whole range with you. It's going to be an amazing morning. Can't wait to see you all for the launch of my very own Chestnut Close Collection. Jewelry Makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monica going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Like so many of you, I am literally obsessed with these earrings. We've, we weren't planning on bringing it to you straight away after the break, but we have to because so many of these have actually gone on pre-order. We had 73, but now there's only 39. Carol launched these, and I remember watching, uh, I briefly watched Carol's uh, uh, Facebook Live as I was actually getting ready to do the school run. And she, I saw her wearing them, and I was like, oh, I need those earrings. They're absolutely beautiful. Solid 925, sterling silver. Genuine little seed pearls. And they are literally just a, well, here, I'll show you here. A little huggy-like design. They're just absolutely exquisitely elegant, aren't they? Understated beauty, it's that again. When they're in the ear, of course, you know that you're always going to have those beautiful cultured pearls on clear view. We had to bring them, had to bring them straight after the break because the quantity is flying. Are they faux pearls? No. Genuine freshwater culture pearls. If you got the last auction, oh, these firstly would be the most amazing combination. If I miss out on these, I didn't get them at when Carol, I, I had to, I dashed out, literally had to dash out and miss the auction opportunity. I'm going to be gutted because they look so beautiful. He's back. These are so beautiful. Aren't they pretty? They are so beautiful. I've never seen anything like that. I like the, those little cups that hold the pearls. And really, really, yeah. really easy to put within the ear itself. Super easy. They'll click into place. The kind, of picture, the kind of earring that I would wear and my five-year-old would wear, for sure. And they're not too over the top, are they? They're not too big. They're quite safe because they are a hope, ultimately. Precious pearls, precious 925 sterling silver. Lots of you um, sharing the love of these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They're stunning, aren't they? Yeah. So unusual. Never seen that setting before. No. It's like a cup, isn't it? Yeah. A little cup setting. What? I know. <laughs> oh, no. Cultured pearls. They're cultured pearls. You're not going to get them today either, are you? I'm not. <laughs> I'd like to say that I popped out of the studio to buy them, but um, I've just been to say hello to Sewing Street. You have. I can you hear you. next door. I know, literally. John Scott, yes. right there. Um, <laughs> I know I can hear you. Yeah. Is it John Scott or is it Vicky today? 
Vicky today. Vicky. Lovely Vicky. Vicky. Beautiful yeah. Vicky. I'm jealous of each and every single one of you because this is the kind of earrings that I would wear on a daily basis. These earrings and the last strand with the silver bow for £40. Cultured pearls, £40. Look at the quality of what you're getting right now. Heather, Wendy, Margaret, Wrexham, Norma, Angela, Elizabeth, another Wendy, Kathleen, Tina, Julie, new customers. I can see there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but our call centre will be with you. Um, That's a substantial amount of silver as well, isn't it? They're like ring shanks. Yeah, can I show you how easy yeah, they are to get in? They do suit you. I don't want this to, gro to gross anyone out, but so easy. Yeah. Literally, they just... There you go. That easy to put in and out. Super, super simple. I didn't even need a mirror to do those. Some earrings, let's be honest, they can be quite a bit more fiddly. Those literally click together and they find one another because they're like the huggy design. Um, they're going to be a sellout today. Okay. Genuine culture pearls with a wonderful gold overtone. Dorothy, Jill, Heather, Wendy, Margaret, Wrexham, Norma, Angela, Cumbria, Sarah, Essex, you're all there. We only had 73, but we had to bring the auction um, straight after the break because they were that popular. They were selling uh, that fast on, uh, on pre-order. Good luck, Sarah. If you want those five, I would check out because they are getting quite limited now. Seriously, you can't get costume jewellery at that no, price? No, absolutely not. No, no. Have, get... have you and Willow actually gone out wearing matchy-matchy? No, because hers are still though, healing, yeah. to be honest. No, in, in clothes or Oh, yeah, anything. yeah, yeah. Really? She loves you? it. Just she loves she. it. Oh. I knew that you'd have a reaction. <laughs> do, I do Willow and Tiggy a lot. Okay. No, I, I think they look, that, they yeah, look but really cute. Um, yeah, not identical, but like we've both done white, no. So you don't Tom go down, you don't, you don't go down the street would never and do and, um, that. matching Burberry or anything like that. I mean, no, no, no I okay. haven't got a Burberry, so Willow's okay. not going to have one. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we've done like, like I'm wearing a white oh, dress and denim jacket and she'll wear a different variety, but not often. Oh. Um, Christine, hi Mark, I can't wait to see the Chestnut Close collection. What a delightful collection. I'm sure it will be. Wishing you all the luck in the world. That's Christine. Bless you, Christine. I've got, I'm allowed to show you one piece. Go on. One piece. Okay, so... I'm, I'm really nervous about this. This is the first time you've seen this it This is as the first well. time I've seen it in the flesh as well. So, so each piece, each pendant will come in this little Hessian gift bag. Lovely. Quite really nice. And then on the back, it says spring at Chestnut Close. Love it. My signature on the bottom there. Now, spring is the first this year of four launches. So there's going to be a summer at Chestnut Close, an autumn and a winter. So Love this it. is the first of four. Summer is being launched in May during birthday week. I haven't, I'm not supposed to have told you that. I'm really sorry. But May. But <laughs> See, the way it just, just, you know, you can't tell me anything. So May, birthday week, is going to be the summer launch. Okay? So you get the little Hessian bag. And ah, this, this is the card. So you get this, this little card. Okay? That's my garden there in the height of summer. So that's my garden. So spring, again... Summer, autumn, winter, so all alive. So jealous of your garden. So this is this is so each each collection will feature three flowers that grow in the garden that we've planted, and three fauna. So whether it's birds, insects, animals, so there'll be three of each. So this is one of the fauna. This is what I'm going to show you. So we get visited all the time by chaffinches. So on the back here, you'll get a poem, you'll get thoughts, you'll get all sorts of things corresponding with with the um, the featured pendant. So this is a poem by Emily Dickinson. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at mm. all. Which I think is a lovely little poem. So That's you, beautiful. And you get a picture of the bird or the flower at the top, May, Chaffinch. Do you mind showing the, the actual thing? Because your, your, your hands do. are prettier than mine. So Elle's going to show you. So they're all sterling silver and they all feature genuine gemstones. And this is the Chaffinch which is featuring in May, and I love this. So oh, Caroline, wow, that's cool. Caroline, who's in our production and buying department, um, we've worked together since probably September on this, and this is going to be, as I said, on Saturday. So we've got 
three flowers. Saturday at 11. At 11 o'clock. I'm coming in for the first time, not as guest designer. I know, it's very weird. But as a special guest. I know, it's very <laughs> weird, honestly, and you'll be totally yes, emotional. Yeah, so Love I'm it. Really, Good really, luck, Mark. Really excited, you know, not that so, you need it. They're beautiful. Yeah, so thank you. Should we do the rice pearls? Go back to that necklace that we showed. You know that really beautiful casual twist? Oh, yes. Of cultured pearls that was like $1,350. Really dollars. Loved yeah. it. I love pearls worn like this. They're not even knotted, are they? Don't think so. So if you manage to multi-buy on the last 9 by 12 millimeter cultured pearls, and maybe you start including a couple of strands like this, you could be inspired by that very piece. I love that. Without that. spending $1,350. Now, these are it is a pair. It is a pair. So you are getting the rice uh, pearls, which most people assume that the smaller the pearl, the, the, you know, the less expensive. It's not the case, actually, because with a cultured pearl of whatever size, very challenging to actually drill. And the pearlescence in your paint, in your makeup, um, that you might find, ooh, where else, where else, where else? Um, I can't think, but anyway. Um, that does literally come from a cultured pearl, that they grind it down um, into a kind of powder. The smaller the pearl, the more challenging it is mm. to drill. And also, you're, cu you're basically cutting that harvest off short. So you still pay a premium for your little seed pearls. Three to five millimetres, you are guaranteed your beautiful peacock colour and also your lovely classic ivory white. So let's start making our way towards this opportunity. I have... Ooh! <laughs> I've also just uh, uh, seen the price. I how much would you say, pearls. individually, how them. much would you say seed put this, put this, they should be each? £25 a strand? Yeah. Any day of the week. Smaller pearls are expensive. Oh, we, hardly, we hardly ever get them, and when we do get them, they're in, they're out, they're gone, because we always just get them so rarely. It's because of the drilling. It's yeah. so difficult yeah. to actually strand seed pearls. Unfortunately, you think three millimetres, if you start putting a drill burr through the centre of a mm. culture pearl, they literally do split. They're only yeah. a soft gemstone at the end of the day. You know, you have to be really careful with cultured pills. You can't even spray them with perfume or hairspray. Um, what do they say? Uh, last thing on, first thing off. Your cultured pills. So yes, Mark's absolutely, I totally agree with what Mark's saying. They are seldom ever seen. And they always sell out. So you said £24.99. Mm -hmm. What, yeah. per strand? Yeah, absolutely. Each. Again, Marla, Marlify these, they look amazing. Putting them on a tassel. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm ever so gutted. Uh, <laughs> it's £10 each. Mad. Lovely designer Susie made me a beautiful necklace. I actually uh, I oh, approached you her. you found it today. I thought you? I had found yeah. it, yeah. It was, and I, I bought this gemstones and I wanted it to be type A jade with a tassel of seed pills like this. Well, you know, they're like gold dust, aren't they, on our screens? But I bought them and said, I spoke to Susie. She sent it and it's just gone missing. Somewhere in the building. Somewhere, somewhere. it yeah. is somewhere. These were the kind of pearls that she put on the tassel at the bottom. Imagine how oh, beautiful nice. that would be. Mm -hmm. the, I this shape is really nice, rosary linked as well. Yes. Just alternating them, the colors would just be beautiful. 1999, mm. 10 pound per cultured pearl strand. And we are oh not no. even done. <laughs> it's a good job that we have over 200 of these oh. available. The clock is ticking already. It's a big quantity. I mean, 10 pounds. 10 pounds. I was over in Tucson. What was it? Almost two months ago now. Over in Tucson. Believe me when I tell you, your seed pills are astronomically uh, expensive. The smaller the size, it, uh, you know, it's not a written rule, but actually can be a higher price point than, say, your 10 mil. In 34 seconds, how, how we can even suggest that this is going less than £10 each, but that's exactly what we're doing. Again, good, uh, good, a good quantity on this, so, um, but don't be surprised if they still do uh, sell out. Multipliers getting involved. I, couldn't, I can't talk today. I don't know what my problem is. And I'm assuming if the, if the poor mollusk passes away, that pearl won't grow any bigger. Mm. So they have to... So, yeah. I know. Bless. Oh, what are you doing, Ross? A, a pearl, a mollusk, by the way, will reproduce pearls. 
It's amazing, isn't it? I never yeah. knew that. Yeah. yeah. Most yeah. people think that literally they die on every harvest. It's not the case. £7.50 no. for cultured no. pearls. I've always said this. You'd think in all the millions of years of evolution, the mollusk would realise that it's got a foreign body and it would spit it out. The, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> they do. After all these years. They do, because it actually they, yeah. it, 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 sometimes they, they, they manage to sort of work a pearl out or even yeah. a piece of sand um, out of the actual uh, mollusk shell itself. But not always. So their idea is, oh, I'll just coat it with something lovely like your nacre. Um, but yeah, absolutely unbelievable to be able to get them for seven pounds fifty. This is That's no disrespect, idea. but this is not a quartzite. This is not an agate or a jasper, which are much more plentiful. Yes, these are harvest. But again, just to recap, and I know we've mentioned this a couple of times of late, throughout the pandemic, the cultured pearl market has been hit drastically because sadly we couldn't actually get out to those pearl farms, um, which basically means that tragically, yes, the, uh, the pearls were literally just rejected or unfortunately, yes, the mollusks uh, may well have passed away. That has caused a, a, a staggering price rise um, in, uh, in culture pearls of all sizes and of real scarcity as well within the market. Um, the days of us doing bridal days, you know, we used to have wedding days oh, yeah. here at Jewelry Maker. We can't do that this at the moment. We can't. Oh, yeah. I, we can bring you pearl strands, but very sporadically placed. Um, we can't do your bridal events and things like that because there literally is not the supply of the pearls within the market, uh, sorry, within our vault. Sharni, Claire, Dorothy, Margaret, Elspeth, Christine, Karen, Janet, hello to you, Penny, Lynn, Gabrielle, Alison and Angela. Sarah, well done. Uh, oh, I should say good luck. I can see people with multiples in their baskets. Susan, Magaly, hello to you, Merseyside, Elizabeth. Pieces like this, Mark. I mean, I actually think that's underpriced, this necklace. Mm. It's stunning, isn't it? It's underpriced. For me, that's what I think. Because if that was in the jewellers that I used to work at, which is probably uh, the opposite of that, actually, was overpriced, but... Uh, it was. The jewellers that I worked at was staggeringly overpriced. It was, it was astonishing uh, prices of, of pearls and all your gemstones. But that would probably th be three, four times that price. Mm. Amazing. Oh, this is cute. You're a big fan of shell pearl, aren't love you? Shell. I always have been. Ever since I started here, I love them. Oh, it's and art deco. Yeah. And an art deco gemstone. Very cute. I love these colours. What do we get yeah. with a shell pearl? How you does get, it differ? So you get uniformity. Every bead on the strand is exactly the same shape, size, colour as the one previous to it. So for symmetrical designs, you need that. You don't have to be so precious with shell pearls, so you don't have to worry about getting perfume or deodorant or anything on them at all. You have, and, uh, and they're a bit stronger, more robust. Uh, but I f for me, it's the uniformity. And, ob and obviously, you can't get you can't get culture pearls in all these amazing colours. Well, I mean, you, some of the, you can, but you're going to be paying extortionate. Yes, you would. Yeah, money. yeah. Very expensive. So, so a, cult, a yeah. shell pearl is 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 actually created, isn't it? So yes. it's made out of shell and pearl. Yes. Yeah, so all of those, so all of those mollusks that have yes. passed on. Yes. Yeah, every, every bit of all part the of shells the that got used. fractured Absolutely. during yeah. the drilling process will get yeah. Yeah. ground down into a powder and created, yeah. uh, turned into these strands. L I mean. Mark, you said earlier on about doing a pearl, uh, a pearl marla. What about a shell pearl marla? Yeah. You've got Isn't enough there to do a marla and a kiss cross station necklace in one, in oh. one container. Amazing colours. So three strands for your marla, which will leave a complete two whole strands to do you know, your kiss cross. You could do kiss cross station marla. Oh, wow. Which would be beautiful. Come back here, you. I love that colour. It's kind of perfect ombre of these. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm still not done. Five strands, plus you get your little storage there that you can yeah. use on. 19.90. Head pins! As well. Head pins as well. Yeah. Look at those little tucked yeah. in there. Don't forget <laughs> the actual storage container that you're getting as well, because you wouldn't discard that, would you? You'd use that for another day. They are beautiful. You've got like a champagne, a champagne shell pearl. You've got your pure ivory white. There's that luster that Mark was talking about. Keep on dialing through, everybody. Um, okay, shall we do? Ah. Oh. oh, look at these. Actually, made an, uh, I made a piece of jewellery with this yesterday. Did you? 
Or something very similar. Yeah, I had bales. I found oh, some yeah. bales that I've been looking for. Um, and I had, I'd, I'd, I'd purchased some metallic pearls like this and all, just literally glue them into place. That's it. These are beautiful. Every culture pill should be looked at on a white background, so bear with me. They come alive, don't they? Yeah. Oh, look. look at that natural metallic. That's stunning. Now, I, I, when I say, yes, they've gone through a treatment process, but you've got your cultured pills, the metallic itself is the, the beautiful rainbow. luster. Yeah, the absolutely amazing luster within the pills itself. So remember those five virtues? Size, colour, shape, nacre, which is like the skin of the pearl, and then, of course, your orient. These are all half-drilled. So little pegs that we supply on a regular basis, glue them into place, £10 each. They're huge. Size, 12 by 13 millimetres. You can get them home for £7 and 49 pence. That's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, uh, only yesterday actually made some lovely oh, jewellery wow. with it, and it's not my hey, it's no, it's nothing that I did that made it lovely. It was just literally taking a peg, a little bit of your hypo cement glue that I bought the other day, secure it in place. It'll be ready mm. now. It's professional jewellery. So you can get these home for the price of a bottle of wine. Yes. Back to that Chardonnay again. It's always alcohol, isn't it? Sorry. When I'm on. I think you need a glass of Chardonnay tonight. Might You've mentioned Chardonnay a couple of times, times haven't you? Yeah. As soon as the sun comes up, I, I, go, I don't completely go on to white, but I do drink more white. Yeah, I know I get that. Mm. Totally get that. $29.99 only to get hold of these. It's wow. a beautiful sweet. We'll leave it with you because we've only got 20 minutes left with it between now and the top of the show. I know. Well, uh, oh, oh. You got the pegs. Oh, you got the pegs as well. Ah. I didn't know the pegs were included. You get the pegs. Let's do it quickly, just uh, because, I'm sorry, that's my fault. You get the pegs, so all I need is that hypo cement that mark. That we had on our last show. Yeah. 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 See if I can actually just demonstrate it. Obviously, you would take the time, use your glue, secure the peg in place, leave it overnight, like so, let gravity do its thing. Yeah. You've just made professional jewellery. It's that simple, Mark. Is oh. I'll pop that on a chain. If you pop that on a chain, you're probably looking at 80, 90 pounds for one, aren't you? Well, look how quick that's taken me. We don't, we don't see pearls like this in our jewellers in Whitney. <laughs> if you did. Mm. Mm. Hundreds. Yes, they would be an investment. Um, pearl necklace. Oh. I have this. I literally have mm. this, but in gold. I was wearing it yesterday. I love oh, this design. This. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they actually sit on the chain and slide. Yeah, the, the actual oh. pearls. These are genuine culture pearls, by the way. I bought this on the initial launch. Lucy, she's still in the studio. Oh. You, do you remember me buying this on the, on the uh, launch, this necklace? So they're drilled through the centre. <laughs> yeah. You remember. <laughs> she remembers, because I gave her, oh, she was like, the pressure, Elle. <laughs> <laughs> it sits about, it's a longer chain as well, which yeah. I really liked. It's like 20 inches, so it sits about That's here. Beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? They're genuine cultured pearls. Oh. They don't fly off the end no. either because you've actually got the clasp. I, w I was wearing mine only yesterday. Your beautiful box chain. I oh, love beautiful. it. The trilogy yeah. design. Um, I spoke about, during the launch, that this was a previous deal of the day, I spoke about sort of the trilogy in a ring. You know, we instantly think about oh, diamonds course. with a trilogy, yeah, the past, yeah. the present, and the future. Um, yeah, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The quality of those culture pills. They're so beautifully lustrous that I actually thought they were shell pill. They're not, That's though. Stunning, aren't they? Are, are you they ready? Just, are they just drilled, or do they have a, a resin insert in the middle? Here we go. To help the... Let's bring it to the back of the hand. I think our Ruth would love these as she's just stepped into the studio. No, drilled through. Drilled through, beautiful. Aren't they gold? I've got this in the yellow gold. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I could have it in another. You could have it in the silver and we could be twinning. <laughs> twinning. Not £49.99. Oh, that wasn't. Oh. No. I bought two. I've actually got one which is still, still uh, all wrapped up. 17.99. 
It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. The, the chain, the length of the chain, as you can see, it's 20 inches, so it sits mid decolletage. That does depend on frame. They're genuine cultured pearls. There were only 50 of these left, though. Sabine loves it. Well done, Sabine. I do too, and I wear it all the time at the moment. Um, dare I say it, more than my own collection. <laughs> I actually wear this more than my own collection. Jacqueline, well done to you. Jane in Gloucestershire. Uh, Gordon wanting two. We have 50. That's not a huge quantity at all. June babies, of course. Mm. Oh, what a nice gift this yeah. would be for, for somebody born in that month. Really easy to wear. Really easy Mother's to wear. Day, of course, this weekend. I'm just if thinking of the work if you wanted to replicate this yourself. I mean, you'd have to get the drillage perfectly right without breaking the pearl. You wouldn't get the pearls over the findings on the end. Mm -hmm. So for 17.99, that's phenomenal, isn't well, it? Well, you, again, you think about how, how many yeah. of those pearls, which are beautifully spherical. Absolutely. They are yeah. round, aren't yeah. they? Would we all agree they are perfectly round? Think of how many of those pearls have actually been lost during the mm. drilling process. And colour matched perfectly. Yeah. Amazing. £17.99 yeah. only. Um, let's bring you, I'll leave it with you again, just 15 minutes left on show. Ah. Oh. Wow. You've got a beautiful pair. Oh, these are stunning. Very shopard. Shopard. Very shopard. Very happy diamonds. Sorry. Just look what I'm doing there. Um, oh, solid 925. Oh, I hate that click then. They're beautiful, aren't they? Mm. I'm shopping today. I love a pair of earrings because they're so easy to wear, aren't they? I would get rid of the finding and use it as earring, as um, necklace pendants. I think they look amazing. Or? Or get two pairs. Yes. Have a set of earrings. Yeah, I get, yeah. Well, and should we price it accordingly? Aren't they? aren't they stunning? You could embellish them all the more. You could. Well, <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> Who launched these? Honestly. Well, Laura, that's very low. That's a very low price tag for yeah. these. Pretty, really pretty. Again, Mother's Day, beautifully encrusted with your cubic zirconia 925 sterling silver. Obviously, you get two. Just I've got one in my ear. Mm -hmm. uh, Mother's Day. Birthday gifts just because at nine ninety nine. As we were talking earlier, do you, I don't know enough about it, but I'm assuming that you, when you get married, the bridesmaids, you give them yes. a gift yeah. to walk down the aisle wearing, I'm presuming, a, a wedding favour, is that mm -hmm. what they're called? So all your bridesmaids going down the aisle following you with those. Just beautiful, aren't they? And then, they would, then they would keep them forever and know that it, you know, it was reminding you of your wedding day. And they are the kind of piece yeah, of jewellery that you could yeah. wear on a regular basis, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, not just yeah. not just as a bridesmaid. They are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Shall we bring you some toggles now? A necessity. I've been looking at these since half seven this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, are we going to play them? Are we going to play them? Are we going to play them? There's not many, though. See, toggles are my favourite class, and I've never seen anything like this. They're amazing. The, this is 30 toggles. 15 different designs. Amazing. Why do you love a toggle so much? I've always loved the toggle. I've always loved the toggle. I just think it's, it, they're really substantial. They're really elegant. Yeah. They do the job that they've been designed for. Mm -hmm. But I just like the fact that, um, yeah, you can, and as you can see on here, the, the sort of designs that you can come up with. I'm trying to find well, they could decide be, which my favourite. I think this is my favourite. I always show this one. Uh, okay. This has been on air three times. I think is today it? is going to be the last it. airing. Oh the quantity, we don't have the quantity of them anymore. There's 68 left. Can you see the filigree work? But you, it's actually, it goes through the silver, so the, de sorry, the, uh, the metal work. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany's and Co. favour also your toggles. Oh. Two of each of the designs. You've got... I like this one. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, I really like the flower there. Yeah, I love that. But can I just show you something else? It's not just the toggle. Is that the ogle or the t? So the, the ogle has the hole, the ogle. O, yeah, and then the T, T bar toggle. It's also this. Yeah. That's beautiful. The T bar also has a huge design aspect. Yeah. Let yeah. me show you another. Oh, look. That's cute. 
Attention to detail, absolutely, mm. across each and every single one of these designs. That heart's massive, that one there, look. Yeah? Well, they could be mm. pendants and then yeah, they could absolutely. be cufflinks. Earrings, if you've got two of each. Cufflinks with the T-bars, earrings with the... You can set gemstones in there or seed oh, beads. Yeah, look. Yes. We're at one pound per, per toggle. How about 50 pence <laughs> per toggle? The last remaining quantity. I don't think this is going to be on our screens again. No. Um, How many is left? 67. Oh, 68. Oh, okay. I don't think they're going to be available come, uh, yeah, come the top of the show. Because we, we, we like toggles because, A, they're easier to put on, I think. I think so. They're normally quite large as well because they're a design feature, so they need to be. Especially these, these styles here. 50p. That's what, 50p. That's what I would do. Get, get one set for toggle class and then the other one for cufflinks and earrings. Because you've got two of each, you may as well use them as earrings. There's not a design in here that you wouldn't have as an earring. No. Not one. And there really is variation as well. Look yeah, at that one there. That's beautiful. Absolutely. I'd rub um, micro powders over them. Yeah. Because the, the colour, the, the powders would sit within the little divots. Beautiful oh, depth, God, amazing ace. texture across these. £14.99, they're flying. They're, uh, we introduced them, what, probably two weeks ago, I think it oh, really? was. Yeah, it was only two oh, weeks I ago. They were an early bird, they flew. Uh, I think we had 400 or something like that at the beginning oh. of the uh, at the big beginning. It might have even been more. They've been with, on with me once after that, and this probably is going to be the finale um, auction. Miriam, Karen, Christine, Donna, Lynn, Julie, Margaret, Candice, Sandra, Shirley, Beverly, Betty, Michelle, Linda, Julie, Gabrielle, Susie, Essex, new customers, Lil, uh, Lil, sorry, <laughs> Lynn and Jill. Uh, well done. Check out those baskets. Now we have got time. Is that what you were saying, Russ? I'm so pleased. I'm to so just pleased. recap our deal of the day. The oh. most popular has been the pink. Well, these are the empty ones. Right, you can buy a handbag from hmm, TK Maxx. Supermarkets. I've never been in a TK Maxx. Have you not? Or a Primark. Yeah, oh, Liam loves a Prima, uh, loves, a, loves a oh. TK Maxx, you know. Um, as long as it's an organised one, I can. That's, I, that's why I don't go in. I can't be doing with unfolded No, things. if it looks like a car boot set, I yeah. ain't doing it. Yeah. No, it stresses me out. <laughs> um, I love a TK Maxx. But you can also buy your luggage from Louis Vuitton. And Samsonite. Yes. Yeah. You can pay different price points. And I'm not saying that TK Maxx is terrible quality. No, 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 of course not, of course not, of course not. But there is differences, aren't there? This is premium quality. I literally can't... I'm, I stood on it yesterday. And it, it took my weight, yeah. I always test them, standing on them. And I stood on it. That's the quality. Yeah. Even down to the zip. That's the quality that you get in. Double zip. Double zip. Hang on, let's push that upwards. Even down to the handle. And you get all of those amazing containers too. <laughs> With the sticky labels, enough space just here for you to put things like DVDs, tools, yep. needles, threads. Magazines. Max Magazines, twenty four ninety nine. These absolutely flew. You've got the JM branding on the front there as well, which I think is quite discreet. Yes, yeah. You only really notice it actually if it's sort of pivoted. The light captures it in a in a certain way. Isn't that gorgeous? We were talking about how just uh, you know how versatile storage is. Let's bring you the blue now, because it has got a difference. You were saying you'd have one for 11s and one for 15s. Yeah. So this, this one would be for, for 15s, just 15s. That's because you can get, what, your 15... Because they come in smaller tubes, I tend to lose them. Yeah. So to have them in one designate, and you've got little stickers to put the numbers on the sides. Oh, yeah, that would, that would freak me out. It's, it's, I, I'm trying not to look at it. <laughs> no, don't look. Don't I'm look. trying not to look at it, the fact <laughs> they're in different directions. Yeah, you need to have them all sorted. <laughs> Either in what? No, Adam. No, no, no. 
It's the way the universe works. Not in my world, <laughs> not in my universe. They have to, yeah. it's like labels on tins. They've got to be facing the same direction. Yeah. 24 pounds and 99 pence only. Um, and they're like little tic-tac, little tic-tac right. containers just here. Literally just flick them up. You can put your findings, you can put, oops, um, you can put your seed beads in there. You can put spacers, sterling silver components. Okay. Yeah. Quality absolute quality they're launching today for the very first time and mark you got to uh, the chance to kind of to, to quickly decant them didn't you mm. holds a lot oh, doesn't it, it? Does hold a lot especially if it you go a lot. especially if you're you know if you travel a lot and you take your absolutely. projects with you yeah, yeah. should we bring you the little suitcase oh. the one that you were raving about these are yours aren't they in there mm. oh this one sorry the one i was saying you can swing it around and nothing's going to go flying <laughs> Now, it did take the time to arrange these. So this I can't. Amazing. This was so popular, wasn't it? Well, so it was popular. Because I, I told you that I'd found a pack of 10 mm -hmm. of the Tic Tac boxes for a fiver. And we did the whole, we did the whole thing, including the storage. The whole container. 64, wasn't it? In 64 containers? 64, yeah. For seven pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Six pounds ninety-nine, unbelievable. They're the same size, aren't they? Actually? Exactly the same size. Yeah, yeah. Same size um, as uh, the pink and the mm. blue storage container. Loads of you came in for this, and I can see why. It's transparent, so you know exactly what you're picking up and what you know when you're searching for something. Of course, you've still got that quality of fastening within this too. You can. But at this sort of price, I mean, if you didn't want, to, if you didn't have storage for tubes of CBs, and what we, we talked about the remnants leftovers that you have in a tube. There's yep. nothing worse than going below half in a tube and you've still got to store the tube. So put all your remnants in these. You can have an 11 box, a 15 an 8 or 6 mm -hmm. box. So get all of your half-empty tubes, decant them into these. Save you so much space. So much space. Because yeah. you could literally just stack them yeah. on top of one another, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Stack them on top. £6.99 pence only. Um, Let's do the stacker one, this one. One, one that I was saying is very similar to Deflecto. Um, this is on oh the verge of selling out, though. This. I love this. Yeah, there's the lid. If you multi-bought and you removed yeah. one of the lids, That's right. you yeah. can actually create towers, couldn't yeah. you? So it all just opens out, yeah. Mark. Perfect. It's all lay out nicely. I have these for my findings at home. This is what I've kept my findings in. Amazing, amazing. Right, let me pass that back because they're yours. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, we a quick recap on the drawers itself. You can feel the quality and so many of us are thinking, oh, these could go in a tool shed, these could go in any craft makers, uh, you know, any hobby maker, for example. And you think about little, little embellishments and sequins that you might have, you know, rather than put them in little bags, they can be easily accessible. Your glues, because these drawers, you know, they're fairly sizable, aren't they? They're really good. Nice, nice. I love the storage hour. Me too. And they don't just, look, you have to, t you have to tilt it to actually get it out. So you know it's not just going to slide everywhere. Um, again, just another really important feature, they are wall mm. mountable. Um, we're running out of time, Mark. It's been, uh, nice. it's been such fun as always. Yeah. Such fun. When are you back with us? Saturday morning. Oh, yes. But you are not guest designer. I'm designing. not a guest designer. I'm no. a special guest coming on at 11 o'clock. Yes, yeah, so it's Hannah, lovely Hannah in the morning till 11. And then I'm taking over the baton. For the launch of Chestnut Close. Oh. Make sure you put a note in your diary. Mm. Um, wow. Good luck, darling. Thank Not you. that I think you'll need Thank it for a you. second. I will be watching. And the deal of the day is going to be matching chains to go with the Chestnut Close collection. Very exciting. Don't go anywhere, though, jewellery makers, because you've got Hobby Maker coming up after the break, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>